Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Ela mandou de le marosiam de a, e quem de le marosiam de le marosiam. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Ela mandou de le basira la macoya, ela mandou se le macoya cande. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ela mandó te de mahaya haya. E kende de maroshi am de de marati am. Hallelujah. E kende de maroko si am de de marashi am. E kende de roshi am de de marashi am. E kende de roshi am de de marashi am. Hallelujah. Ina la masin de de marashi am. E kende de maroshi am de de maroko si am. E kende de roshi am de de maroko si am. Eken dere roshiam dere barosia ela mando dere mahaya haleluya haleluya ela maroshiam dere barasia eken dere barosiam dere mahaya eken dere roshiam dere barasia haleluya haleluya rema mando dere bashila na basata in the mighty name of jesus i tear down every evil wicked altar of satan that try to come against anybody on this line that's on the way alive that's connected to this ministry but they're coming upon this uh, this, (coughs) disciples of God in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against them right now. They try to come against their family. Try to come every area of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind every forces of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind sickness, disease, infirmity in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind every spirit, every hence, everything, the curse that was spoken in the mighty name of Jesus. Ramandere bashira la baseke. Ramandere basiko de bahaya. I bind every manipulating spirit that tried to intercept, interfere in the lives of the people in the mighty name of Jesus I plead the blood I plead the blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus Raman de Bashida Rabakoye Ekesirimahoya I plead the blood of Jesus on every marriage. I plead the blood of Jesus on every family. I plead the blood of Jesus on every <clears throat> On their job, on their business, in the mighty name of Jesus, on their ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood on the transportation, new transportation. I plead the blood of Jesus on every promise that God has promised them, in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus on their finance, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remandone bashira la basande, eke sendere boshande basata, abandone boshanta, abandone every power of witchcraft. I break all generation curses of pride. Be 
rebellious that try to come against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus I bind the spirit of lust in the mighty name of Jesus I bind the spirit of poverty in the mighty name of Jesus I bind the spirit of idolatry premature death in the mighty name of Jesus I bind the destruction the enemy trying to come against anyone in the mighty name of Jesus I bind the spirit of failure in the mighty name of Jesus I bind the scripture for your spirit in the mighty name of Jesus I bind the spirit of fear and rejection in the mighty name of Jesus Raman de Rebo Shida Rabakaya Eke Terebo Shodo Rabahaya I bind every spirit of perversion adultery fornication all the light and uncleanness spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, in the spirit of depression, stress, in the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of discouragement, in the name of Jesus, grief, in the name of Jesus, bitterness, anger, unforgiveness, in the name of Jesus, they're trying to mix with their most emotion, in the name of Jesus, I command all spirits of guilt, shame, condemnation, unforgiveness, in the name of Jesus, they're trying to mix with their conscience, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every mind control, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of pride, stubbornness, disobedience, in the mighty name of Jesus, self will, selfishness, in the mighty name of Jesus, roll that ever shanty, I buy in a coat, soothsayer, in the name of Jesus, Nima Asias, in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus, Sosara, in the name of Jesus, Rabban Dereba Shatama Kekeka Tosa, Ikon Dereba Shandere Bahaya, I bind in the spirit that's trying to operate in their head, in their mind, their soul, spirit, in their eyes, all part of their body, tone, throat, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of virus, cold, come out of their body right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command every spirit that's trying to operate in their chest, in their heart, their lungs, in the mighty name of Jesus, trying to operate in their back, in the name of Jesus, uh, in member of their body right now I command those spirits to loose right now by the power of the Holy Ghost and I release the fire the fire the fire the fire of the Holy Ghost burn them out their body they will not be destroyed operating their heart in the name of Jesus their kidney in the name of Jesus their pancreas in the name of Jesus their liver in the name of Jesus their spleen in the name of Jesus I command their spirits that are operating their hands their arms their legs and feet trying to bring pain in the Lord, upon their back in the mighty name of Jesus, trying to bring pain in the leg in the mighty name of Jesus, trying to bring pain in the hip in the mighty name of Jesus. I command those spirits to loose right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Raman I command all spirits that are trying to mess in their muscles in the name of Jesus. Rabadeke Boshatal Abakaya in the digestive system in the name of Jesus, respiratory system in the mighty name of Jesus, and they stomach in the mighty name of Jesus, and they private part in the mighty name of Jesus. Rabateke. Abashiram, Roko Tunia Kana, Jeterebo Roko Sia Basa, Jeterebo Roko Ta, Rima Derebo Koya Kasa, Abana religious spirit in the name of Jesus, said the spirit had to seize all those spirits of light in the mighty name of Jesus, Abana spirit of doubt, unbelief in the name of Jesus, Abana spirit of error in the name of Jesus, heresy, tradition, religious spirit, all the light I commanded to come out right now in the name of Jesus, Abana spirit that trying to link them on the past, I trying to hinder them right now. Uh, for going to the present to the future in the mighty name of Jesus I bind all ancestral spirit in the mighty name of Jesus all hidden spirit that's hide in any part of their life I command it right now to loose right now come out of them right now in the mighty name of Jesus I bind and break all assignment of the enemy right now all wicked altar all wicked altar that's been praying against them by anybody or any witch or walla soothsayer all the light in the name of Jesus so that everybody said the inner wise man which is a witch male witch in the name of Jesus all witches and wild who say that Merlin spirit in the mighty name of Jesus I bind those principality rulers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus I plead the blood right now in the mighty name of Jesus I plead the blood on their doorposts of the house of the apartment townhouse a condo or wherever they live right now on the shelter where they live right now in the name of Jesus I break all curses of poverty in the mighty name of Jesus I break all curses of light in the mighty name of Jesus. I break all curses of death and failure in the mighty name of Jesus. Raman Dedi Bashita Rabashita Bahaya. I speak and break in all spirit of Kakaron, locust, palmer worm, caterpillar, all the light that's trying to stop the eat up the blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Raman Dedi Bashita Bakaya. Eke Dedi Bashita Rabakaya. Raman Dedi Bashita Rabakaya. Eke 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 Dedi Bash
battle type of fear in the name of Jesus. Raman Deribo Shida Rabako Yeke, Riman Deribo Shida Rabako Yekanda, Eken Deribo Shida Rabako Yaka, Eken Deribo Shida Rabahaya, Eken Deribo Hoyaka. About that a dog spirit, that fox spirit, Rabba Sherebo Shatalaba Koye Kasa, Abadaribo Hoya, Ban that bear spirit that tried to smother them and not get healed in the name of Jesus. I bind that fox spirit in the name of Jesus. Roko Shabatan de Bahai. That high in it in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind that the uh uh principal at Bezaba, Bea, Belaya in the mighty name of Jesus, Apollyon in the mighty name of Jesus, Python in the mighty name of Jesus, Rabban Deribo Shidanaba Kim. I bind that Leviton spirit in the mighty name of Jesus, that crooked weather spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Raymon de Rebo Shidanabahaya. I bruise the head of every servant that will try to take their life in a shape or form, try to take their marriage, try to take their marriage to be, try to take their children, try to take their siblings, try to take their family, try to everything that take the, even the animals and try to take their steel and their, their uh, identification in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, Raman Dere Bashida Bahaya, try to take their bank account in the mighty name of Jesus. Reba Tore Bashida Bashata, Reba Dore Bashida Bahaya. I rebuke every jackal spirit, every wild beast of the desert that try to come against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke all kind of wild animals that is sent to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind that snake spirit, that alligator spirit that try to eat them all up in the mighty name of Jesus. Reba Tekere Bashida Bahaya. I rebuke every spirit, she vulture that tried to destroy them in the name of Jesus. Every unclean fly, unclean bird in the name of Jesus. Try to come on in the raven spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every demonic evil hawk sent against their life in the name of Jesus. Hakadala by try to plant a nest to destroy them. Will not be able to destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. Raman Derebo Shata Bakata Labakeya. Jeterebo Koya Kansapa. I bind rebuke every Goliath spirit that tried to challenge me in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of Delilah, Jezebel, Ahab in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the Ichabod, Sukkabod spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of Asherah in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of Letha in the mighty name of Jesus that tried to bring the spirit of homosexual and lesbian spirit all the like in the mighty name of Jesus. Raymond Abound in the spirits that come from the desert that try to destroy them and put them in a place of dryness and not a, 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 a blessing in the mighty name of Jesus. Abound in the Holy Spirit that witchcraft in the mighty name of Jesus that it will not be able to manifest. I loose the hounds of heaven against Jezebel. I release the spirit of Jehu, uh, Jezebel, that's trying to destroy the marriage, trying to destroy the home, trying to destroy the ministry, trying to destroy every area of their life in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of false teacher in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of false prophecy in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind that lying, deceitful spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind that spirit a sabotage in the mighty name of Jesus I bind that sort of spirit in the mighty name of Jesus I call of all assignment that's coming against them in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus and I call the about I bind the spirit of living on and about she that a little never the hour and about Kaya Kassada that Merlin spirit in the mighty name of Jesus that pride spirit in the mighty name of Jesus I break the heads of the dragon in the water that's coming against them right now the hyena spirit in the name of Jesus Ramam Derebo Shetabahal I break the teeth of Lebanon and pluck it out right now that try to spoil and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus I rebuke all pride and arrogant demons that try to come against them in the mighty name of Jesus I, I bind every sea monster that will try to take their life a region in the name in the mighty name of Jesus I bring down the haughty demon of that but the power that to bring the power in them in the name of Jesus I bind the Spirit as I 
mind control in the mighty name of Jesus I bind the prince of the power of the air which is Satan in the name of Jesus I bind the principality of powers in the region right now wherever they live right now uh, in the whole United States of America in Israel in the mighty name of Jesus all other countries right now in the mighty name of Jesus I ask God to release his warring angels against those demonic principles Policies right now in the name of Jesus. Raymond de Boshida la Bahaya. It can de Boshan de Bahaya. It can de Boshida la Bahaya. I come, Mama. I release the fire. 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 The Holy Ghost. I release the fire. The Holy Ghost. That shakes everyone of them right now. Out right now. And cast them out right now. And consume them with the fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. And destroy them right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, smitten right now. I destroy every yoke that rem- and remove every burden that's come against them. Try to tie them down in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind spirit of worration in the name of Jesus. I bind in every yoke of poverty that try to destroy them right now. I bind every yoke of sickness, disease, infirmity right now in the mighty in the name of Jesus, I come under the Boshata. I pray every yoke of bondage will be destroyed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind the Boshida la Basete. It come the Boshata the Boya. I pray every broken head or in their life be restored right now. In the name of Jesus, I bind the Boshida la Basa. I bind the Bohoya. Every spirit of gospel terrorizing, lying on the like ha that tried to talk against them ha. Reke mando de Boshata. I pray a hands of protection around their mind. Ha. I pray your protection around their body. Ha. I pray your protection around their finance. Ha. I pray your protection around the possession ha. and their family right now. Ha. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ha. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ha. I bind the spirit of destruction ha. and premature, premature death right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ha. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ha. I bind the spirit of destroy that cannot come in their life and destroy their family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Will not destroy the prosperity. In the mighty name of Jesus, Raymond de Reba Shida la Basata, I come de Reba Shita, I bind the spirit of mammon that try to lead them to destruction. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke the spirit of poverty and just enough to give a ha. I die Shanta, it can in a like a slack. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I bind every idols and images that try to come against them and work against them. I break and disannul her, I break and disannul her. Every demonic covenant huh, that made by the ancestor huh, is on their life. Huh, be uprooted and destroyed right now. Huh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh, every evil uh, 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 every evil altar is already been destroyed right now. Huh. In the mighty name of Jesus. Huh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh, I bind and cast every spirit. Spirit of paranoia, huh? suspicion, destruction. Huh? How about that? Let me go. I'm not yet going on there. He could not have said the spirit of destruction. I uh, distrust, persecution, confrontation, and fear. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of Syria and the enemy. Huh? I thought I was shut up. Ahaya, aka the Bohoya, that terrorist spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Aka the Bohoya, ma. Aka the Bohoya, da basa. Ere babasata. I bind, rebuke every spirit. That tried to tempt them with this door, uh, disturb or try to d- distract them in any kind of way, disinterrogate in the mighty name of Jesus. Try to develop in their personality and try to destroy it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus, huh? I plead the blood. 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 It can deliver Kaya. It can deliver Roshi Amanda. It can deliver Roshi. It can deliver Shida Labahaya. It can deliver Shida Labahaya. I take authority, huh? every strong man, huh? a rejection and rebellion, huh? and separate them right now in the name of Jesus, huh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? I bind every spirit of lust, fantasy, perversion, is holotry in the name of Jesus. Huh? I bind and cast all spirit of insecurity and inferiority in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus, huh? I bind the spirit of self 
accusation. Huh? A compulsive confession right now in the name of Jesus. I bind in the spirit of fear, judgment, self pity, false compassion, false responsibility, false witness in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? I bind and cast out spirit of depression, huh? despondency, despair, huh? discouragement, hopelessness in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? I bind and cast out in the spirit of guilt, condemnation, unworthy right now, perfection, pride, vanity, ego, hallelujah, haughty, frustration, and patience right now in the name of Jesus. I bind it all spirit of madness and confusion, illusion right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? I bind that spirit of distraction huh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Ramam Dereboshida Labakaya, Eken Dereboshata, I bind the spirit of oppression in the name of Jesus. Huh? Ramam Dereboshida Labasa, Eken Dereboshan Derebahaya, I bind in the spirit that try to oppress him and bring him down in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of idolatry that will worship anything but God. Hakabate Kereboshata, Eken Dereboshata, I bind every false god and false idols, and including humans that try to be upon themselves and try to manifest in the shape of form in the mighty name of Jesus, ha. Remember the Boshida la Bahia, eke te le Boshida la Bahia, amando le Boshida la Bakoya. I pray right now that we have the right over the gate because of Jesus Christ that the enemy will not be able to enter in a shape or form in the name of Jesus. As he released those warring angels on our behalf to fight our battle right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We overcome every divided, every divided demonic confederation, every divided of racism, every divided of prejudice, all the like in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I lose confession in every demonic confederate that try to direct their life and family and church in the name of Jesus and try to bring division. Right now we divide and scatter them right now as they join together against us. We put them, divide and scatter them that they are joined together to their own self and bind and rebuke all the demonic reinforcement right now in the name of Jesus. I bind that the confederate spirit of Uriah, Zia, Zibada, Salamu Soto Bakaya, a Yabu Goshita, Mandore Bashidaba, Eke Derebo Shotoba, a Kalabo Shuda, a loose a loose confusion against every satanic demonic conspiracy that try to come with lies in the name of Jesus. Remind the Deba Santa, I ask God to send you lightning, fire a lightning, scatter the enemy right now, lighten for heaven right now in the name of Jesus, and let you cute them right now, destroy them right now in the mighty name of Jesus, that no weapon form against them shall prosper, and the gates of plans of hell. Shall not prevail against them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Remind the Lord I bind the spirit of confusion right there. That curse confusion, that mental illness is trying to come against their mind. It will not work in the name of Jesus. I bind, break and bind and release them right now from the curses of wandering and vagabond. They will not go looking and vagabond trying to find a place in the name of Jesus. Rabbi Lakobo they will not lose their home in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not lose their, their where they're living in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind it right now. That wrecked the spirit that trying to break conviction and put him out in the name of Jesus. Foreclosure, all the light in the name of Jesus. Raymond de Boshida la Basata, Mateke Moto, Ikonda Bando de Boshida Basata. I bind every quench all ungodly words spoken against anyone on the lot on their line that's on the way in their life and their family. All situation in the name of Jesus. I quench every fiery dot of jealousy, envy, anger, and bitterness and rage against their life and their family right now in the name of Jesus. I quench with the seal of faith, every fear of of the enemy trying to send their way in the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke all spirit of jealousy directed against their life in the name of Jesus. And they family right now in the name of Jesus. Ever since they were a child in the name of Jesus. I quench every fire of the enemy that try to throw into the sanctuary in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast every fear of serpent since against their life and their family right now in the name of Jesus. Every promise that was come from God in the name of Jesus. I quench every burning light that is not a God that the witches in Walla trying to run. I bind that Sandaria, Akala Bashida la Basata, Eco de Boshida la Bahia, Eke de Boshan de Bahia. All those forces of darkness right now. 
In the name of Jesus, I quench all ungodly words, every ungodly words that was spoken, every negative word, every evil word that was spoken against their life. In the name of Jesus, I quench every torch the enemy that used against their life in a shape or form. I quench all gospel spirit trying to direct against their life. In the name of Jesus, and, and God send the fire to kill the enemy and bring them down. In the mighty name of Jesus, Raman I thought of Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You will not have your way. Hallelujah. Let the enemy perish. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. <coughs> I rebuke all winds and storms of the enemy that was sent against them. I rebuke every unclean spirit that will try to tempt and operate in their life in the name of Jesus. I speak to every mountain, every giant that's come against their life and their marriage. And I command the mountains and giants to be removed. I send the five, uh, 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 five, four, amen, stone against them to kill and destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the argumentation spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. That lying spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I rebuke every sea spirit that will try to close upon their life. It will not work in the name of Jesus. Devil, I rebuke you in whole uh, peace. You come out in the name of Jesus. I bind every thief that's stealing and killing and trying to destroy their life in the name of Jesus. And ask you to deliver them from the power of Satan right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I thought Satan, I command you get deep behind us right now. You will not be in the manifest of life. You better not manifest in their life right now. In the name of Jesus. I pray, I pray right now that everything that was planted that the Father has not planted to be rooted out in the name of Jesus. I tell my shata, I laid the ask to root every evil thing and that try to come into the tree of life in their life right now in the name of Jesus. I thought every root of evils cut try to cut, uh, cut it off their life right now. I bind every uh, uh, let the prophet release to root out every kingdom right now. Every evil person that planted in the church be rooted out in the name of Jesus. And not church anybody church on the line in the church they belong to right now in the name of Jesus. I, I, I let every sickness be rooted out in their body right now. I command every sickness in their body be plucked out, be rooted out right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, let all false ministry that has rooted in themselves in the city where they live be rooted out right now and be moved right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit in summer that he couldn't sleep at night. In the name of Jesus, I bind rebuke and bewitchment that will try to keep them from obeying the truth. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind and cast in the spirit of sorcery that will try to see them. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of self deception. In the mighty name of Jesus, I rebuke and still cast out their vengeance right now every spirit that live out their life right now I speak to the word over life I pray they renounce all earthly sensual demonic wisdom right now in the name of Jesus I cast out devils in the name of Jesus and that you will perfect them of God in the name of Jesus that the Holy Ghost will repent that was supposed to be right in the mighty name of Jesus I bind and reject every uh, and reject every false vision every false prophetic word that was released in anybody's life on this line on the way life in the name of Jesus. I bind the deceiver, Satan himself, for releasing any deception in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit of error, every false spirit, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of Antichrist, in the name of Jesus, trying to be greater than him, but it's not in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast all demons that try to fear bring timidity right now. In the life, in the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of slumberness, laziness, procrastination, hesitation, in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all sin Seducing spirit that will try to come uh, come out right now in the way in the name of Jesus. I bind in the, uh, 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 right now and rebuke any angel of light which is not a God in the name of Jesus. I bind all false apostolic ministry in the name of Jesus. I reject all false prophetic ministry will not be able to manifest in life in their life. I rebuke all false uh, teaching ministry right now in the name of Jesus. Expose all these false brothers right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We reject right now the spirit of vanity right now in 
the name of Jesus. Ramandere bashide bahaya. Eke boto de the right spirit will be upon them right now. In the name of Jesus, I command all devils to lead their children right now. Satan, you will not destroy their children. You will not kill their children. You will not do what you plan to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for a cover protection around everybody's children from a baby on to a teenage to old age, however age they are. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of a rebuke of Malay that was sent the try to assign to abort their destiny. It will not be able to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. <coughs> Every snare that was hidden and be exposed, that been in the feet, be exposed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. I bind and remove all leaven of malice, jealousy, wickedness, all the like. In the name of Jesus. I bind every spirit of the devil that sent in high places that will not be able to manifest. In the name of Jesus. I shred upon serpents and scorpions and by no means they shall harm them. In the name of Jesus. I shed down the wicked that they are and they are ashes under their feet in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every wild bird of the fear in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every spirit that creeps and falls from the forest that trying to destroy them in the name of Jesus. Raman Shata. I close every door to every demonic rat, every demonic forces that try to come against them right now in the name of Jesus. I bind the spoils and cast out every demon that will try to steal uh, undetected that's not uh, uh, identified will be uncovered and exposed and put the shape right now in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out all familiar spirit that tried to recognize in the fabric. What kata? Yeki bado. Jite manu makata. Ikunda matere basata. Rimatere basida bahaya. Ikumati la ha. Jete malo oko dia ha. Na fire, the 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 fire. Of the Holy Ghost ikaba. Ikumana na. Ikunda mana ha. Eke do mokola. Ikunda maseke boda. Ikunda le bar. Russia, I commanda, I can dema ha, I can dele makaya, I commanda ha, I can dele bahaya. Every plan and purpose of the enemy that's trying to score the purpose and plan that God has in life will not be able to manifest high on this line in their life right now. I see you. I command you right now to lose your assignment right now in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Raman dele boshira, I can dele bando, ye dele bo Russia, I can dele bo Russia. Rabba teke bulam bandele ya kasia jetele borokoba ikom dele boroshi ambate ikom dele borosia I plead the blood 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 of Jesus Raymond dole ba kiasa ikom manara mashira I bind every spirit that trying to hold up family members in the jail for trying to uh, rejuvenate uh, in the name of Jesus I try to make him hot hot Rabba de be Shut up. Trying to rehabilitate uh, uh, them. They won't be able to do it. Ha ha. Take care of Satan. Just going to release her. Release those prison. Release our families in jail. Release the mother. Release the father. Release the sons. Release the daughter. Release the children right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whether they're here in America. Or they in other country. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release the warrior angel. Ha. Uh, over our soldiers. Ha. Wherever they're in the military. And you can run. Uh, Russia. Wherever they're at. Hallelujah. Uh, in the ran. Hallelujah. Hakalaba Shandere Bahaya. Overseed right now. Ha. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ha. I release those angelic hosts. The warring angels. Ha. To fight their battle. Ha. To shield and protect them. Ha. From any harm and danger. Ha. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ha. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ha. Ekelebo Shandere Baraha. Ekendele Baroko Basa. Ekendele Baroko Sia. Every mouth that's spoken evil. Every tongue that says. Ha. Hatala Bahaya. Shunked up the tongue. They won't be able to say in the wrong day. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Elamando la Basira Bahaya, Ekendele Borosia, Atalabacoya Cassia, Ekendele Boshida la Basata, Ekendele Boroko Bata, Jetta, Rico Madaka, Dede Bokoya, Canala Bakia, Ekondele Baha, all that talking line been going on. Shut the mouth of the lion mouth, shut up the gospel, shut up the terrorists, shut up the liars, in the mighty name of Jesus, shut up them right now, the religion. 
Spirit, as a Bashida Labakaya, Ekin de Borosia, Raman de Borokova, Ekum de Borosia Manta, Eden Thane the Chinahan, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in Abashan de Bahaya, Ekin de Boshida Labahaya, Ekin de Boshida Labakaya, Ekin de Boshida Labakoya, Ekin de Borosia, everything that they try to rot itself against the will of God, it will not be able to manifest in the mighty name of Jesus. Eke mando de Borussia, Eke de Lebo Shataba, and God release your fire, huh? your majestic glory huh? on this line tonight. Huh? Everything is not of you, huh? we're not baby to interfere, huh? we're not baby to intercept, huh? we're not baby to stop what God has ready, purpose, and plan huh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Remember, huh? they will be exposed and put to shame huh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Those demons will not baby to manifest huh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? You deceive a lie. Spirit, huh? you've been lying long enough. He can never shand the river higher. He come that a barrocco say, He can deliver a cosia. He can deliver a coba. He can da la baraca. She tamoni a cone. She tamaconi a sonde. Me that a bocone a sonde. He come racande a pa. Shanda de barocoba. He batande. He can de batalla. The yoke is broken right now. You will not be able to tie the people down. You will not be able to hold the things down. You liar spirit. You deceiver spirit. Spirit, you spirit of Antichrist, you spirit of Baba, you anti spirit, you false liar, you false prophet, you false teacher, you all a false heart. We be put to shame right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood right now. I lose the fire. I lose the fire, 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 fire of the Holy Ghost right now. He come that of Russia, in the of Russia, in the of Russia, in the of Russia, and the of Rokotia. He come that of Russia. He can deliver Rokoba. He come deliver Rokosia. I deliver Rokobiasa. He come deliver Russia. He come deliver Rokoba. He come deliver Russia. He can ma take a nama. Zida Bashida Bakaya. He come deliver Rakasa. He come deliver Rakasa. He come deliver Rakasa. In the name of Jesus, expose the crook in the corner. Expose the liar. Expose the uh, the bad shake and the bahaya. Expose the enemy and put him to shame right now. He can deliver higher. Your wicked uh, altar is broken right now. It's coming down. Huh? All the wicked altar been lying and come against one another. Been talking. Huh? It's coming down right now. Huh? It will not be able to manifest. Huh? In the mighty name of Jesus. 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 It can deliver Rokoba. It can deliver Roshia. It can deliver Roshia. It can deliver Rocco Bassia, Eken de Barocoba, Eken de Bohaya, Eken de Barasia Manda, Ecom de Barocoba, El Lamanda Mando Rebeco, Ecom de Barasia, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Hallelujah, Holy Ghost Fire, 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 and Father Active. Every blessing here that was due, huh? And the enemy would not be able to tie down no more in the mighty name of Jesus, huh? Ramanda de Boshida, it can de Boshia, it can de Boshia, it can de Boha. I command that spirit loose out of their mouth, huh? I bind that spirit of scroll, I bind that hypertension, I bind that heart problem in the mighty name of Jesus, huh? Ramanda de Bahaya, come out right now in the name of Jesus, I bind the third rock condition in the mighty name of Jesus, you call that. Russia, kidney problems in the mighty name of Jesus. Remando de Bashida, breathing problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Eke Bano de Barusha, Zed de Baroco Bassia, Eke Mando, he come de Barocoba, he come de Barosia, Eke Namba de Bassia, Esem de Barocosia, Eke de Bassia, I lose her. The power of the Holy Ghost in your house, the power of the Holy Ghost in your home right now. Every spirit that's in your house, that's in the right now should not be there. I command him by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out of their house right now. Come out of right now, the Mary. Come out right now in the name of Jesus. You have to bow down to my master, huh? the Lord Jesus. Huh? Every 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 power, every knee shall bow. Huh? Every tongue confess huh? that Jesus is Lord. Huh? You got to confess huh? to, uh, to Jesus. Huh? You got to bow down. Huh? Satan and your wits huh? to demon. Uh, demon huh? Had to bow down to Jesus. Huh? He can't deliver Roshi. Huh? He can't deliver Roshi. Huh? He come 
Ekendere Barosia Ma, Ekendere Barosia, Ekendere Barokoba, Ekendere Barashi Adanda, Ekendere Boshida Labahaya. Every principality, every rule of the huh? that trying to start confusion, huh? It may try to come in the home, huh? I try to come in the ministry, I try to come in the line, huh? They are the batanda de Bahaya. They will manifest, huh? There will be a premature death if they try, huh? You witches, huh? You wallas, huh? You will not live, huh? You will die, huh? Trying to put a spell, huh? Trying to put a hex, huh? In the name of Jesus, huh? Raman de Bashia, huh? I bring you down, huh? I see the blood of Jesus on your transportation. I see several people right now. The devil is trying to cause you to have an accident. I plead the blood of Jesus over your transportation. All the wheels, huh? There will not be no accident, huh? There will not be no premature death, huh? In the mighty name of Jesus, huh? Remando de Bashida Bahaya. And I plead the blood, ha, right now, ha, let revelation come forth, ha, in the mighty name of Jesus, ha, holy ghost, ha, holy ghost, ha, you in charge over me, ha, right now, ha, everything is not of you, ha, will not be able to manifest, ha, bring forth the wisdom, ha, bring forth the knowledge, ha, bring forth the understanding, ha, Raman Basata, upon me right now, ha, let me see more, ha, in the name of Jesus, ha, stir up the gifts of me, ha, even greater right now, huh, that I will see anybody, and I rebuke that demons that will try to manifest in the name of Jesus, huh? it will not be able to manifest you lying demon, huh you gospel demon, huh, you tear bearer demon huh? in the mighty name of Jesus huh? I bring you down, huh, to nothing, huh, in the mighty name of Jesus, huh basata, you voodoo spirit, I see voodoo working, huh I see witchcraft, Christians in the Church doing witchcraft, haka, rima dele bahaya, witchcraft in the pew, heke batalaba, bring them down, ka, jendele borashia, jinda mandol seke, na no na nande neaka, jendele maroko ba, zeke, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, rima dele bashida laba koyeke, ramat seke le bakaya, in the Jesus name, in Jesus name, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way, Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. You release Michael and us angels on those, those demons, those principalities. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, for the favors on me. Hallelujah. 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 Touch not his anointing and do his prophet no harm. Hallelujah. Don't put your mouth on no prophets. Don't put your mouth on the anointing, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And don't put your mouth on me, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Kids say Prashida Bahaya. Here came on. There's been a lot of talking going on against me. Laugh in my face and go by my height. I've been saying this four times. They don't told me. Prophet said, Anybody that put their mouth on me, said the Lord, I would I will deal with them. Hallelujah. And you're gonna begin to lose everything. You every time you put your mouth on me, said the Lord, He's gonna choke you. You'll be like you choke. Hallelujah. Like you're eating peanut butter. You're gonna choke you. You keep putting your mouth. I know it's gonna be like that, but God said, Keep your mouth off me. I'm speaking to you out there. You may not understand who I am, but I'm definitely a woman of God. I belong to the Lord Jesus Christ. Here, God said, enough. You won't be able to stop. Put your mouth. Keep putting your mouth on it and see what's going to happen. Everything going to start going down, said the Lord. God said, you're mad me. You're mad with God. Hallelujah. Better not touch God's anointing. Better not touch this ministry. Better not touch God's touching here. In the name of Jesus. People are going to get sick and leave this world if they don't shut the Mouthful, say the Lord. God said, Enough is enough. Hallelujah. What you're doing in the dark, gonna come in the light. If you've been on the phone, gospel, God's gonna cover you in the name of Jesus. Get your house in order. God speaking to those out there. Get your house.
laws and order. For if you don't, God's going to expose you and put you to shame. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wasn't praying just for that. God said I was praying for everybody. But God told me, keep your mouth off of her. Keep your mouth off. Keep on putting your mouth on. See what's going to happen, said the Lord. God ain't playing. Y'all playing around. Too many people playing church. God had enough of that playing church. He's coming back. I keep getting the same prophetic word that people put their mouth and left my face. You keep it on. I'm not praying against nobody. But it's a dangerous thing to come against somebody that loves the Lord. Amen. And living a life, not talking about it. Not trying to put a front and trying to get brownie points. Amen. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Hallelujah. Rabbi Teddy Bakaya. Will not last. No, no, they ain't gonna last. Amen. Hallelujah. I see the mouth just talking, talking, talking. They're gonna Jesus. choke on their own t- uh, on their own conversation, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Now I'm gonna Amen. tell y'all something. I'm not dumb in the spirit. I know who's talking about me. God shows me that. Amen. Amen. Not to come against, but pray that you repent of your sin. You out there, listen. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you, ain't no weapon formed against me or anybody in this ministry shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Every tongue that has risen against us in judgment, that shall condemn. I got better things to talk about people. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Touch not his anointed. You out there, listen. Touch not his anointing and do his prophet no harm. Amen. You don't mess with nobody that's going to speak the truth and not, not afraid to speak the truth. Don't care who people like you or not. Only care about what God Amen. say. Leave those people alone. Whether me or anybody. Uh, God, the judgment of God has already begun. He said, I'm getting ready to separate. I'm getting ready to deal with those people with their lying tongues. Say they one thing and do another. How about is a dangerous thing. How to do the fall in the wrath and hands of God. Amen. Come on, somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not for playing church. Try to prove yourself who you are. You better prove yourself to Jesus. Hallelujah. You better live for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank God. Just in my soul. Hallelujah. But I'm sweating. Feel the anointing now. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God, everybody. Amen. I wasn't up. I wasn't up for nothing last night praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't look for prophecy. I don't have to look for it. I got a relationship with God. He let me know what's going on. He sent, sent a word to me and let me know what's going on. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's time people start living and stop playing. Patty Kate Bakers, man. Don't you know God see what you did? Hallelujah. Amen. Can't play church with God. God's going to uncover a lot of people that playing church, playing house. That's what they're doing, playing house. Playhouse. Playhouse. God told me, he said, the, the church has become a nightclub. A nightclub with celebrity stars trying to go down the aisle of the red carpet. Here I am, apostle, prophet, evangelist, teacher, pastor. God don't care what you are. Are you really who you say you are? Come on, somebody. Are you God's servant? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. He get ready to shake up that church because he's coming back. Amen. Get your house Amen. in order. Amen. I made my money to tell people whether they love me or not. I got to love you and you got to love me. Come on. You won't get to heaven. Hello, somebody. Amen. Time Amen. out. Amen. People looking for the nemos to follow. You better look at the quality of the Holy Ghost because the nemos don't mean nothing if Jesus not in there. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah, Amen. somebody. Hallelujah. 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 I'm blowing the trophy, amen. I've been doing that and copping up nobody. I don't need to copy nobody. I got a relationship. Amen. And God said, blow the trophy, trophy Lord. Victory. Hallelujah. Amen. Get prepared. He spoke to me the other night. He said, tell the people, uh, 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 sound the alarm and spare not and blow the trumpet and tell the truth. Whether they lo- they receive it or not. He said, you tell them when they get mad with you, tell them they get mad with me. Because you got the bonus to tell them the truth. You allow me to speak and tell the truth. Do you? Amen. Amen. He gets all the glory and praise. Somebody say, hallelujah. 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 Don't go to hell for hallelujah. nobody. Hallelujah. Don't go to hell hallelujah. for your husband. Don't go to hell for your wife. Don't go to hell for your children. Don't go to hell for your family. Do not go to hell because time is winding up. As I was talking to God this morning, and I listened to the true prophets that's really walking in God. Time is winding up. 
people too many play in church is like a nightclub in the church. Amen. Amen. Who got the best? Who can preach the best? Who can prophesy the best? Who can teach the best? Who can do this? Ain't about nobody but Jesus. Yeshua Messiah. Amen. Amen. He get ready to shake up the church. Judgment begin in the house of God. And he said, I'm shaking the church. It's too much uh, uh, terrors. It's too much wolves. It's too much uh, uh, ghosts. They uh, they obey when they get ready. Yeah, they're playing the game. Amen. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sweat now. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. It's time we walk in the land of milk and honey. It's time we walk where we're supposed to get the blessings and stop walking under curses and stop around people. Amen. I was saying that yesterday on my son on the line. See, let me tell y'all something. God is separating people. If you have a man of mind with a sound mind, wants to live right and do right, if this person is around you, let him go. Amen. God said, let him go. Because they hinder you for getting where you're at. Amen. Most of your problems is the people under you, around you, and say they for you. You try to hold on to people. They're the ones that are trying to tear you down and stop you from going forth. Amen. Wake up and walk in the spirit and let the Holy Ghost do what he says. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to be talking about that. The walk in the destiny. That You're going to be tested. You can't get no promotion if you're not tested. Amen. Amen. You will be Amen. tested. Amen. You'll be tested to whether he can trust you or not. Amen. Amen. Don't you know God sees Amen. what you do in the dark and behind closed doors? Amen. Amen. You can't hide Amen. from God. I ain't got no, I will have no peace if I did it. Amen. Amen. Get ready to expose. Separate the weak from the tares. Because the judgment, because it's going to be a great revival for the coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. He's not going to let the spirit of Antichrist come forth. And that's what's going on. The Antichrist spirit is trying to manifest. And God is not going to let him uh, 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 produce anything what he wants to do. He's not going to let him have his way. He's not going to let him uh, 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 give his prophecy before time. And oh no, God is still in control. And at the same time, he's saying, who's going to be faithful and loyal? And I'm telling you this, everybody. Amen. Be faithful and loyal. Amen. Amen. Ain't gonna deal with these young half sisters, half brother. They don't love you when they want something. Oh, amen, amen. God is not pleased. He woke me up and told me. And Matthew twenty four talks about it. In in Romans eleven chapter verse thirteen. Thirteen chapter verse eleven, twelve, thirteen about Jesus. People are asleep. He said, "My people are asleep. They're lazy." All they're looking for a prophecy. You better get in that word. Amen. And they're trying to build their own Amen. repetition. Your 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 altar better be better be worshipped by Jesus, not by you or no by man Amen. or no woman. Hallelujah. God's a jealous God. They play in church. They got their own cliques in a circle. I'm glad I ain't part of no cliques. Amen. Hallelujah, everybody. Amen. Amen. I, I don't want to be part of no Amen. cliques. Because I got to love people whether they love me or not. Amen. Amen. And I got to be a hell accountable. And the Lord spoke to me this day. I was going to put the post up. And he told me this morning. He said, you tell people, words can kill you. Words can harm you. Words can destroy you. Words can curse you. Amen. Amen. And stop the word of blessings and prosperity come upon you or healing. Your tongue is a powerful tool. If it's one of the strongest muscles in the body, in the human body, amen, and, and the power of the Holy Ghost came on the tongues, your tongues will kill what God has for you. Amen. He said, tell the people, words can kill you. And that we are going to be held accountable for what come out our mouth. Amen. 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 Well, please, people, please, Jesus. You happen to say the wrong thing, repent of it, cause he got he got, he got he got this by writing down everything you're doing. Amen. Can't hide from God. He said, "Tell the people, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Amen. What you speak is what's gonna happen in your life. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 
I didn't put that up yet on my post, but he said words are powerful. What you speak, that's why I'm careful. I don't want to speak the wrong word on somebody because they don't love me and they don't understand me. Amen. I don't want nobody to go to hell. Amen. I don't care how bad they are. Amen. I don't care they don't love me, don't like me. I, I'm, I'm, I want to show grace. Amen. Hallelujah. And when I show mercy, God amen. show me mercy. Church, amen. Good evening, everybody. This is Apostle Lord Shea Parchment. Amen. Hallelujah. I thank God for praying through me, breaking everything that needs to be broken. And don't miss anything. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I like to get in my warfare and pray. Amen. And let the Holy Ghost take over. Now, when I really get in the warfare, when I pray Oriental, amen, when I pray Asian, uh, Chinese, uh, uh, I pray uh, African, uh, I pray especially Indian, because the Indian means warfare, amen, amen. hallelujah. Amen. God didn't move already tonight, but Christians got to get their laziness and begin to pray, amen. God is wake, wake, waking you up in the middle of the night to pray. Sometimes I don't get to sleep. Amen. It's time to wake up and stop letting everybody pray for you and get off your laziness, your sorriness. Amen. Your procrastination is. Amen. Get up and pray. Amen. There's a war going on and there's a spiritual warfare. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And let me tell you, Satan know who you are. He ain't going to pay you no attention. If you aggravate a demon with somebody and then just launch at you and get mad, it's because the glory of God around you and you aggravate that demon in them. Amen. That's what you should be doing. Amen. Like Jesus aggravated the demons and those those hypocrites and those uh, Sadducees, religious people. They couldn't take them. They, they finally tried to do everything. He said, you ain't going to go where I'm at because you, you, you're the children of the devil. Amen. Everywhere he went, they tried to uh, 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 tear him down. Try to kill them before time. They couldn't tell them. And then try to kill you before time. But they can't kill you before time. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, I bless the name of the Father. Amen. I'm going to get right into the into the, um, into the the teaching. Amen. The word. We are in one powerful book. In Genesis 27. And we're in Genesis 27. And um, Sunday I'll be talking about the Holy Spirit. Because God is telling me, I want you to talk about the Holy Spirit. Since you got a good relationship with Him, which is me. Which is me. Now He said the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking about me. The Holy Spirit is Him. Amen. And talk about it. Because too many people are vexing the Spirit. They're grieving the Spirit. Uh, uh, and one thing we got to be careful of, don't blaspheme the Holy Ghost. And I'm not going to break that down for you to understand how you go blaspheme the Holy Ghost. And don't realize that, that you don't want to happen. It's kind of hard. But you don't want that to happen. So I'll be talking to the Holy Spirit for the next five <clears throat> five weeks. And then I'm going to go on the topic of Jesus and God. Because people don't got away from the name of Jesus and God. They don't got away from the Holy Spirit first. He's the one that here on earth. Jesus at the right hand of the Father interceding for us. Hallelujah, y'all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for his grace and mercy. Hallelujah. He said, he told me, he said, too many people are vexing the spirit and grieving the spirit. And they, and they, when, and they, they stop at the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not confusion. The Holy Spirit is not confusion. Not illusion. Amen. He's not pride. Too many Christians got pride. You don't have to prove who you are. You don't see me prove who I am. I let you know I'm an apostle. And the Holy Ghost don't have you prove because then you take, try to take the glory away from God. Humble yourself. You're God's servant. I'm God's servant. Whether the apostle, prophet, whatever, all that. Amen. I'm still God's servant. Amen. So I'll be talking about that on Sunday. That you get a, you get the, your relation is built through the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's one touchy subject. He will forgive you everything, but he will not forgive you if you come against the Holy Spirit the wrong way. Blasphemy. So you're gonna have a better understanding. Sunday, I'll be talking about the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, and why he put that up. I, I was gonna, he's gonna have that third week, but he's gonna put it up now because too many people don't realize. You know, you think a lot of people in heaven, they in hell. Amen. That's a dangerous Amen. thing. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't want that to happen to nobody. I don't wish that on nobody. Amen. We gotta be very careful that we don't let that happen to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, we're going to get to the, uh, 
we're going to get to the uh the word amen we have i think it's it was it 34 verses prophet tina no it's 46 verses chapter 27 is 46 verses yes ma'am oh, that's a lot of verses yes it is yes ma'am um, I book it down. If it's three people, two can read 15 and one will do 16. If it's four people, three can read 11 and one can read 13. So if you like to read the word, please lift your hand up if you're down there, if you're up here. Amen. Jessica, you don't need to read. You need to get better. You're already better, okay? Okay. All right. You just be still and watch over the kids and be still. Keep your mouth and get better, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Who am up here going to read the word? Amen. I don't want you to read it dry. You know how I like to hear from the Holy Ghost. I'm gonna. I'll read Apostle. Okay. Well, how many we need? It's you, and we need how many more? Um, if you do three, two can read fifteen, and one can read sixteen. Mm -hmm. So uh, you reading how many? I'll read the first fifteen. Mm -hmm. We just need, we need two one more. more. We need two more people. Want to read the second fifteen, and the third person will read sixteen. Well, who's that? Other two people. I'll be uh, the next fifteen apostle. This is Cynthia. Okay, and who's gonna read the uh, the third? You know, even that's important. You know, God sees us. If we can't read the words, some problem. Amen. Don't get to beside yourself. You're all Almighty. You know, so cute now. Amen. That is just important as anything else. If you can't read the words, something wrong with you. Amen. We need one more. I just got in the room, Apostle. If you tell me what the scripture is, I can pull it up. Well, you should know what scripture we're reading. Uh, Genesis 27. I need to lay hands on your behind. Tell me what scripture is. Where you oh, been? Oh, yes, ma'am. I just said I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> lay hands on your behind talking about what this is uh, please you, you're gonna read the last uh, uh i got the last 15. no 16. 16. 16. yeah okay. get the last yes, 16. okay we got prophet tina the first 15 right prophet tina yes ma'am and the second uh, uh uh 15 is uh it's a uh, uh cynthia right yes ma'am apostle okay and then we have the third one uh, this uh, Teresa. Okay, good. Let's get going. Now, notice if I cut in, it's because the Holy Ghost cut it. You know how I get with the word. Amen. Amen. And I've been studying already. Let me cut my uh, uh, shelf it down. Let me get some soft music. Amen. Bring that down. That's my warfare music. Amen. And it, it keeps the uh, anointing. Amen. As well. Amen. It's already anointing. <laughs> So let's go to, and with what translation you're reading, please let me know. All right? Amen. You read us, let me know what translation you read. We always read from Amplify. That's real good. If you want to read the message, you can. If you want to read NIV, you can. If you want to read the King James Version, you can. Amen. Uh, I read the King James Version every day. Amen. And read about itself by other version because people can get an idea of understanding because some people are new in reading the word amen they don't understand the king james version i understand it because i can read it from the holy ghost my uh, director my teacher the head of my life will help me to understand it amen so i may interrupt you when you're speaking because god will bring me revelation as you're teaching i mean as i'm teaching to the holy spirit amen and as you are reading the word okay Amen. Okay, let's go to the first 15, Prophet Tina. Yes, ma'am. Genesis 27, Amplified Bible, verse 1. Okay. Now, when Isaac was old and his eyes were too dim to see, he called his elder and favorite son Esau and said to him, My son. And Esau answered him, Here oh. I am. Okay, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Now, notice. There was a favoritism here. Isn't that right? Amen. And that's almost happened to history repeat itself. Abraham will almost favor Ishmael. You remember that? Amen. Amen. Because he thought he, he, he believed in Sarah. What she was saying that she couldn't have. If he didn't believe in Sarah, he wouldn't have followed her and did what he did. And married Hagar, wouldn't he? Huh? And so Amen. when Sarah saw how the, the how the how the reaction 
and also saw the motives of Hagar change. Now she was okay the first time, but the minute she entered lot intimacy with her husband, and, and she became like a second hunger. That the cuckapines are. They become like a second. Amen. The main primary wife is first. And she felt that she could be the first one. She was going to move Sarah out the way and become the first. Because she was the first one to have Ishmael. In other words, the revelation is she thought that because Sarah was old and Sarah used her. And Sarah thought because God gave Hagar as a gift, amen, to, uh, uh, to have a baby, amen. And she thought that her ideas was better, amen, than God. And so what I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm getting at. A lot of people don't trust God completely. They look at the situation instead of trusting God. The word of God said in Proverbs, the third chapter, verse 5, is trust in the Lord. And lean not to your understanding. The word understanding, when you in a place, it looks like a hard place. Are uh, you in a place of making decision? Are uh, you in a place uh, uh, at a dead zone, dead end? What the first thing he tell you to trust him. And see what happened, people take upon themselves. And yet they trust him, but they don't, they don't believe that God can take the impossible and turn around and make it possible. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. So what they do, a Amen. lot of people are in their predicament. What they are, because they say they trust God, with them, uh, they, but they trust Him with their mouth, but their heart is not in who they really trust in. Him. Hallelujah. Because the Word of God said, where your heart is, is where your treasure is. Amen. Amen. And so God will not allow someone else to be the successor in the inheritance of who he had planned to. In other words, if we allow God to do his plan, we don't we have to suffer a lot of these consequences. Church, say amen. 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 What happened? We get impatient. We don't wait upon the Lord. How you know? And let me show you this this revelation. Here is is uh, uh Esau became uh uh uh, uh uh, uh, Isaac, favorite son. I mean, he told me that a long time ago. And and the Amplifier, as well about the Amplifier, it breaks it down. That was his favorite son instead of Jacob. Because why was he was his favorite son? Because Ishmael grew up with Isaac. Amen. And he was considered his big brother. And so he had a long for his big brother. So Esau reminded Isaac of his... Uh, 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 of his uh, oldest, uh, oldest brother Ishmael, but Ishmael was not the ideal for God to for God for the inheritance because God knew that He was not going to serve him like uh, uh, Isaac was. Amen. And a lot of time when people make decision, now here's the re re revelation in churches, they have a tendency to pick somebody who they think could be that uh, uh, person to carry on what they finish off. If it's time for them to go, or the same thing the parents that carry on what they're doing. That's not the case. Amen. Just because a person looks strong, amen, that don't mean that they're going to be strong in the Lord. That don't mean that they're going to be the successor who God can trust. That don't mean that God can depend on them and, uh, uh, and know that regardless if they fall short, they're still going to run back to him like the prodigal son did. Is anybody catching on? Amen. Amen, amen, amen. And what happened? People fall into that uh, 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 category. Amen. And and you notice now when I get down a little bit more, you're gonna see how history repeats of the same thing with Sarah, did with Rebecca in a different way. I, Isaac had all in the whole idea to bless Esau first. And you know Esau, and you read the end of end of the chapter, go to the end of chapter of verse uh, uh, 34, Tina. Look what uh, uh, Esau did. Read that. Yes, ma'am. Verse 34. When Esau heard the words of his father, he cried out with a great and extremely uh, Verse 34 uh, in 26, Genesis 26. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> this is going to explain to 27 on down. Come on. All right. Okay, I gotta get it. I'm sorry. It's it's, it's right down. It's right under. It's it's 26. We on 27. Yeah, I'm on the computer and it's it's it's, it's um my computer is acting up. 
Okay, well, the devil's a liar. Yes, he is. Amen. Well, let me go backwards. I don't know what's going on. Well, I, I can read it. Else, can somebody else get Genesis? I'm going to read it. I'm, I'm going to read it. Yes, I'm gonna, okay. When Esau, I'm reading from the uh, Passion Bible. When Esau was 40, he married two Hitchite women. He didn't marry no Jews. He married what? Hitchite women. women. The opposite. Hitchite, anything, I, Amorite, Amorite, all of them became the enemy of the Jews. Isn't that right? It, it, it repeat itself. Look what it says. He married two Hitchite women. Judah, the daughter of Biri. Basman, the daughter of Elon. Amen. Judah means praise. Biri means my well. And Basman means fragrance of spice. But they made life miserable for Isaac and Rebekah. Why? Because it was the opposite. They didn't have, well, that was not raised up. The way that uh, 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 the Jews was wicked, raised up, wasn't they? Huh? Amen. So he, Esau had already started. But yet, yet uh, uh, you go to the next verse. Here, God, uh, here, uh, here Isaac favored Esau. He didn't call Jacob first, did he? Who did he call first? Esau. And later on, we're going to read down how God had already told him. Before, uh, 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 before they got uh, had to ch was pregnant, Rebecca, and when she, preg when she was pregnant, he says that the younger one is the one to rule over the older one. Didn't he say that, huh? Amen. And why he said that? Because he know that Esau represent Edom, E D O M. You read along the old and uh, regular Old Testament, Zika represent red. Means that the red means not the red of blood. But the opposite, come against the red, but come against the blood of Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? He came Amen. against everything of God. Isn't that something? You can have two children, or you can have five children. Out of all those children, is really one is the one going to serve God. But the parents have a tendency to pick the one that ain't going to serve God. Oh, are we here? Amen. Amen. It happened. And you're the one that's been treated bad. You're the one that lied. And that's the one the devil messed with a lot. That's the one that's chosen. Is that the one that uh, 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 look like they do right and look like everything comes to right? No, 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 no. The devil ain't going to mess with the one that's doing, uh, 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 is, 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 is doing right. Because he got them. He come against the one that's really God say the successor. The successor means the hair that God has picked. Amen. And the reason why you, oh, this is good. Say, this is good. The this reason good. why your, your parents, your mother or your father, don't favor you more and favor the other one more because they feel that you are you are you already are protected. But no, they're out of order. Because God said there is no what? There's no partiality should be in the family. The, God had given the mother and the father who is really going to be the heir to carry up the carry on the good news of God to Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying? Amen. They are the key to the they are the key. Amen for their family, not the one that everybody favorite. Amen. Though they never do no wrong. Amen. Uh, and so the mama like them better. They rugged. They strong. They are not strong because they depend on the strength of themselves. They don't depend on the strength of God. They don't trust God. God already knew that Esau was not going to serve. Him. He already started off wrong, didn't he? Huh? He married he had, the enemy. And they gave. You notice it says uh, 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 they gave Rebecca and, and Isaac a hard time, didn't it? Huh? Made him miserable. Amen. Amen. But yet Esau, I mean Isaac, called the oldest son and asked him, my son, I'm here, father. Esau answered. He didn't call Jacob. He called who? I mean, now he didn't call uh, Isaac. I mean, Jacob. He called Esau, didn't he? Amen. And God told him and Rebecca, these two was fighting the wounds of, of, of their father. I mean, isn't that something? It's amazing. Twins, and uh, you can you can imagine that uh, twins fighting the mother's stomach. Isn't that something else? 
because if they that sensible in 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 the, in the womb and they and they not uh, uh has not came out the mother's womb you then you you murdering a child that's already been produced by god already know what's going on that's abortion before life killing them and christian ain't got no business be involved in that amen everybody hello amen and so the lord knew who was going to serve? If he told Jeremiah, I knew you before you was born. I knew you were going to be a male or female. I knew you were going to serve it. Don't you know he knew you were going to serve it? And you say, why are you? Why did God allow you literally go to hell? No, he didn't literally go to hell. It's the devil knew there was something different about you. Amen. You have been handpicked, choice by God. Is anybody understand what I'm talking about? Amen. Amen. And so therefore, when it's time to leave something, you notice that the parents would choose the other one better than you? Amen. But see, God Amen. chose you. And so what God is saying, get this in your, your heart. You have been chosen by God for such a time like this to save your family through Jesus. Not you save, but you, the, you are the key of their salvation. And why should you worry about your mama or your daddy treat your sister or your brother better than you? I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. 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 And a lot of you got that in your family. I can say amen to that. I'm the black sheep my family. Hello, y'all. Amen. 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 Why do you think the devil attacked you so much? Because you are chosen. He knows it. He don't know everything, but he knows there's something different about you. Why do you think he tried to kill you before you was one? Why do you think he tried to turn everybody against you? Your mom and your daddy that you're not so special, you're not better. The one that you they think is special and better, it's the one that God ain't, can't trust because it's the one that ain't going to serve God like you're going to serve him. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. 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 He already had handpicked Jacob. He said the young one shall rule the old one. Then he said that. Amen. We're going to see why the line. See, see, then it, uh, Rebecca did the same thing a different way. Like his repeat herself, like uh, uh, Sarah. She took upon herself and going to help God out and sh and help him uh, uh, because God gave a, a word, a promise. And, uh, amen. And she didn't have to do that. She, all she had to do was trust him. And that's what happened to Abraham. He allowed Sarah to tell him to do something. And God had already told them that they was going to have a child. Let me tell you something. When God tells you, when you handpick, stick to what God says. It can, what it can do, it can save you a lot of the suffering, the consequences. I don't hear anybody talking. Amen. 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 We suffer the consequences because we're trying to help God out. Amen. To help him how he should plan it. And it's already been planted by him. Amen. Never put a child before the one that God picked. The one is the is the outcast, the underdog. It's the one the family treat worse. They know they're real, but they treat them bad. God's going to hold the parents accountable. I don't hear nobody talking. Hello. Amen. Amen. Be careful how you treat the one that God has picked parents. Amen. The Bible said, don't provoke your child to be mad. In other words, don't provoke that one that God picked to be mad. Amen. Angry. And do the mm -hmm. opposite. And this has happened in family. Church, amen. 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 So God had already told, already told Isaac and Rebecca that the youngest was going to rule, didn't he? Amen. But notice it said in the Amplified, read that again, because I want you to get the head. Don't you feel like you're not you're not wanted? You feel that you overlooked? No. God is handpicked you to uh, 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 be the key to your family's salvation. Hallelujah. Not only key to salvation to your family, but key to salvation to anybody else because you know that you're going to serve them no matter what. Stop allowing the devil, those that has handpicked on this line, to tear you and twist your mind and lose your blessing. I know somebody. Amen. 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 And you read through the word, all those one handpicked was given a hard time, but yet they came out of it. They suffered the consequences, but yet they came out. They realized they was handpicked and not allowed the devil to do it no more. Come on, somebody. He said he was his, his favorite. I remember in that said, God, a, 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 a Esau was, was, uh, was uh, uh, Isaac's favorite. He said, yes. I said, why was he favorite? Because he reminded him of his brother, rugged, rugged. He thought he was stronger. He thought he was going to be stronger than uh, 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 
uh, Jacob. But really, Jacob was stronger than him because he had, he had God on the side. You understand? Huh? Amen. When you have God on your side, you know your strength comes from God and not man. Jacob was favored. He was prospering and blessed. Even Esau was blessed, but yet God knew that Esau was not going to serve him. And so Isaac made up his mind that he was going to put Esau blessing first, but that was God. See, see, God told Isaac already. Isaac did the opposite, didn't he? Huh? Amen. And he was losing his eyes being blind. But yet God, you know, God uh, 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 let things happen. Now that God put it on there, you know, and see how the how the uh, the parents is going to respond to what God tell them. If you got a child and you know and really want interest in, in, in God and you got a child that always get a hard time, that's the one God's pick. Be careful how you treat that child, y'all. Hello, everybody. Amen. Amen. But a grown a baby, amen, be careful. He had a minute. It made the choice to pick Esau. That wasn't God's plan. He said, my ways are not yours. He keep bringing it up. My thoughts are is higher than yours. I don't think like you. What you see is something else. What I see I see the best. He always said this, and he told this to Samuel. He said, "Man looks on the outer appearance, and that's what he's, that's what Isaac was looking at. He's so rugged. He's strong. I know if I if I leave him in charge, I don't have to worry about it. He able to fight the enemy. You fight in the flesh, don't win the battle. Fight in the spirit, wins the battle. Just say, man, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amen." You can you can fight someone in the battle and win all, and, and, and kill them, but the spirit is the one you need to fight. It will destroy the worst enemy and put it to naught. Amen. Amen. And it's still going on. Hits repeat itself. Hits repeat itself. But yet, he missed his brother so much. What happened? He had to leave. And Esau reminded him of his rugged brother who hunt. You know, Ishmael hunt a lot. He was a fighter. Ain't that right, huh? Amen. Amen. And Esau reminded him of his brother. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Never put somebody because they remind you of someone close to you. Amen. And you miss them. And God did not pick that person. This has been going on generation and it's still going on now. Nothing changed, hasn't it? Hmm? Amen. Amen. Nothing changed. He talked. Look what he says. Go verse. Go to the next verse. Yes, ma'am. Verse two. Isaac said, "See here, I am old. I do not know when I am. I may die." Verse three. So now, please take your hunting gear your quiver of arrows and your bow and go out into the open country and hunt game for me. Verse four, and make me a savory and delicious dish of meat, the kind I love, and bring it to me to eat so that my soul may bless you as my firstborn son before I die. Verse mm, five, mm, mm, mm. but Rebecca overheard what Isaac said to Esau, his son, and when Esau had gone to the open country to hunt for game that he might bring back, Rebekah said to Jacob, her younger son and favorite son, listen carefully. I heard your father saying to Esau, your brother, verse 7, bring me some game and make me a savory and delicious dish of meat so that I may eat it and declare my blessings on you in the presence of the Lord before my death. Verse 8. So now, my son, listen carefully to me and do exactly as I command you. Verse 9. Go now to the flock and bring me two good and suitable young goats, and I will make them into a savory dish of meat for your father, okay. the kind he loves to eat. Okay, what what did that mean? It's like a, a ceremony, uh, it's a making a, a, a ceremony dinner, a meal. 
it's like um but it reference said it's like a ceremony meal that gives the blessings amen the, it's like a blessing give him the best of eating give him the best of the food the food represent giving the food represent the word amen and i will bless you amen now god had already told uh 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 isaac that that the younger ones was going to be the one that ruled not the oldest one and so what happened rebecca sit and listen and she said that wasn't going to happen oh i'm not going to let that happen one thing what what happened again she was getting ready to take things in her hands wasn't she Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> you know how uh, you know how mamas get some time, and parents get some time. Instead of waiting on God, He had already. If see see how we mess up, we take upon ourselves. Here go again, like uh, like Sarah. She took upon her hand, did she? Took the matters of hand, and, and and really Abraham was trusting God, but he followed Sarah anyway, didn't you? Amen. And because Amen. of that. You remember, it took 13 years before God returned to Abraham, didn't he? Amen. Amen. In other words, you would suffer the consequences when you are trying to fix it. When God already, let me tell you something. You know how why people miss stuff? They take upon themselves and do it. I've been there. I ain't going there no more. Hello, has anybody been there? Amen. Nobody yeah. been there? You're telling a lie. Amen. You've all been there. Because none of y'all perfect on here. Hello. Amen. You know, did Amen. something you didn't do. If you say you never did something, you need to get saved again. You need to repent. Because you don't did something that you shouldn't have did. I, I want real people. God God tests you on real things, you know, when you be real. Amen. You can't use it use when you can't be real. We got some perfect Christians. They never did nothing wrong. You're a liar. You were born in a lie. Amen. God ain't going to use you. You think God gonna use you? No, because he can't trust you. Because you know you think you're better. Ain't nobody better. Ain't nobody higher. Ain't nobody right but Jesus. That's the last time I read the word. Have you read the word last time? Hello. Amen. 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 You notice that they mess up, but we got these Christians around here. Amen. And think they did. They all miss miss and miss the good of shoe. They never mess up. They never fail. I will listen to this woman of God named her name is Dr. Sheila King. Y'all know about her. Amen. And she said she messed up and asked God what to do and then he didn't tell her to do that. And she had to repent. And then she was honest and told the truth. Everybody else ain't telling no truth. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 They want everybody to know they all this. And you ain't all this because if you were so all this, then you would need we wouldn't need Jesus. You be Jesus. Ain't that right? Amen. You, you can't Amen. walk in the anointing if you can't tell the truth, you mess up. Now we're gonna go down the line, you're gonna see how Jacob messed up, but yet God revealed. You see Abraham mess up? Amen. But they said the only one that really messed up was uh Job. Job was a righteous man. He didn't mess up, but uh, uh, uh he didn't mess up. He he tried to live right. He's the only one that did not mess up. He was an example like Jesus. Well, how did he uh, why he didn't he didn't mess up? He never did wrong, and God let the devil do all this to him and and he said, but yet he, he got to a point. He almost stopped trusting God, didn't he? Huh? Amen. I mean, that, you, we got to read between the lines. People tell me to read the Bible, don't read the line. Here, history repeat itself. Look what happened. Rebecca was getting ready to take matters in hand. And when God had already told her and told Isaac, what did he tell Isaac and, and Rebecca? What did he tell Isaac and Rebecca about the babies? The children that the younger son was the heir you see when god don't move when we want to move this is revelation once again we take upon our hand and do it ourselves and that's why we don't we do not uh we miss what god has and we end up suffering the consequences even though god forgive us you will suffer the consequences i rather not suffer the consequences i rather hear what god say i rather that how do you suffer consequences worse when you you do it and you don't say you did do it Amen. But when God Amen. warned you, the Holy Ghost will warn you. And say you did something, uh, 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 repent now before, before you suffer consequences. David did it when he saw uh, 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 Uriah's wife, didn't he? And know how Amen. long it took him? Uh, it was more than a year. 
And then he killed the man, put him on the front row to, to uh, he was a man after God's own heart. He is a woman and Isaac, both picked by God, amen, to carry on, to fulfill the purpose and plan that God had to proclaim but the word of God that God wants to be put out. Amen. <laughs> he told them. Amen. Amen. Has anybody, when God told you something, you did the opposite? Amen. Yep. Amen. Yes, Amen. How about down there? You put your hand up and tell me. At the bottom. Have you ever did something that God, oh, I got one, and the rest of you liars. I'm going to tell you that you're liars because you weren't born perfect. You have did something you didn't want nobody to know about. See, God can't use you. Mm -mm, he can't use you. And you want the anointing? Mm -mm. But I never lie. You always told the truth. You never lie your child. No, I never tell a lie. I always told the truth and I always was good at two shoes. Then you, Jesus. He ain't gonna never can use you powerful. You will never reach the powerful end. Amen. Hello? Amen, Apostle. Amen. That's how I walk in the anointing. So strong. Because he can't use you because you miss perfect and Mr. Perfect. Hello, somebody. Are you there? You're gonna learn something Amen. here. Amen. 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 God ain't raising a, a Mr. and Mr. Perfect. He raising up somebody he could tell the truth. How are you going to witness somebody because you never did nothing? You was born, never did nothing? Oh, come on, somebody. Amen. You Amen. never fell short of glory of God. All through the Bible, all fell short of the glory of God. Hello, somebody. Even Job did when he, when he went through something. Hello, somebody. God ain't going to use you the way you want to be used because he can't trust you. The only perfect person never mess up. Who was that, y'all? Jesus. Jesus. So if we was Jesus, if we were Jesus, then he would have made us perfect, wouldn't that right? Hmm? Amen. 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 Now I don't know about you, uh, uh Kiana. I don't know about you, Tori. I don't know about you, Raven, because you sure ain't perfect. Hello. When God asks you, don't you know God tests you? Well, you test me not. No, that's God testing you. He's not going to pour his anointing upon a whole lot of people. Amen. Because they can't be honest. If they never did nothing wrong. They never messed up. But then they must be Jesus. Ain't that right? Huh? <laughs> Amen. Amen. God will put you on that way. You may not want to talk to me. I don't care. I don't care because you will never be used the way you want to be used. I'm going to tell you right now. I was glad to hear Francie Norma, Dr. Sheila King, and John Eckhart tell the truth about themselves. Hello. Amen. How Amen. God brought them out. But yet the people, little ones that they think they want that, you will never reach the world. I don't care what you use, you will not be used the way you're supposed to be used. You got to be honest. These were men and women that God mess up, but yet they repent at the end they mess up. Amen. Hello. Amen. 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 They mess up. Amen. They mess up. When you're trying to embarrass the apostle, no, I'm trying to embarrass you. I'm just telling the truth. Stop being Mr. Miss Perfect. Amen. You were not born perfect. You were born in a lie. You were not born in the truth. I don't hear nobody because you were mother, father, whatever. Amen. God would not. You know God tests y'all on little things. Amen. And you Amen. ask me, how God used me so powerful? How God give me a uh, accuracy of the prophetic word? It's because I don't play with God. Tell the truth. Amen. He's still working on me. Amen. He's still Amen. working on me. I'm still growing. Amen. I'm still, he's still working on me and still growing. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 So here, what happened? They took it, and God knew that all of us going to mess up, and yet His mercy and grace, and yet was uh, the Spirit of God was there then. He knew that uh, uh, Isaac was going to uh, 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 mess up, and He knew that uh, 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 Rebecca was going to mess up too. Amen. They did trust God to take things in the head, in His hand and do it His way. Amen. You got people walk around. Well, I always trust God to do my hand. So I never had no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You never messed up. You never made no mistakes. Then you must be Jesus. Amen. 
Hello. Amen. 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 All through there, they mess up. Amen. But yet, God, if God wanted us to be, He would. He would. We would have been Jesus. He would need Jesus. We would need God, wouldn't we? Huh? Amen. See, you, you get tested. God would test you for the things. Amen. Can I trust you? No, I can't trust you because you think you all this. You ain't all this. Amen. He will allow things to happen to shake you up that you need him. And without him, you can't do it. Even if you mess up, you still need him. Come on, somebody. Amen. And nobody Amen. is situated Amen. that they got in order. That's why God is raising up people, real people. I'm not talking about these fake and know-it-all people. I'm talking about real people. I mess up, God. Please forgive me. And he's raising up people that are going to tell the truth. They have a testimony. that I'm not talking about a lying testimony. I'm talking about a real testimony. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 And he said this. He told them already that 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 uh that uh uh, uh Jacob was going to be the one that ruled. He told them. And yet they did their own thing and took upon the hand and handled themselves. I'm talking to real Christians right now. Have you ever did something that took upon yourself and didn't wait on God? Anybody been there? Amen. 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 You're on my street. You're on my street. Uh -uh. You're on my street. I've been there many times. That's why God used me. That's why I got a good relationship with God. That's why he let me see more. Amen. Than others. Somebody tell me they got this and that. You ain't got all that. You ain't got a taste of the surface yet. You ain't got a taste of this here. Some of them can't even stand against the, the principality like they say they do. I was watching uh, stuff the other day of this movie, uh, of not this movie, of this this uh, group that I put on Facebook by this woman's casting out the demon. Amen. And that demon did not want to come out. She said, I'm, I'm going to count the three and you're going to come out. I ain't going to count no three. You're going to come out or else I ain't got time to be bothered with you. Amen. 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 And understand, when I go out, it don't take a long time for a demon to come out. A lot of times God said, don't waste your time because they're not ready. A lot of people, uh, people try to flush things out. A lot of times God, uh, uh, Jesus didn't go around healing and delivering everybody, y'all. Hello. Amen. Because a lot of them wasn't ready to be delivered. Amen. Amen. Because unbelief, he only did what his father said. He always said the works I do, not my own. I do because of my father, didn't he? Huh? Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. So Rebecca listened and said, wait a minute. Uh-uh. That ain't what God told us. Amen. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to do whatever. She didn't have to do anything. In other words, when God tell you something, don't touch it. Amen. 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 He may not do it the way you wanted to do it, but he knows how to, he knows how to take care of the things for us if we let him do it. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now here, these are two powerful family. Favored by God. And they messed up, but yet God gave them a chance. So what he did? He allowed Rebecca to do what she wanted to do, didn't she? Huh? Amen. Hmm? Amen. Like he allowed Sarah, and she was the mother nation, wasn't she? Huh? Amen. Amen. He could have struck her down for what she did, but he didn't. Because know why he didn't scrape it down? Why he didn't scrape it down when we met up? Because he he made us like this. He didn't make us perfect. He know that we're going to fall short. He know that we're not going to always be there because we got people thinking around. They never did nothing. They never fall. They never they never hurt. They never did. Uh, uh, they, uh, oh, Lord. God can't use you. Mm -mm. I don't care how much you preach and teach. You will not walk in the, the full, powerful anointing. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. He know that we're gonna mess up and fall. The reason why he kicked Adam out of out of out of out of the uh the garden of Eve, because you know sin, but what why did he kick it out? I want so I want to hear somebody. Amen. Look how his repeat itself over and over again, don't it? Huh? Why did God really kick Adam and Eve out of God and Eve? Anybody can tell me? We may not finish this the, uh, chapter next for so long because God's giving revelation. Why did God kick Adam 
out of the uh uh and eat at a garden eat because adam didn't take responsibility that's right he said the woman you gave me that's right he already uh, already said the woman uh 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 the woman uh, messed up, but God had gave Adam the responsibility, amen, to protect Eve, the responsibility, really, did not, he was the first one, amen, the responsibility to make sure that things run right, didn't he? Amen. And then when, amen. then when he says that the woman, you, he had the audacity to tell God, now you know that's something else, I, I feel God, I wouldn't go to God tells me, God, well, if he didn't get my husband, maybe I wouldn't have did this. If you didn't give me this leader, maybe I did this. You know what I'm saying? Amen. And then, on top of it, what make it even more worse? God tested Adam. You know how? Uh, 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 let me tell you. If you're a prophet, an apostle, a real man and woman of God, God will ask questions, y'all, because we prophesy in part. He asks questions to see our respond. How are we gonna answer? Are we gonna tell the truth? Jesus did the same thing with the Samaritan woman, didn't he? Huh? Amen. He asked her, said, where is your husband? She said, I don't have no husband. He said, you answer well. You have five husbands. Amen. And this one you got, you got, you got one right now, ain't your husband. In other words, you're trying to make this your husband. Because the other than work, see, what you do, you stay with them. Amen. Because you're looking for love. Hope they will love you. Amen. And so uh, then you test them out to see whether they're going to work. And then you, uh, then they, uh, then you make them uh, 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 to be your husband. And now you're trying to make this one your husband. Amen. So what he told her? You answer what? Well. And yet the two widow, the two uh, um, midwife, look like they lied to uh, who? Uh, what's the what's the what's the Pharaoh? Right? Amen. You remember? Amen. Amen. And Isaac. Uh, told Amalek that said, uh, that Rebecca was his sister. His repeat itself like Abraham did. They was afraid to lose their life because they know it was their time, but yet God allowed them to do that and still forgave them. Now, what do you would think God would let them lie like that? Come on. Amen. But what, Amen. what else they saw? I want to see y'all walk in Revelation. We probably won't finish this tonight because I want you to learn. For then you be able to teach and walk in the spirit instead of the, the flesh. Inside of the, what you think it is. That the Holy Ghost teacher. What did what did really that God was saying? Did it God tell me? The question I just asked you. Can you repeat it, Apostle? The two midwives lie and, and say that the, the women was, uh, that was abortion, you know, they, they bought it early. That um, we didn't want to, um, amen, amen, uh, we didn't want to uh, uh, kill the, uh, the, the women, the Jewish women, because the baby was coming out so quick. And it wasn't. I got the revelation out of this. I want you, to, I'm asking you the question because I want you to learn. Learn to hear the Holy Spirit. There's things that God does. There's things that God a lie, a, a prophet to lie, like he did with Jeremiah. Did y'all understand where I'm coming from? Huh? Hello? Amen. Now he allowed Rebecca to do that. He could have stopped her right then, couldn't he? Huh? Amen. I want somebody to catch on. Get the revelation. He allowed uh, uh, Rahab, who was the ancestor of Jesus, to tell them that uh, they don't know where the spies at, didn't they? Hello? Amen. 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 Now we say that there was a lot of wrong, but see, we got to understand that God's ways are different than ours. Amen. So we'll say that God is a liar, but he's not a liar. He sees ahead of us, and so he, what he does and what he does, he makes something that it seems that it was wrong what he did, but he also sees what the devil has planned. And so he makes the devil thinks that he's winning. Amen. Amen. But actually not. So you may say God is a liar, but he ain't no liar. He does things his way because he know how the devil works. Amen. He could have stopped Sarah. He could have stopped Rebecca, but he didn't. 
Why he didn't do it? Anybody can tell me. Why he allowed Rebecca to sit there and it look like history repeated itself over and over again, didn't it? Huh? Amen. 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 Because God had a plan, didn't he? Amen. Amen. His plan was everything going to work out the way he wanted to work out. If it don't work out the way, then he has a way to make it work out. But at the same time, he still ain't going to make the devil look like he winning. Amen. Hello? The same thing was going on Amen. in the world right now. Wake up, y'all. The things that were going in the world right now, God got a plan. Do you think God going to let the Antichrist, Satan, to manifest his prophecy before he come back? Hello, somebody? Amen. 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 He got the devil thinking he's winning, but he's not winning. Hello? There will be rumors of war and all that. God been talking about what's going on. Amen. I don't know what Christians said. Wake up. Amen. God is God got a plan. He don't go by the law of man. He go by his law, what he says. Hello? His ruling. Amen. Amen. He got the devil think he's winning, but he's not winning. God is not gonna let the anti spirit come in there and do his thing and make God look before he before he he said before he do it, he say go back. <coughs> what he did with Solomon Gomorrah. You remember that? You remember that? Amen. We got to understand. We may not understand everything. See, Christians trying to figure God out. But see, God, if God wants us to know everything. Ain't no man and woman know everything. He got it. And we're always going to learn. Because he don't want us to get big-headed like Satan. Amen. And think we know it all. And we don't know it all. Come on, somebody. He got it that we always depend on him. Even when we mess up. Amen. He has a plan. His plan was uh, uh, that he, that uh, 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 Jacob was the one. And he knew that, that Rebecca was going to do the same thing as uh, Sarah was. But yet he he forgave him, didn't he? Huh? Amen. Amen. This is I, I, I got some more revelation. I mean, I, I can't get out. This is so awesome. It's so awesome. They was not only saving they make, but what else they were saving? That's the revelation right there. That's the root. Who else they were saving? When they go against the odds against them and they look like they're lying, who is they saving? Not themselves, but who else they saving? They saving a nation or their people. That's right. Thank you. And God brought it back with Joseph. When, when uh, God used Joseph, amen, and they lied. The brothers lied about what they did. Come on, but God let it happen. Because, see, we got to understand that when you're moving your destiny, I'm not trying to get before my time, but this part of the destiny, read what it says. What we think how it should be, it's not always because God perfect, but he also do it in a way that the devil think he's winning, but it's not winning because God got a plan and purpose and may not be, even though you're doing something and God said, let me do it the way, yet he still give them a chance because he knows they're going to do it anyway, but yet they're going to do it not because they want to do it, because they're saving themselves. Not only they're saving themselves, they don't realize they're saving the people and they're saving the prophecy, the plans and purpose that God has already ordained because the devil will come in and try to fix it and change it the wrong way. Somebody need to give God the praise. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my God, my God. Ooh. See, I love to get in the Word. The Holy Ghost is a revelator. I hear a lot of people teaching, but they don't. I'm not saying I'm the only one he teach. But are you hearing what the Spirit has to say? Are you paying attention? God is eternal. How much educated you are in the Spirit? Because it's not you, the educator, the revelator. It's the Holy Ghost. Somebody say amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 He was the first fashion designer. He was the first scientist, wasn't he? Amen. The philosophers would call that science. They know more than everything. He was all that. But yet he did it his way. Yet he did it to make the devil. He always make the devil think he's winning. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. Amen. And every time that he make the devil win, think he winning, the devil always fall into his own trap. I don't hear. Oh my God, this is awesome. Another way. That's why he can't tell you everything because he know if he tell you what he gonna do, and, and you know he'll tell you what he gonna do, 
But he don't tell you the fullness of what he's going to do. In other words, there is no prophet. There is no apostle. There is no man among God that he's going to tell you everything. And he sure don't tell me everything. He only tell me what he wants to hear because he knows that we're going to spit it out to the wrong person. Amen. I don't hear about talking. Amen. Because we are not Amen. perfect. We Amen. are perfected and finished through the faith in Jesus and not ourselves. Church say amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. So what he does, he come in there and perfect when we mess up. Amen. For he can get the credit and the glory out of it. He allows the things to happen for he can get the praise and glory out of it. Come on, somebody give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 He makes you think, he makes the devil think. That devil is running rapidly right now. In the world, he tried to bring everybody down, but though he don't know, God has got a plan. He let Biden come in there. He told me that he he he, uh, he uh, uh, elected uh, President Trump. That was him doing it. And don't you come against it, cause that's God's will. Will you like Trump or not? Then here. Will you like David or not? That's it. Will you like me or not? God don't pick who you lo you like. He pick who he wants to. Ain't that right? Hello. Amen. <laughs> Let's go back in the Bible. Every, all the reference in the revelation in the word of God. When when David was a bastard to his to his his father. Amen. I talked about it one Sunday. Uh, you notice that David's mother was not mentioned. But if you get off your laziness and do some research and start looking what God telling you to do, you'll find out who his mother really was. Amen. Amen. Why why did God did not put her in there? See, a lot of times, God, the ones you think that God's going to raise up the height, going to do more, is not the one you think it is. Who would have thought Catherine Kuhlman, a woman that nobody knows, would be raised up, be a powerful woman, be a healer? Who would have thought Oral Roberts, who studied, amen, didn't think it was going to be it was going to be a powerful man, a, a God that left an impact, and she left an impact. And then Catherine Kuhlman left. Y'all don't know Catherine Kuhlman. Read about those those giants. Uh, we called them, uh, the, the, what you call them? The generals, Amen. God had to take uh, 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 Catherine Kuhlman out. She wanted to go before she lost her mind. She couldn't take the take it that somebody hurt her. It really got to her, Amen. And everybody thought she was the greatest and everything, but God let you know that we are made in an imperfect body. Hello, somebody. Amen. Is Amen. 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 But you got these Christians around perfect and God can't use them. You may be used a little bit, but he can't trust you because you think you better than anybody else. Hello, somebody. Be careful who you put your mouth and feel that you better than them because God raised that same one who you think you better than them because you never made a mistake. You never did. He can't use you because you think you missed a missed bird. That spirit of perfection will cause you to lose your salvation, will cause you to lose heaven. Anybody on the line understand what God is saying? Amen. 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 David was a bastard. Why you say a bastard? Because his mama, amen, his, uh, his father, Jesse, was a womanizer. That's where David uh, David got that from. Hello? Hoish. Amen. And so David's mother knew that David's uh, father, Jesse, wanted to marry this Kenyan woman. All right? <laughs> And he didn't want no more. Her, didn't want to have no more intimacy with her. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello. Amen. Amen. Just like we were, we are married to God, and so He may not want. Uh, 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 he's gonna see what we're gonna do, and if He don't want to be part of us no more, but He gonna come back. Amen. Are we gonna go out there and, and do wrong because He don't want to be part of us no more? Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 What did she do? She uh, she she became friends with the woman that was uh, uh, was that who that David's father was going to marry. They became best friends. I was did, I did a study on it and read on that. I really get into. I like research. I like getting in it. That's what the Bible is. But God gonna always learn. You always gonna be learning. Nobody gonna be the place to know it all. Um, and, and I don't know it all. You don't know it all. He got it that way because he wants to keep getting that word to know more about him. We're going to always learn. We're not going to be like Jesus, know everything. We're not going to be the Holy Spirit that knows everything. We're not going to be God because they all want to know everything. He has that way because we always depend on Him. 
So on the wedding night in the, in the, in the, uh, uh, in the Jews, amen. And the, what they do, amen. What they do, they are uh, uh, a woman. When they get married, amen, they put the veil on it. You notice that uh, uh, when Re Rebecca saw uh, uh, Isaac, what happened? She fell off the, the camera, didn't she? The connection was so powerful. Amen. Love the first sight. I don't know where these other people get this from. Read the Bible. I don't know what they're reading about. They take the Bible out of context because they want to be all this here, uh, uh, a motivated speaker. They want to get all the credit and glory, and they're not really telling the truth. Uh, uh, this and that. That's not true. Read the word. It's right there in, in blue, uh, red print and everything, blue print and all that right there. Read the word. Get Let the Holy Ghost guide you. He is the revelator. He's the one going to bring the understanding. Amen. Say, uh, study the show, shall prove, rightly divide the word of truth. In other words, he is the one going to divide the truth and tell what well, this is truth, this is not truth. Amen. He allow the 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 Characters to say certain things, amen. Whether it's true or not true, is this what he allowed to base on their feelings, how they feel at that time? He allowed them to say that, he allowed them to do that. He took that what he allowed them to do and turn around and he got the glory out of it. Come on, somebody, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, what happened on that? Same thing, still happened. You know, history just peed itself over and over again. It's repeated itself over and over again. And what happened? She made a baby with the woman. And so when Jesse, on the first night, and they kept, they had a veil. That's what it comes to veil. Amen. I'm not going to get all deep in that. Amen. Right now. Because I want to continue and show you what God's talking about. Amen. And uh, the veil was put on her. He Amen. He didn't realize that that was... Uh, was uh, David's mother named Bith uh, Zephasa, Big Pivaziza, something like that. I can announce it. The P F I T Z E R, and it means uh, a rose. Amen. She was a Jewish, a Jewish woman, and she was a woman of God. Because when David said in the book of uh, uh, Isaiah, now Isaiah, Psalm eighty six, verse five, verse eight, he said, uh, "Lord, save me like you saved my hand, the handmaiden, which represents his mother." You look it up; it's talking about his mother. But did not give the name. When you look it up, you find the name. It's not much to talk about. But it, he was. He became ambassador, and he realized <coughs> that he had imp, imp, intimacy with his wife, the one that he didn't want to have intimacy with. Amen. And she could see the child was David. She never told him that was she was the one the first night because he she didn't want the uh, uh, the wife that he's supposed to marry get in trouble. Isn't that something? So you're talking about secrets. Amen. They kept secrets. Hello, somebody. And so David's father considered him a bastard, illegitimate child. Amen. But he wasn't. He, Jason, Jesse was the father of, of David. Amen. He felt that his mother committed adultery. Amen. But she didn't. Well, God let it Amen. that way. Now you notice that God did not change change it. That showed that that uh, uh, she was the one that uh, David, you know, David's mother did not commit adultery. Amen. She had she had intimacy with her own husband. And so what they did, that what David's father did, he chose the other ones over him because he was a, like a he was the outcast of the family. You know, outcast. Amen. And when they have dinner, they he had his own table, y'all. Hello. Amen. Amen. Now God let let them look like it was a lie. It was a lie, but she did uh, did have intimacy with with uh, with a, a husband. And so his father thought less of David, put him out in the sheep. But he didn't know. See, a lot of time when God puts you in a place, it's a learning process, training. Amen. To prepare you for your destiny. Uh, is anybody there? Hello. Amen. Amen. And so God had to prepare David for his destiny. And that's what God is talking about here. God had to prepare Jacob for his destiny. How to face the, when he gets challenged, amen, how to stand when he don't feel like standing. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. 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 And the same thing, if you, if you look at what's going on, the same thing going over and over again. Amen. Because if he was handpicked by God, God expect more out of out of Jacob than Esau, because you know Esau was gonna serve him. Isn't that right? Huh? We're gonna, see, we're gonna see right down the line why he didn't he know that. He knew it. 
but yet he allowed Rebecca to do what she had to do. Ain't that something? Go ahead on. You see what I'm talking about? What, what Rebecca did? Go ahead on. Read on. This yes, is so ma'am. good. This Genesis is so 27, good. Amplified, verse 10. Mm-hmm. Then you shall bring it to your father to eat, so that he may bless you before his death. So, verse 11. Ah, uh, so it, what she did, God still allowed her to take upon herself. Amen. And do what she did. Amen. To make sure that Isaac was, I mean Isaac, I mean Jacob will be the one. And it already was in God's plan. Now, you know, if there's something else, God could have said, Rebecca, couldn't he? Huh? Amen. But he let her go ahead and do it, didn't he? Amen. He, he could have said, Sarah, Abraham, but he still let him go do it. You see, God does things, he allows things to happen, and he does things his way. We got to understand that. We got people that's trying to figure God out. You're going to never figure God out. Come on, somebody. Amen. He got it that way, for we can always go and stay in this word to keep on searching the truth. Keep on seeking the truth. Keep on reading the word. Amen. And, and, and every time you read the word, you open up he, what he does. He gives us new revelation. What is the word revelation? He, re, he unveil his divine will and purpose of, his, of him, the mystery, the end that when it says, them that dwell in the secret place of the Most High Shabbat means that he allow you in that secret place in him. Amen. Amen. Now everybody it can't get in there. Everybody's not getting the revelation. Only the one that he can trust. Amen. Only one he can trust when they go to something and they don't understand why they're going to something. And he wanna see how their reaction is on the response. Are you still gonna are you still gonna serve me? Hello. Are you still Amen. gonna worship me? Hello. Amen. The growing process is not when everything looked the growing, God allowed them to go ahead on and he could have stopped them. He knew they was gonna don't you know God knew what was Rebecca gonna do before she did it? Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. Do you not know he knew es Esau uh, uh, that Isaac was gonna get Esau? We gotta wake up. You gotta know who God is. <laughs> do you not know that uh, 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 um, he knew what Abraham was gonna do and Sarah did, but he let him go and did it? Amen. 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 Why was the process so long with Abraham? Amen. That it took 13 years before God came back to him. When he did, when he did. He was 99 and God told him that him and Sarah, Sarah laughed and said that she, and God said, uh, Sarah, you're going to have a child this time. Uh, she started laughing. She said, no, I didn't laugh. He said, and God said, you did laugh. You did laugh at me. And just because she laughed at him, what God did. He didn't have. He didn't, Sarah wasn't pregnant when she was not when he uh, when Isaac. I mean Abraham was ninety nine. She got pregnant when he was a hundred years old, y'all. Hello, one more year. Amen. My God, I read the word about to blow my mind. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he he gives a little insight, and he don't give us all the full insight because he wants to keep on. Keep on, keep on searching the scripture. Keep on getting in the scripture. Because every time you get in there, he gives you new revelation. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I feel like running around the block. <laughs> Me, every time you get in there, there's always new revelation. God always do a new thing. He don't do nothing old. He take that old and turn it to new. Amen. Can you see it? He said, I'm doing something new. Can you see what I'm doing? Hallelujah. Well, you, it may look old to you, but God say, I'm taking that old and make it new. Amen. In other words, he keep the devil running. If the devil knew everything, he would uh, he would be God. And God got it that way. Because the devil upset. He don't know what's going on. I don't hear nobody talk. If he knew what Jesus was going to do, he would have stopped him and say, Jesus, and say, Jesus said the bottom of us, didn't he? Huh? Amen. And he ain't going to tell you everything. And he ain't going to tell me everything. 
Even in those simple things, he's not going to tell us. Oh, I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. Amen. And the reason why he ain't gonna tell us is because he don't want us to get big headed. He, the reason why he ain't gonna tell us is because he don't want to forget uh, want us to forget about him. Hello, because you got these people that's so deep and they're so deep they are so deep and about to fall in their deepness in themselves because they think they all this and nobody up and better than God. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Amen. He has to keep us that way because what happened? We'll allow the spirit of Antichrist of pride and haughtiness to get upon us. And that's why he says a, a, a pride spirit, he a base. He hates a pride spirit because it, what happened? You open the door for the spirit of Antichrist because you feel that you got it going. You got all this revelation and you know it all. And then what happened? You exhorting yourself above like you're doing, just like that food Satan doing. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. So he keeps Amen. as as a point that we don't get beside him, ourselves. He allowed them to do it. He allowed his uh, uh, Joseph brothers to put him in the, in, in in the hole, didn't he? Huh? Amen. Everybody think when you go and rock into your destiny. I'm not trying to get to uh, 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 November because I got a whole lot of other things to say. Amen. How when you are when you're fulfilling God's purpose. He wants to see your reaction, how you're going to respond back to it. Amen. God is something else, ain't he? Amen. He keeps us in a place. It's almost like isolated from everybody, but he keeps us in a place that, that you will always be seeking, searching him. That way he says, seek me shall be fine. He means he's not lost. He wants you to be a, a continuous basis, persistently, the spirit of determination that you're not going to give. You're going to determine to keep on seeking him. Keep on uh, 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 find out more because he got it away. Nobody going to never know more than Jesus. Sure, say amen. 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 And that would blow my mind. He allowed Rebecca to do it. He allowed <laughs> Abraham, and Abraham became his best friend, came like a, a, a friend, didn't he, to, to God, didn't he? He became the father of a nation. I, I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. 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 Now, he is a father of a nation, man, son, but yet God can trust him. Yet God allowed him to do what he did. And yet God had told him to tell the king. He said, my, my God say, he will bless them that bless me. And, uh, and curse them and curse them. He's, but, the, but the king couldn't understand. He said, how you gonna, it was going to his mind. So how you going to bless somebody that told me a lie? That, you know, I married Sarah and then find out that that was your wife. Because he know that the, the, the king had a weakness for women. But he was not going to let him touch Sarah. Amen. Just like he did with, with Amalek again, with uh, Isaac, he's repeated himself. But you not realize Isaac was more wealthy than his father. Hello, y'all. Amen. Amen. Yes, he was. He was more wealthy because Isaac didn't have to go back and get refurbished again, restore again with some money again like his father did. Once he got that money, he got everything. You read Genesis 26, they didn't fight. He gave him favor with the enemy. They came, him, came to him and, and asked Isaac to put in a good word for, for their father because they, fought, they saw, they saw the, the glory of God in their life, in his life. Hello, somebody. Now look, yeah. Isaac just lied about uh, uh, Rebecca, didn't he? And yet he gave him favor. Oh y'all, Lord, this is this blow your mind. God have you, He have you where you keep on reading that word that you know. Say, so why would God do this? Because He has His reason. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. He knows what's best, even though it don't seem right, even though it don't seem look good. But God does things His way. We got to get that ahead because we got these Christians that think that they got it and know it all. And he ain't going to get that because you're going to get big headed. And then you're going to allow the spirit of uh, Antichrist be upon you. Amen. Some people don't realize they got the spirit of Antichrist on them already. Hello, y'all. Amen. They, why? Because they think all they exalting themselves secretly inside and they don't realize they are. Amen. So he, he allows certain things to happen for a reason. The more you get in the word, the more you learn them. But you're always going to be learning. Amen. Because every time you read the word, there's something refreshing new all the time. He got in the way, the word that you always be getting that word all the time. 
Never, never get tired of it. We get tired of it because we don't take time and allow the Holy Spirit to get to help us. You should be excited. The Bible said, "Blessed them hungry and thirst at the righteousness, for they should be filled." Well, it don't feel like me feeling because it looked like I did this wrong lie, but God got a plan and purpose. Well, it may look like I did it, but God got a plan and purpose. It is not your way. It is not how you think. It's how what he want. Amen. If he could use Balaam, who was a, a, a prophet, who was not truly a real prophet, a, a, a God, but God used him, amen, and say that God is not a man that he shouldn't lie. He's not a man, neither the son of man repent. Heaven has spoken, will he not do what he says? Hallelujah. He may not do it the way you want to do it, but God knows how to do it the way he wants to do it. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 But can he trust you? He don't want you to get the place that you know it all. Because when you get the place you know it all, then God can't give you what he wants you to know. You're going to always be learning in God. Church, say amen. 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 Not amen. me. I don't care what name, no. Even her Miss Jenkins, I heard some men of God. Um, um, uh, my mentor is Kenny Copeland. Amen. And a whole bunch of others. I mean, he's the main mentor. I mean, but the others that really I follow. Amen. I don't follow everybody. I mean, our main follower, the main mentor is uh, uh, Dr. Copeland because he's real. And God gives him revelation where we got too many fake Christians in here. They so they think they better than someone else. They have arrived in know it all. Well, I never, I haven't arrived yet. Is anybody else not have arrived? No, ma'am. We still learning. If you want God to use you, let him do it his way and stop acting like Miss Know It All or Mr. Know It All and you got it going because he visits you a little bit and you think you got all the revelation because he's not through with you. He got it like that way. You always be dependent on God. That's why the guy make that son dependable, dependable God. Amen. He always got you got to depend on God. Because he know if you don't, you're going to uh, open that door for the spirit of pride and of Christ to come upon you. And you think you got it in all this here. You ain't got it all. The only one that got it all like that is Jesus. Yeshua Messiah. Church, amen. amen. And what's going on? Amen. The Christian that you think got it going, they falling apart. They falling. Amen. God is showing you who's real, who is who. In other words, they totally depend on God because they know that they don't know it all. They know that they it, it, they know that God is their dependency. Amen. Faith is come by hearing, hearing the word of God. By you hear the word, you trust the word. Who is the word? Jesus Christ. Amen. Depending on Him every single day. Church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. But blow my mind that everything we need to know is in the Word of God. He got it the way we're always learning. He got it way that we don't get to the place that we, uh, uh, no, I don't need to know no more. I, I got it. And nobody got it. Amen. Last time I read the Bible, who had it all? Who was it? Somebody can tell me. Jesus. Jesus. Because he know, if we think we know it all, we get big-headed. That's why we got so many pride, egotistic Christians right now. Amen. Because they got a little, a little visitation from God. Uh, he don't give them a rhema word. I don't give them a word of God. You can't tell them nothing because they all got it going. And they don't wrote a couple books and they all got it going. He's getting ready to shake up a lot of people. Amen. Amen. You'd be surprised you're going to get a bigger reward in heaven. <laughs> hey, hey. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. 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 He showed that just to the planners. Rebecca is not going to get no less reward because she told, uh, 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 told a lie about her son. <laughs> Amen. Abraham in hell, he's in heaven. Ain't that right? Hmm? When they first, the first, it's in the Bible. They say they meet who Father Abraham, don't they? Huh? They come Father Abraham. Amen. People need to grow up. These know-it-alls, because they want to get the attention, because they can't stand to be rejected. Amen. It blows your mind. If you read it all through that, why would God allow you know that it was wrong, but yet you still, you turn around and, and show them love, and yet you let them come in. 
in heaven. Amen. <laughs> Amen. My God. Go ahead on. This is good. Is anybody catching on what God is saying? Amen. Amen. Yes. And Rahab was an ex harlot wasn't she? Amen. Amen. And she was the ancestry of Jesus. Who was Obed mother? Is Obed just mother? Who was was Rahab? Remember that. And she lied. All through the Bible, is just a history repeat itself, don't it? Huh? Amen. And yet God delivered her her family, and they became. The ancestors, ancestors of Jesus, of Jesus, didn't they? Hello. Amen. Amen. The connection of the family tree came from uh, 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 Jesse. David's father was was womanized. He was Polish. And y'all, y'all, y'all waking up? And David had the same seed as his father, didn't he? Hello? Amen. <laughs> but this is good. I feel like running around the block. <laughs> no, it's good. And the more I get in the word, uh, allow God to explain me the word, the more it gets interesting. He got it that way, that we will continue on searching the scripture and, and find the truth. Continue on. The, the word of God is not boring. People are boring. Do you understand that? The word of God is not boring. You know who's boring? We are boring more. <laughs> the word of God is exactly. alive. He has it that way that we always will get in the word to know more. He doesn't have it that anybody know it all because because if it did, you get boring and you you get bored and you get like the devil with the spirit of Antichrist. Amen. Don't have time to read the word. The anointing comes into the word of God because the word of God is the is Christ. The anointed one. Isn't that right? Hello? Amen. 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 The moment you open up and let the word come in and let him come in, the more you are walking anointing of him. That oil. You know, take the olive oil and crush it. And all that oil come out that little oil. Isn't that something? You know, Amen. olive oil is an anti-aging. You know, it's the best softener for your skin. The best wrinkle cream, amen. Uh, uh, people don't realize that, amen. Can you believe it? So, what I got to remember, he had he allowed Esau, I mean, he allowed uh, um, uh, Jacob to be crushed. The oil can't come in. We're gonna see around later on on the line. He allowed the mother to get crushed. He allowed Isaac to get crushed for the oil. Isn't that something? Amen. But this is good. Go ahead on. Because I, I, I'll be going on something else I see with Holy Spirit. Go ahead. Will you, will you finish up? Go ahead on. And yes, ma'am. stop you if, if God. Uh, Genesis 27. Uh huh. Amplified verse 11. Amen. Mm -hmm. Jacob said to Rebecca, his mother, listen. Esau, my brother, is a hairy man, and I am a smooth-skinned man. Verse 12. Suppose my father touches me and fills my skin. Then I will be seen by him as a cheat, imposter, and I will bring his curse on me and not a blessing. Verse 13. But his mother said to him, May your curse be on me, my son. Only listen and obey me, and go bring the young goats to me. Verse 14, so Jacob went and got the two young goats and brought them to his mother. And his mother prepared a delicious dish of food with a delightful aroma, the kind his father loved to eat. Verse 15, then Rebecca took her elder son Esau's best clothes, which were with her in her house, and put them on Jacob, her younger son. Mm-mm-mm. Now it said that he, it was the it, the word treasure means to see. 
But it says that he wore Nimrod's garment. Amen. Reference to the same thing go back with uh, Nimrod with Noah and uh Noah and uh Amen. Same thing. It goes back, you know, history repeats itself go back the same way what they did. Mm -mm -mm. It's the next reader, Apostle. But this is good. I know I'm waiting for us to read up. This is good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Go ahead. I'm reading the word so good. Go ahead, our next reader. Amen. I'm the next reader. And I'll be coming. I'm Sister Cynthia. Uh, I'll be coming out of the message, uh, translation apostle. Okay. Go okay. ahead. Rebecca took the dress of clothes of her old, older son Esau and put them on her younger son Jacob. Wow. She took the goat go skins and covered his hands in the smooth nap of his neck. Then she placed the hearty meal she fit, she had fixed mm -hmm. and fresh bread she baked into the hands of her son Jacob. He went to his father and said, My father, yes, he said, which son are you? 19. Jacob answered his father, I am your firstborn son Esau. I did what you told me. Come now, sit up and eat of my game. Now, wait, so a minute. You... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. God allowed Rebecca to do this. Isn't that something? Huh? Amen. Now, it was a plan. But, but if you would have let God do it, it would have been a better plan. But God still not allowed to do that. Notice Jacob, I mean, Isaac had became blind, didn't he? Yes, ma'am. Wonder what if if Rebecca would have did it, what would happen? Think about it. Think about what would happen if uh, God didn't allow Isaac to get blind. He was all. It in, never huh? It no, it would have did God's way, but yet God allowed her to go on, and she ended up saying, "If I get cursed, I'm cursed." But she wasn't really cursed. Like Sarah wasn't cursed neither, wasn't she? Huh? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Think about it. The Bible something else, ain't it? Huh? Yes, God. You may think Amen. God is the devil, but God is the devil. He got a plan. Amen. So he take the plan that he had and allowed them to plan. Look how smart she was. Took the goat and put it on the skin because she knew that Isaac was so close to blind, wouldn't know the difference. Ain't that right? Amen. You know, think, I want y'all to think about what happened. This is awesome, ain't it? They weren't even dumb in those days. They were smart too, weren't they? Huh? Amen. Amen. They had the same smart of their the ancestors, Adam was. When Adam took something, when he was exposed of being naked, he tried to fix and put it uh, with the leaves and cover his sin, didn't he? And God allowed it, didn't he? Amen. But then God came and redesigned, fashion designed it, redesigned it, and put on the right thing. Now, he could have destroyed Adam, but he didn't destroy Adam, did he? Notice that history repeats itself. Notice that, don't you? Huh? Amen. Amen. He could have destroyed his creation, but he couldn't create. He couldn't destroy something that he didn't make perfect, did he? Remember, Adam was not perfect, but he had the mind of God. Adam didn't sin until he did what he did. The whole purpose was that God was saying that man would live forever and never see death. That's why death is the last enemy to die, to get rid of it. And when, when the finally of the closing, when the, uh, the new Jerusalem from heaven come down, amen, the final, the end of the army of Medi army, you know, you know, end, amen, the war, because it's real, they win and everything come down. You understand where I'm coming from? 
Amen. Amen. Think about what this is so interesting, isn't it? Huh? Amen. Amen. Who who can think the mind of God? None of us. We can think we have the mind of God, but we really don't because God is far ahead of us. Amen. Even though he gave Adam the mind of him, not allow him, he didn't give him the fullness mind of him. Isn't that right? Huh? Amen. Amen. The only one who had the fullness mind was himself. He became a uh, hundred percent man and a hundred percent a God. The Son and Jesus is the Son and uh, the Holy Spirit is God the Spirit and Jesus with the power no limit and God himself became 100% man and 100% one. Uh, uh, 100% uh, uh, man. He came personally himself as a man. He was there in the beginning. All three was there at all the time. Isn't that right? Oh, Lord, have mercy. Amen. I, I, I got to hurry up because, see, I can get, I, I, it just blew my mind. I see some of revelation. I don't want to get in there because we'll never get out of it. This is so good. You start thinking, the Holy Ghost starts giving you a little insight, input. In other words, he always got it that you always learn. He ain't got nobody at the point that they'll stop learning. The Bible is so interesting, isn't it? Huh? Amen. Amen. How God is way ahead of us. And people don't think so. Some people, even Christians don't think so. They think they all way ahead of God. They got all the revelation and nobody talked to them. And God's talking to them only. <laughs> he ain't got it like that. Think what he did. He redressed them. He was the first scientist. Not no fiction, but non-fiction, wasn't he? Hmm? Amen. Scientists Amen. are cre creativity. They got the spirit of creativity, don't they? Huh? Means they event. And make something happen. Is that right? Take something yeah. and figure out what they can make it happen that will work the way it, they want it to work. Some the wrong way, but most of God is the right way. Isn't that right? Huh? Amen. Oh, Lord, this is good. He allow it like he it, 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 he allow he show Adam. How he could make his own clothes, but then he didn't make it the he make it the right way. So he had to step in and make it the right way. So God was the first fashion designer too, wasn't he? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Woo! This is so good. He let he gave that idea. Look what he did. Think about it. He never got rid of the anointing when Adam messed up. He never got rid of the anointing of Noah. Go down the line, Abraham. That anointing kept running on from God. Amen. Gave that idea to Rebecca what to do. Take the goat and take the hair off it. Know that her husband was going to be blind. And know what she had to do. Redesign, make, make, her like, make him like Esau. You know, think about it. They was the first actors. Actor, wasn't they? Think about what they did. They act the part. But it really wasn't the part. So... Uh, uh, what happened to uh, uh, Isaac, uh, I mean Jacob, he became the character like his brother. The way she dressed him. Is anybody catching what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Amen. They was, Amen. They was acting an actress. You know, acting actually what they do. They take that part, that skit, what they're given, and they learn that and they become that part. And that's what Jacob did. He took that part and learned what his mother told him, the same thing, Acted an actress and he became his brother, didn't he? Amen. Took on another role. Amen. But is this awesome? Say amen, you can. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I'll tell you, it, the, the word gets more interesting when you allow the Lord to show you. Amen. My God. He became the character of his brother. He was not really his brother, but he knew. That he couldn't come to his father anyway, bare arms. The difference with uh, Esau was hairy, very hairy. Could you imagine how smart these people was? But God put the intelligence in them in those days. Hello? Amen. Then she said, well, I, if I, I, I'll take the blame for it, I'll be cursed for it. But God didn't really curse Rebecca, did he? No, ma'am. He didn't really curse Rebecca, y'all. 
He didn't curse Sarah, did he? No, ma'am. So in that between, she had to uh, uh, did a had to present an offer to him. You know, ask for forgiveness. <clears throat> Boy, this is good. Well, let me hurry up because I see a lot of revelation. I don't want to be here all night long. Go ahead, because I can. I can see. I get in the word. That's why the Lord is coming because I love that. I love the revelation. Now, what verse are we at right now? Mm-hmm. I'm in verse uh, 19, ma'am. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Jacob answered his father, I'm your firstborn son, Esau. I did what you told me. Come now, sit up and eat of my game so you can give me your personal blessing. Uh, Isaac said, so well. soon? How did you get it so quickly? Because, Ooh, because your God, <laughs> because your God cleared the way for me. Isaac said, "Come close, son. Let me touch you. Are you really my son Esau?" Now look, 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 look. Is anybody catching what he saw? What he picked up? Mm-hmm. What What happened? Mm-hmm. What happened? He felt that that was not there was something wrong. Amen. But yet he thought maybe it's him thinking that way. But he, he felt that it, it that really was his son. Remember he asked, see? Yeah. He so quickly, yeah. He knew the different personality of his oldest and his youngest, didn't he? Amen. Yes, but but yet they still won. Oh Lord have mercy, Jesus. Mm-mm. But look at it. The Lord's sitting there watching everything. He allowed that plan to work, didn't he? Amen. Oh, my gosh. Amen. So you say God was not part of this. He wouldn't lie. He let him lie. No, he let him do it. He let her do it because he know his. He know how Isaac was. Now, he could have told, he could have told Rebecca like he told, uh, uh, and say, stop it. Didn't I tell you that I was going to do it? That 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 uh, Jacob was the one. He sat back and said, "Look at her, all this wisdom that she was. She really got it from me. Look, she's using it. My God, a lot of times, sometimes God would what He put in us, let us do." What well, we think that we learn for him and use it, and yet he and we'll go around. And, and when it didn't work, then we ask him, forgive us. But yet he forgive us and still let us all be blessed. Isn't that something? Oh, Jesus. This, this, oh, go ahead. Oh, this is so good. Amen. <laughs> so Jacob moved close to his father, Isaac. Isaac felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's. Ah, voice look at that. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at. He knew that was, he knew so. <laughs> look at there, look at there, look at there, look at there. He tried to play a trick on his own father. Amen. But his father knew, but yet his father still approved it. He didn't do nothing about it, didn't he? No. He didn't stop it, did he? So what Amen. did that, that tell you? In reality, he thought about but it's what God told him say is the youngest one is really the one is going to carry on. Now he could have stopped it, couldn't he? Mm-hmm. Amen. But he didn't stop it, did he? No, ma'am. So that things that happen in your life, you know, it may not to be where God planned in your life. It may not to be what we wanted to be, but God allow it and let it carry on. He could say, Jacob, stop it right there. That's Jake. You know, he could say, Isaac, stop it. You know, that's Jacob. <clears throat> but God did it because he said he knew that Isaac was going to allow Esau to take the, be the successor. And that is not what God does. A lot of time, when you think you're wrong, you're actually in God's will. Isn't that something? <laughs> mm. Amen. He knew that was Jacob. Look at it, y'all. Think about it. He knew that was Jacob. 
But think about it. in between God is said in Revelation that Jacob, I mean Isaac knew, but also Isaac remember that Jacob was supposed to be the one in the right, the successor there. Amen. Amen. He could have stopped it, but he let it go on, didn't he? Because if he let it go on, he knew that God was going. He, he knew he'd been God would have deal with him. So he wasn't that dumb as he all that y'all think it was, wasn't he? Huh? <laughs> Amen. So Amen. God, God would take that with me, even turn around and work his plan out and use you anyhow. And it may not look the way you what it is, but God would turn around and work the plan out the way he wanted. Isn't that something? Amen. Because he went too it went too far deep, so he couldn't turn around and do nothing because he knew that Isaac Isaac knew he was wrong. He knew he was wrong, y'all. Think about it. My God, is this good? He let it go and he could have stopped it. God could have stopped it, didn't he? But he didn't. Huh? Let, let it play out. Sure enough, did. He could have stopped uh, 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 Sarah and Abraham by, uh, with Ishmael, didn't he? He let it go on, didn't he? There's a variety of plan of God. Only time that Nimrod is in this in a way with Esau, he stopped um, Iran when he was going up there because the whole purpose before I even read it, when I read it, uh, uh, the Lord, the Holy Spirit told me, said, you know what it is? Why he was building that tower of Bell? Because he wanted to prove to them that we don't need God to get there. We can get be God our own to reach heaven ourselves. Amen. And so God stepped in. And gave them a, a, a different language. He said, "Look, you know what he said? If they know this much, how much? They know? In other words, the anointing that was on Adam was carried, carried down to generation to generation. That's how small Adam was. He almost had the same mind of God in a way because he named the animals. And that's how God gave him opportunity to experience God himself. But yet there was also a certain point in God that let him be completely him. Isn't that right? Hmm? Amen. Now, could you imagine if if Adam did not sin, still God would not let him be complete to him. Because God didn't want nobody to be above him because God's a jealous God. Two things he don't let you take is glory and vengeance. Isn't that right? Huh? Amen. 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 Because he said, if they're this smart to do this, to, you know what their plan was. And they're doing that right now. The same thing was in Tau Bell. It's in Kekano. But they're still trying to reach heaven. They ain't trying to get no other uh, uh, other uh, 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 planet. They want to know, is, see, can they get to heaven with the, uh, uh, the spaceship? Hello, y'all. Are y'all there? Amen. 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 So God allowed, remember, Satan is the prince of the air. Isn't that right? Hmm? So if he, if, if he's the prince of air, guess who follow him around in the prince of air that look like a uh, un, 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 unidentified person? Guess who follow him? The demons. Oh y'all, you, maybe you'll catch on. <laughs> this is so good. Boy, I'm about to have me a Holy Ghost shot here, y'all. I'm mean, afraid to run around the block. The unidentified Amen. creatures are those are demonic spirits, y'all. Cause they they are uh, they with Satan in the air, he's the prince of air. Maybe y'all catch on. Okay, let's go on. This is good. I don't want to get in there, but this is good. God just showed me that. <laughs> Amen. No, I have mercy. That, but as he was about to bless him, he pressed him. You are sure? You are my son Esau. Yes, I am. Twenty-five. Isaac said, "Bring the food so I can eat." of my son's game and give you my personal blessing. Jacob brought it to him uh -huh. and he ate. He also brought him wine and he drank. Then Isaac said, come close, son, and kiss me. He came close and kissed him and Isaac smelled the smell of his clothes. Finally, he blessed him. Lord, uh, Lord have mercy, Jesus. 
nobody know how to cook like his uh uh uh, uh because uh 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 his mother knows how how uh uh um what's his name he saw how to make that certain soup she probably taught mm -hmm. him how to do it you understand mm -hmm. she probably taught Man. Esau how to make that soup so she said I already know how to make that soup what Esau does because really the cook was uh, was uh was uh uh Rebecca we'll see you on the line this is so good now read between the lines I, I want to see if somebody catch on Isaac knew that was was Jacob you know that y'all amen but yet he let it let you know he, he, he let him play his part didn't he amen it didn't really say so much that uh, uh, he remembered what the, the, uh, God told him that that Jacob was the one, the youngest one is the one is going to be the heir, not Esau, because you know Esau was not going to. But yet Esau, but see, oh, I'm getting this revelation. This is so good, y'all. <laughs> but see, because Esau had found favor with his father. And Jacob, and, and wait a minute, Isaac knew that 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 uh, Jacob was to put the first one to bless, because God already told him. He already told him that the youngest one, him and Rebecca, didn't he? Huh? That the young one was the one. Amen. 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 How you know? He went on with the game that they were playing. He acted the part too, along with uh, 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 Jacob and the mother. Oh, y'all better hear what God's saying. Amen. Read between the lines. He know that that was es he know that was uh, when Esau. He know that was Jacob. Don't think he didn't. He know, he didn't know it. But yet he went on with the plan, didn't he? Yes, he did. Amen. Amen. Boy, I never saw it like this, but this is so good. I, won't, I feel like running around the block, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is rich. A lot of things, when God help in your life, if you don't do it, what he say you do it, he just let you do it. Allow you to know you ain't doing it, but yet you're gonna see it. You're gonna do it to turn around the way that he wants to be done. Oh my God! Isn't that awesome? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Is anybody, anybody catching on what I'm saying from the Lord? Amen. What I'm saying. Apostle, what I'm getting out of it that even when we make bad decisions, God will also turn that bad decision and turn around to be His decision. How you know? What do Romans eight twenty eight says? See, I love the word. All things work together for those who love the Lord. Mm hmm. Mm. If you look at it, the Holy Spirit was there. He you didn't hear no tongues, but the Holy Spirit was down down. You know the Holy Spirit been there, but there was no tongue. In other words, he allowed the Holy Spirit to show him what to do, and recognize what's going on, and notice what the second the, after he said the Holy Spirit knows what to pray for. Romans eight twenty six. He made the others grunts we don't know. In other words, he, he was intercessor. He took that and turned around. And make it doing the God's will. Because you go to the next verse. He pray according to the will of the Father. So anyway. The Holy Spirit turned that around. According to the will of the Father. Take that and turn around. And say that all things going to work together. Regardless. It don't look like it's working out. Even though it looked wrong. But it's going to work out together for good. Mm, my God. You, you see what God is talking about? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The devil didn't win still. See, people say, well, the devil won. No, he didn't. Because God worked it out together for good for his purpose. Even though it looked like the devil won, but he didn't win. Amen. And she knew that the price she was going to pay 
Amen. She feel like she be cursed, but yet she said, "I don't care. I'm gonna pay the price." Cause I know what God said. He was. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna allow Esau be the one because God said the youngest one. Isaac is thinking different because he's blind. He's not really seeing things. Amen. So I'm gonna take that and help and turn around and let it be what God wanted planned it to be. Now notice in the book of Isaiah 14, 27, what does it say? Get that for me real quick. Isaiah 14, 27. Do you get it? <coughs> Isaiah. I have it, Apostle. Read it out for me, please. Yes, ma'am. Isaiah 14, 27 of uh -huh. the Amplified. Uh -huh. uh, for the Lord of hosts has decided and planned, and who can annul it? His hand is stretched out, and who can turn it back? In other words, God's plan was working out, wasn't it? Amen. 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 I don't hear nobody talking. God knew that there was going to step in. Don't you know God know what you're going to do before you before he tell you something? Amen. But yet he go ahead and allow it because he know if, if he didn't do it, what East, what, what, uh, um, Isaac would have messed up what God really planned. So he allowed his, his wife to do what he did. She did. Come on. She wasn't cursed. Amen. Amen. Lord have mercy. Hits repeat itself. This is so good. Because, once again, Isaac knew that that was not Esau, that was Jacob. Amen. And God knew that Isaac was not going to obey God, the plans, that he says that Jacob was the one was going to be the, the successor. Not Esau, because you know Esau was not going to serve him. You, and what else he know that the enemy would come in amen and try to twist it around you see once again his ways are different once again his thoughts are higher amen hello amen amen in other words God will work his plan out he don't care he will use your enemy to make sure his plans will work out I don't hear about talking amen amen, amen. So Rebecca was not really on the curse. She worked out the plan. Amen. Even though she's not going to be cursed for doing it, but she, she wanted God's plan to work out. It may not be the way we want it to be, but God let her allow her to do it. For make sure that Isaac, not Isaac, that Jacob get the uh, the blessings. Isn't that right? Huh? Amen. Amen. Because Isaac started off wrong. He knew that, that Jacob was supposed to be the one. But he's going to work his own plan in there. See what I'm talking about from the Holy Ghost? Mm. He knew Sarah was wrong, but he let it work out anyway. Because, you know, it was time that, uh, uh, that, uh, 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 what's her name? He got to go. So he still worked, allowed the plan to work out still. And he waited a long time. Before he came uh, 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 back to uh, Abraham. This is all. This Lord. This is about to blow my mind, y'all. Amen. Is, I hope y'all catching on. Are you catching on what God is saying? Amen. Amen. Who, one more person can tell me what he's talking about. For you understand everything you think it is is not what God think it is. <laughs> He'll make the devil think he's winning, but his plan gonna work out. It may not be what we think it's gonna be. It may look like it, it like that she's lying, amen. But that's how God does things. I, it's not in line. He knows how to make the devil back a liar. Yeah, you got a plan, but your plan ain't gonna work out. I don't hear nobody talking. Hello, y'all. Amen. 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 My God. Isaac knew that Jacob, that was Jacob. He knew it. And Isaac knew he was wrong, too. Hello. Amen. He may was blind, but he wasn't dumb. Hello. Amen. He, he wasn't seen now. Hello, y'all. Amen. Amen. 
He said, I, I know what you're doing, but I'm I'm going to turn around. It's still going to be work out my plan. Whatever I plan, is going to be like that. Amen. Lord have mercy. This is good. Let's go on. Maybe y'all understand Amen. what I'm talking about. Everybody understand what I'm talking about? Amen. 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 Yes, Apostle. You understand, son? Yes, yes, I understand that. We can see uh, that I've been on the court and things in my life, and I have not do everything mm -hmm. good. And, and God make you very good because uh, I, I need to be humble and listen what God say. The same like this. Yes, I understand. Mm -hmm. The God's plan is the best plan. It, it may not be the way we wanted to be, but He knows how to plan it, don't He? Yes. Ah, ah, that blow my mind what God does. This is blow my mind. I mean, this is my uh, uh, spiritual son. Amen. He's a prophet. Amen. And he's my spiritual son. Been knowing him for a long time. He's been with me for a long time. He's from Sweden. Amen. I thought I'd call you up, but I knew that I thought I'd put you on there as a, a whole, uh, I mean, a add on. But I know your, your timing is, is way ahead of us, you know. And <laughs> so I didn't want to wake you up, you know. But, yeah, four. Four yes, in the morning. Yes. But this is good. And uh, I mean, it blow my mind what he does. And you may call God a liar, but he's not a liar. He knows the trickery of the devil. So he made the devil feel that he's winning. Amen. But he's not. Whoa. No, no. He'll take your situation and let the devil act on it like it is. And then turn it around and use the person when you think they're wrong. But actually, in reality, they are working God's plan out. Ooh. Hello. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. This is blowing my mind, y'all. You know that, don't you? It is blowing your mind. Amen. 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 He got the devil really thinking winning, but he ain't winning. Amen. But you know, God don't lie. And what he did, amen, he gonna curse uh, uh, Rebecca. She ain't gonna live long what she did. But uh, but God knew how, how Isaac think. So he allowed Rebecca to go and do this. And she know that it was wrong. She felt wrong about it. She said, if I'm cursed, I'm cursed. But God didn't curse her, did he? Amen. Understand God always make. Look at David was in the, uh, man, David. Daniel was in the lion's den. He allowed Daniel to go in there. He knew that Daniel was right. Amen. And the king knew that he was right, didn't he? Amen. Amen. And it made his enemy think that he was going to kill Daniel. But God had a plan, didn't he? He had to get rid of those those two uh, 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 men. Because they were the one, if you read the Bible, they were one continually trying to give Daniel a hard time because they were jealous of Daniel. I don't hear anybody talking. Amen. 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 And meantime, he gave favor with Daniel, uh, 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 with the king. He had the king, God was using Daniel's situation to turn the king around, and the king was faster for Daniel that his God would save him. Oh my God, this is so good. And so he made the devil think when he used those two men that, oh, we got Daniel now. He's out of our way now because they were jealous. Amen. But God got a plan. Remember that. Once again, what does it say in the book of Isaiah? I like what it says in the Message Bible. It's the same thing. Isaiah, the uh, 55th chapter, verse 8 and 9, 10. Read that for me quick. Mm -mm -mm. This is so awesome. What does it say that? Isaiah, the 55th chapter, verse 8, 9, 10, 11. Isaiah, the 50, 50 55th chapter. 55th chapter. Verse okay. 8, 9, 10, 11 says. Verse 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes. What does it say? Yes, ma'am. It says, I don't think the way you think. Oh, shut you your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. In other words, God does not think the way we want God. See, what happened to Christians? They want God to come down to their level. To think like he think like they want him to think. You understand? If you notice, a lot of Christians think that way. 
Well, this way they can understand because who who had who knows the mind of God? You don't know the mind of God. He got that way that you don't never know mind because then you think you'd be like God, like Satan say, I will exalt myself and all this other stuff above God. And God said, oh yeah, I'm going to show you something. Amen. Do you understand what I'm saying? Huh? Amen. Because why he know that you would try to be like Lucifer who became Satan. Amen. Uh, thank you because you are... Uh, um, Created by God, that you above God, and you can become God. Now we come a small G of God because we are the reflection of Him, but we're not really God. Isn't that right? Huh? Amen. Amen. Because we, we come a small G as I am who He am, who is it? I'm in us, but we're not I am because the I am lives in us. Hello, somebody. Amen. My God. Amen. My God. This this is this blowing your mind. Woo. Every time you open the word, there's something new. That's why if, if you're going to teach the word, it, it, it should be interesting if you want to get in the word. When a teacher, when you have the gift of teacher, it should be interesting you teaching that that individuals, those individuals listen to you, will get hungry like you want to get more in it like you do it. Hello. That's all purpose. Amen. But if they are really teaching by directed and leading of the Holy Spirit, that will make the other person, the people listening, more hungry than is. Oh, this is getting good. It's better than watching those soap operas. You got soap operas in, 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 in the church. You talking about on turn the TV, go to church, you get the soap operas watching the people. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's what God said. There's a lot of soap operas in the church. Started with the leader on down. Hello, somebody. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. So if you got the gift of teaching, most prophets and apostle does, and uh, he give us, uh, uh, give it to bishop, whoever, a teacher walks in the revelation of the word. In other words, the revelator of the, that gives the revelation is the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we are not above the teacher. So God has it that every time you get in the word, it gets better and better and better. You know, like uh, uh, Tamlin, Tamlin Man's husband, when he was in this uh, play, and, uh, and your doctor, it get gooder and gooder. That's how the word get gooder and gooder. Amen. Amen. So the word is not boring. The person who's reading the word is boring if they don't let the Holy Spirit give them the revelation what the word is all about. And see, people don't really, a lot of Christians don't get the word. They don't even get the revelation. They make assumption and which we're thinking what they think it is, not allowing the Holy Spirit because when you're a teacher of the word by directed by the Holy Spirit, what he does, he opens your eyes, take the scales off, amen, reveal who God is, bring in revelation, and not only that, it brings in miracles. When you read and teaching the word, it releases miracles. The supernatural. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Amen. And it doesn't take a lot of words. See, God got it that way. They will always get in the word. It doesn't take a whole lot of chapter to understand the word. You can take that first verse. And because the first verse is, is telling you what the uh, the last verse of the last chapter tell you what the first verse is going to be all about. And the first verse is the topic of bringing in the subject of really what's going on. And in between that chapter, what it does, it gives you outline, detail, what's really what's all about. And at the end, it summarizes what it's about. Then it gives you, gives you the, the defined the information what the next chapter all around. But see, in the in between that, he wants you to take your time and read the word. It means that every word, I don't care if it's an and and but, which is an unconditioned, which is a condition word, it's important. And it's a continuum, but it's a, con, a, a, a condition word. Think about it. It could be conditioned if you believe what he's saying. Amen. And so what he does, he, he, he emphasizes it through putting punctuation marks in there. You notice that when people read the word, they take portion of that word, amen, of that of that word, the sentence of that in that particular verse, because it is relate to they relate to the issues what they're going through now. Y'all notice that, don't you? Amen. Amen. And the same thing when you read about the characters in the Bible, where God put them in there, it relates to what we're going through right now. Ain't that right? Hmm. Amen. It tells you and define how the problem in your life can be solved. And what do you say, Apostle? All the answers is in God's word. 
Amen. Why you say, why did this happen like that? That's the reason. Read the word. Look, why did God allow allow uh, 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 Rebecca to do that? Like she was, he allowed uh, 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 Sarah to do that. And she was wrong. It's like history repeats itself over and over again, don't it? Huh? Amen. He keeps the word interesting. We're the one boring. He's not boring. If we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, the word of God gets more interesting. It don't get dead. It don't get boring. It get boring because people are boring. Amen. Amen. What do you mean, Apostle? He would take one word, initiate that one word at the whole chapter, just like he says, a uh, 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 one word he'll take out of there. And define that whole word in other verses, and he will take you to other verses. You say, "Oh my, O M G, Oh my God." He keeps it that way. He keeps the way that the word of God is always interested. He said, "Oh, taste and see how good it is." The more you taste that word, the more it good. But you have to taste it by allowing the Holy Spirit to season the salt, the salt of the of the world. The salt is Jesus, who also is the salt. It's the Holy Spirit. Amen. Who else owes the salt? It's God. All the same. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. So the more you allow him to salt the word, the more it get good and season good. Amen. And this, oh, I want to eat some more. I want to taste some more of this. I can't get enough of it. You take one verse and take a word. Amen. And use that word and he will define it more than it means. Amen. And add on more scripture that relate to what he's talking about. Amen. You understand? Apostle Lewis. Amen. Uh, uh, when you speak one scripture, it's ringing and ringing and ringing. Isaiah 55 and 8 and 9. It's exactly what you speak about. This yeah, case. yeah, yeah. You're getting on. So that's what we that's where we at. I ain't even finished with telling the reader, but it's it just blow your mind. And he let you know specifically, you got to understand you ain't me. You are made in the image of me, but you ain't God. <laughs> he keeps us to a place that we don't get up beside ourselves because he given us revelation that then we're going to get above him. Hello, somebody. Read that 8, 9, 10, 11. Read that. Read that. Boy, this is good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Read that 8, 9, 10. Read that. Read it. Who's supposed to be reading uh, Gen I mean, uh, Isaiah, uh, uh, 55, Isaiah 55, verse 8, 9, 10, 11? Read that. Okay. Uh, read it again. Okay. I don't think, I don't think the way you think. <laughs> the way you work isn't the way I work. Ooh. In other words, to solve your problem, amen, it's not the way you think it is. But the same token, the same time, he used you to solve the problem. You don't realize you're solving the way he wants you the same. In other words, he take the foolish thing, confine to make it wise. His wisdom is simple. His wisdom is common sense, everyday word. But at the same time, it's, it's, it seems complex, but it's simple. If he took the word and, and put parables in it and make parables, amen, and make a story, even a child can understand, that's why he do it with us. And the reason why people uh, take the word out of context, because they try to put their two cents in and think it should be. He said, don't add on the word. I already did what I'm supposed to. I'll show you what to do if you listen to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So what did he say? Uh, uh, go ahead. I want to say thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, once again, go to verse 9. What did he say? Oh, God's decree. For as the sky soars high above, above earth, so the way I work surpasses the way you work. Ooh, shut your mouth. In other words, people are trying to bring God at the same level as he is. Ooh. Amen. You know, a lot of people that arrive, they got it going. Don't ever think that. Because he'll bring you down in a minute. Two Amen. things God don't let you take his glory and vengeance his. He said, I surpass Amen. you. I go above you. Do you not know who I am? I am Revelation 1 8. I am Alpha Omega, the beginning, 
the end, who was, who is, who is to come. Elohim, Yeshua, Messiah. Who shall I Shante? Oh, God, I feel Holy Ghost. You got to know, I, I, I may have you to go in the way you think it is, but I'm going to go in there and show you I was there all the time. I may didn't like it, but I came in there and switched around because I had the devil thinking something else. He didn't know what it is because he said that you was a liar, but you weren't a liar. It was in my plan to put it away because, see, if it did, it would have been his way, and his way is not going to work out. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If you look at what's going on in America, God is doing his way. He's changing the rules. He's changing the laws. It's going to be done the way God says it's going to be. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. 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 He Amen. always makes the devil think he's winning. Amen. Because see, the devil tried to switch the prophecy around. Amen. Uh, and try to bring in his own. Amen. And try to knock out what Jesus coming back. But the rapture is going to it's gonna happen. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. God's plan is going to work out just the way he planned it to be. Amen. Amen. And it's not that he wants to tell me more than he tell anybody else. Amen. He wants all of us to get in there and spend, seek him and allow him to tell us. Amen. For he can get the glory. But see, he's not getting the glory because some people don't got big headed and they don't got beside themselves because they teach where, oh, and the Lord, uh, the Lord was saying, I don't hear nobody talking. These things that we must spread around, sit your tie yourself down because you ain't nothing without God. He said in John, amen. the 15th chapter, amen, verse 5, he said, I am the vine. Uh, hey, hey, the stem. The one that opened up, the one that helped you to grow, the one that helped you to uh, flourish. I'm the vine. I'm that stem that holds you. I'm that one. And my father is the landowner, the husband of all. Oh, my God. And you are the branch. Halabashan, the tree that I created, the tree that I'm going to uh, 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 place uh, 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 the fruit on there, place the lives of other on there to grow in the way that I want it to grow. Oh, my God. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 That I that you don't forget that I get the credit, not you. You go around and say, "Oh, they're social motivated speaker." Yes, they are, but all glory goes to God. That's why you see a lot of people in the world take the word of God because and use it for themselves. You see all those motivated speakers. Listen to them. They go in the Book of Proverbs. Amen. They go in the book of Psalm, those in the world, and they go some scriptures in the world and try to twist God's word and make it like they the one doing it. Hello? Yeah. Amen. That man named Tony thing took it right out the Bible. I forgot his name, you know, Tony. Man. Now go ahead on. Let's finish this up from going. Go ahead on. This is so good. Amen. And the way I think is beyond the way you think. Just as rain and snow descend from the skies. And don't go back until they have watered the earth. Uh -huh. In other words, people say, uh, try to, when it rains, they try to stop the rain. But thank God for the rain. God, the one created the rain to water the earth, that it could grow and be fruitful and multiply. Now, it may not come when you want to, but it, it, it's going to finish. Some people say, God, I pray the rain stop. You better glad the rain is there. Come on, somebody. Because it don't rain, there will not be no growth. It don't rain, there will not be no prosperity. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We got to understand the rain creates, it, it gets rid of the impurity on earth and purified the strength from heaven that was on the earth that it will be purified each time. People don't realize that. Amen. Hallelujah. So the rain, when it does, it creates the clean water. Amen. And so what the water is, the water is the wealth of the land because we can live without water. Amen. We can live without food, but when the water there, we can have the wealth there uh, continue on where the animals can be uh, 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 be fed, I mean, can drink, and the people can be drink. And the, you know, how you know it's wealth? Well, why do we have to pay for something? Water. And it's right there. Hello. Amen. 
So when we try to stop the rain, we stop in God's work when he has to done. So that we have the hurricanes, we have the earthquake. Why is they there? Everything is here for a reason. You look at the animals. You got little insects. Say, what is their purpose? And everybody asks, what, what is a roach purpose here? God created it, didn't he? <laughs> Those days you want to kill. You know what I'm talking about? What is their purpose? Amen. Amen. What is a fly inside? All I know is an agitated fly that's around you and that's going you. What is this for? Everyone has a purpose. When Adam created those animals, God also told Adam what purpose was they here for. That's how small Adam was. Oh my God. Jesus. So the anointing of Adam to learn did never live. Li Leave his uh, 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 seed, seed, generation, generation. They were smart people. If you look at the, uh, the Egypt and the Roman and all of them, how they built those buildings, still those the best architects and the best engineer was in the time of Christ after Christ. They they still standing strong. Is anybody there? Amen. Amen. Well, you look at look at Rebecca how smart she was. She had that seed of a great great grandfather, Adam, didn't she? Huh? Well, maybe y'all catch on. Go ahead on to the next. This is good. Amen. Amen. Doing their work of making things grow and blossom, producing seeds for farmers and food for the hungry. Where does it make this stuff grow? What the key word, grow? What did you say? Be fruitful and what? Multiply. Apply. The seed of harvest. If that seed is not water, there will not be no harvest. It won't grow. There will not be no blessings. Hello, somebody. Amen. Mm, 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 mm. This is so good. I feel like running around the block. It's too late to run around the block because it's too dark. <laughs> this <is> so <laughs> Go ahead on to the next. Go ahead and finish. I'll tell you when to stop. So will the words, so will the words that come out of my mouth. Oh, there is it right there. Listen to what God's talking about. Reference to what we're talking about now. It represents a lot of things. In, in other words, he spoke the word. That that uh, that Jacob was going to be the successor, didn't he? Amen. But how he did it, he did it his way. But even though, uh, they, uh, uh, even though the plan was uh 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 see the plan the devil tried to come into uh, uh isaac and say that it, uh you need to uh bless the oldest one instead of east uh, instead of jacob but god word was in manifest amen it was it it turned around so with the word would in other words if i said look what he says now look what he says he said if i said that jacob was the one my word gonna come to pass no matter what. Ain't that right? Amen. Even if Amen. I do it the Amen. way it looks like it's wrong, even if I look like it's like it's lying, and I'm still my word would not come by void, but it will accomplish with us. Ooh, Jesus! I feel like running around the block. <laughs> Is you catching on what God said? Who who's catching on? Amen. Amen. So God's word was being accomplished. Amen. Even though the devil tried to make him look bad, but his word was still was performed, wasn't it? Even though when yeah. it, when it, it's still because Isaac got the blessing still, didn't he? May not to be what yeah, he was, but he still word will come. Oh my God. Read that this word would not come by void. Is anybody catching on? Go ahead and read that a uh, uh, precious again. Yes. Yes. So so will the words that come out of my mouth not come back empty handed. Woo! Did his word come back in, into hand when he planned that uh, uh, that Jacob would be the one? It didn't, did it? Hmm? No, no man. man. No man. So however God works out your life what he told you to do, let him do it his way. Mm. I don't hear nobody talking. Amen. Amen. In other words, it may not work the way you think it should, but God got a plan to make the devil think he's winning, but God is winning all the time. Ooh, Jesus, I feel like running around the block. Jesus. Woo, I feel like doing some jumping jacks now. If I can do it, I, I think it would. 
I don't know about you, but I'm learning every time I get the word. I ain't arrived. I'm still I'm hungry. And the more I'm hungry, the more God reveals. See, that's the key. You gotta be hungry. He said, Blessed of them are hungry and thirst after righteousness. They're always gonna be filled. I'm always gonna fill them up. It's just like when we, we get gas, we, we run out of gas. Well, the more we uh, uh, more we go and do what God said, we run out of gas, he's gonna fill us up. The more we do, he's gonna fill us up more. He's gonna he's gonna have a cup run over. Amen. With the anointing, like he told David. The more David did, his cup was run over. The more we do, he said, your cup gonna run over. Amen. Hallelujah. In other words, you're gonna get an overflow. Hallelujah. You made it understand you're still gonna get it overflow. Amen. 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 He said, my cup is running over. Your cup is going to run over. It's going to be overflow. Your overflow comes in. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down green pastor. In other words, lay, lay down and I got you. I'm going to do it my way. He restored my soul. He leading me to the path of righteousness. Yea, do I walk to the valley of shun of death. I won't fear no evil for thou with me. The rod that step that comfort me. That prepare a table before in the presence of the enemy. That none of my head will all. That none is my head will all. My, on my head, well, after he, he says prepare a for, for your enemy, he'll nod your head and your cup be running over. Overflow. Yeah. My God. Amen. Amen. Because when you allow God to do it his way, you may don't understand, you may don't like it, but he said all things, uh, well, I don't look like it's working together. Oh, but all things uh, is working together for good to them that love God and them that are called for his purpose. You would never think that God's purpose was working out the way it was done. Amen? Amen. But Amen. actually, it, it was working out the way it's supposed to be done. And this is what the key factor is. And the factor is the truth. God, he doesn't do what he did. He said, my word would not come back void. As well as I water the ground. And it can't stop until I say it stop until it's, everything is complete and filled. And a lot of times people put the hand in there the wrong way. But if they do something, they may don't understand and let God do his way, everything going to work out together for good. It will not come back void. Go on there and finish that. We want to finish it. Amen. But what it would do? They'll, they'll do the work I sent them to do. They'll complete the assignment I gave them. Amen. Because where is he getting seed to the sword and bread to the eater? Is this in there? That's part of it. Amen. We didn't hear that part. Well, anyway, his 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 plan was accomplished. May not have been accomplished the way he won't, but God got a plan. Cause he said Isaiah fourteen chapter verse twenty seven. He it, it let them know. I don't know. It was telling them Isaiah said the enemy may come against him, but he said my plan gonna work out. It won't be a no. So God's plan was worked out. Everybody, not the way we amen. thought it should be, but the way God wanted it to be. Church, sure, amen. 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 Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. People think Hallelujah. they know the word, but they don't know the word. They think they know God, but nobody know God better than he himself. Ain't that right? <laughs> Amen. Amen. If we know God that Amen. good, then we'll be God. We will need God. Isn't that right? Hmm? Amen. Amen. So he sets us up. You know, he does thank you, Holy Spirit. He sets us up to work his plan. <laughs> Amen. He set us up. He set them up. Amen. All through the Bible, you see how God worked it out. Amen. His way. He was using them his way. He used Joseph brothers his way and they're right hmm? amen amen he used amen. david enemy his way he know david had a lust weakness for women especially beautiful women didn't he but notice this david was wrong yes but god know that david couldn't continue on having all these wives and women you understand so when he got to bathsheba no more women, wife, wasn't it? Huh? Amen. He had to repent, but still, God forgave him. Boy, this is so good. Let's go ahead and let's finish this off. Go ahead and get to the other scripture because, you know, we, we're not going to be able to finish this tonight. You know why? Because 
this is it's going to be a continue on. You understand? Amen. Hello, because this is rich, isn't it, Rich? Huh? Amen. Amen. Are you learning something from God? Yes. Amen. <clears throat> So his plan was was being worked out. They didn't know that God used to work it out, and may not to be that. But he turned that around and made sure his plan was worked out that it would not be annulled and destroyed. Amen. Hallelujah. So a lot of time when you think God is not working his plan out your life, think about it. It it is worked out, but not the way you think it should be, the way he think it should be. Church. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Lord, this is good. This is direct revelation from God, isn't it? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead with the other uh, verses. Okay. Uh, first, this is the last uh, of that okay. chapter, number 29. Okay. Uh, the, smell of, the smell of my son is like the smell of the open country blessed by God. May God give you of heaven's dew and earth's bounty of grain and wine. May people serve you and nations honor you. You will master your brothers and your mother's son will honor you. Those Say that again. You will be Say that again. The prophecy. You will master, you will master your brothers. I said it and your again. Mother's so what, what, what are you saying? What are you saying? Catch on. Catch on. What are you saying? Whatever you God. Huh? Yes, but what did he say in the beginning that there was going he was gonna rule over them? Didn't he say that? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Did he say that the young was gonna rule over the older and rule? Didn't he say that? Amen. So what that telling you? God plan was worked out. Whether they did like it that way, it, it was still worked out, wasn't it? Hmm? Amen. And a lot of times we think it didn't work out, but then. Think about it. Let those spirit directly tell you that his plan was worked out. You may not think it, but his plan worked out. But see, we don't see it. We get so hyper. We get so, uh, uh, have an anxiety attack. And we get worried, stressed out. Well, I don't know. God said, maybe I need to do that. <laughs> get so hyper. And he's already working it out. Hallelujah. Mm. That sounds, how you going to pay you? Jesus don't work it out. Well, how you going to do it? Jesus don't work it out. <laughs> I, Amen. I'm just thinking that. <laughs> I call on the Lord. He worked it out. Oh, yes. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. Yeah, that song goes with it. Ain't it? Well, how you going to do it? Who the rest? I don't know. I don't know. I turn it over, Jesus. He worked it out. Oh, yes. Work it out. Amen. Amen. He had already worked out. Isaac, at the same time, when he knew that he just turned it over, it's okay. He worked it out the way he wanted to work out. Amen. My plan didn't work out. Hello, y'all. Amen. 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 So no matter what, when people try to twist things around and put their little two cent in, what they think it should be, because it don't look like it's going to work out, let it alone. Let God do it his way. Amen. Understand that all all the time God always make the devil think he's winning, but he also he don't lost. Long time ago. Amen. Mm -hmm. My God, this is so awesome. Amen. The Holy Ghost is awesome, isn't he? He knows what to bring in. Amen. And then you Amen. you read that again, then he give you another revelation. <laughs> he will always Amen. have he always have the Bible interesting you know you don't have to go in looking for the prophecy all the time the word of god is prophetic amen hallelujah the raymond word only brings the inspiration what really and what the raymond word does it explain it the word of god which is the logo word which actually was means so they both relate to each other they have this connection. Because if the Raymond word does not connect with the logo word, which is the word of God, then it's, then it's not going to be. So what he does, he takes the Raymond word, it's the inspiration word directly from the throne of grace, breaks it down in our language, and then what the what it really means in the logo word. You understand what I'm saying? Amen? Amen. Amen. 
Okay, let's go on. Thank you, precious. This is so awesome. Amen. I think we're going to finish. <laughs> this is so good. You know, God is pleased with this. You know, he's, he's pleased with this. Oh, praise God. He's pleased when we get in his word. Amen. Because the word of God say in John the first, I mean, not John, uh, Joshua the first chapter, verse 8. Someone read that. Just relate to what we're talking about. Someone read uh, uh, Joshua the first chapter, verse 8. What does it say? For the first chapter, verse, verse eight, eight mm -hmm. and, it, and it reads after oh, kind of goes in together, Apostle. What are you reading from? Um, this is from the Message Bible. Would you like a different translation? Yeah, give me a different translation this time. Okay, get yeah, the King James version of that one. The one that was oh, either one. Uh, okay, the I got the, the King James. Okay, go ahead on. Verse 8 says, The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. But then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Ha! Huh. You know where you're going to prosper and successful at? The book of law became the word of God. Amen. When Jesus came, say. said, you know, you get rid of you get rid of the law. If you love God, you're gonna do what He says. The law was just introduction of like a test master to do exactly because He knew that the Israelite was in bondage for 400 years, and the only way to change that He had to set a rule out to follow that they will follow Him because God is the one who proclaimed the God to play the word of God what God really wants to happen. So when we read the word of God, Amen. And allow the word to uh, uh, to operate in our life, sexually in our life, what it does. And we take it and meditate on it. Just like uh, when a person, uh, a star, uh, a Hollywood star, whatever, they get scripts. They get scripts to learn, you know, part to the learn. So what they do, they, they take that, that character and begin to meditate on it until they become that character. See, it, it can't become until it gets deep inside of them, in their heart. And then when they get inside, then when then after that, then they get in and start playing that part. Then it prosper what they say when they speak out. But the same thing with the Word of God. The more you get in the Word, you can help but prosper. Amen. And see, therefore, Amen. people don't get in the Word. The prosperity don't come just because uh, uh, obedience, but obedience to the Word of God. Taking that word and let it become real in your heart. Let it become real. Because he said in Psalm 119, he said, verse 11, I believe 10, 11, said, Let the word of God embed it in your heart that you will not sin against thee. So the more the word embedded in your heart you will sin, the more you speak the word, the more you meditate on the word. Amen. When it comes, it becomes real. And then after that, you let the word get in your heart, become real. Then you will prosper in everything you're doing. You automatically can prosper and be blessed. So tonight, because we we actually get in the word, we don't worry about I want to prophecy. The word of God is prophecy. Prophetic. And see, when we take hold of the word, he's gonna get seed to the soul and bread to the eat. It means that you're gonna always have seeds. God is in the seed. And what's make sure you have more than enough. And make sure that you have enough seed to sow in and get back as well. Amen. Overflow in abundance. Because if he said that he came that you may have life, and if the enemy could steal that seed and destroy that seed and kill that seed, then you won't have everlasting life and not have the life in abundantly. That that's his plan for you to do. Because that's what his words say. So when you take hold of that word and let it come real in your heart, you can't help but prosper. So we're taking that word seriously and let it come real in our heart. So guess what? We get ready to prosper even more. You understand? Amen. 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 So what are you doing? You actually turning God on. Cause you're more interested in Him. You're not just wait till you get to church on Sunday or go to Bible study. Happen. You really taking hold of that world in this little, this Bible study. You taking it seriously. And because He says the word will not come back void. Then He says that, but it will go and go and prosper for you. See. 
You're going to be successful. People missing the word of God that makes you successful, y'all. Amen. Amen. And don't have to take a whole lot of chapter. You can take one verse. And if you believe in that one verse that God said, and you keep meditating until it gets in your heart. Because the Bible says where your heart is, that's where your treasure is. So if your heart is in the word of God, he's going to give you treasure that you didn't ask for. Amen. That the treasure has a, a lot in there. It has the wealth and riches, everything you need. He's going to supply it for you. Church, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 So the more you hungry for him, the more he's going to feed you and bless you. And the more you're going to prosper. It means the more you're going to be success, successful. You can't help it. Because your priorities in order. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay, let's go to the next one. And then we get, oh, buddy, then we got the time. Go ahead on. Who's the next reader? Yes, ma'am, I start at verse 30, and I'm going to be reading the Amplified. Okay, go ahead, Precious. Now, as soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, and Jacob had scarcely left the presence of Isaac, his father, Esau, his brother, came in from his hunting. Esau also made a delicious dish of meat and brought it to his father and said to him, Let my father get up and eat some of his son's game so that you may bless me. Isaac, his father, said to him, Who are you? And he replied, I am your son, your firstborn Esau. Verse 33, then Isaac trembled violently, and he said, then who was the one who was just here? Who hunted game and brought it to me? Oh, uh, uh, look at that. What was going on? I'm going to see what y'all can catch on. What was going on? Isaac was covering himself, didn't he? You notice Amen. that? Amen. He knew that was Esau because he had a spell. He knew that was Jacob back there. He made a mistake. How did he make a mistake? And God turned that around and corrected and let that plan work out that make sure that Isaac, I mean, make sure that Jacob get the, the blessing that God said. Because Isaac the one that started it, didn't he? Huh? Amen. Amen. So what was Isaac doing? I'm going to see where you're in. What did Isaac was doing? Who could tell me? He was covering himself. And that's what a lot of Christians does, don't they? Mm, my Lord. You know what? They can't admit that it was wrong what he did. Oh, my God. <laughs> and there's something. He, 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 he really bought a, a division between him and his, and his brother, didn't he? Amen. He, Amen. He actually covered himself, wasn't he? He knew that when Esau... But also he knew that what God told him. So Isaac started the mess, didn't he? Amen. So Rebecca came in and tried to fix it. That's why God allowed her to eat, 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 eat drop. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> so he played the game. He said, hey, who is this? He know Esau. He know the difference. <laughs> Did y'all catch it on? Amen. Amen. As you were talking, the Holy Spirit said, look what Esau did. I mean, look what Isaac did. He knew that was Esau. He was trying to trying to make himself look good because he knew he was wrong what he did. He knew that Esau was not supposed to get the first blessing. Hello. He knew that Jacob was not Esau. Amen. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good, isn't it? Amen. He tried to cover himself, didn't he? Amen. Amen. And keep that peace between him and his son. And then poor Isaac, I mean, poor, uh, I mean, said uh, Jacob, now he's getting ready to get, really get blamed. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and read this. Go ahead. <laughs> I ate all of it before you came, and I blessed him. Yes, and he, in fact, shall be, shall remain blessed. <laughs> Verse 34. When in, in other words, uh, you know what remind me of? Uh, 
Re, uh, uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Um, Numbers 23, 19, and 20. When Balaam couldn't go back on this word with God, and Balaam, who was the king, was mad. Remind me of Esau. He was mad because he wanted Balaam to come against Israel. Now look at that. Read, read that. Isaiah, uh, uh, no, Isaiah, Numbers 23, 19, and 20. Read that. You get it? If she can't get it, let somebody else get it for you. Uh, yes, I have it for you. Apostle. Read that for me, please. Yes, ma'am. Um, Numbers 23, verse 19 from the Amplified. Mm -hmm. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent. Has he said and will he not do it? Or has he spoken and will he not make it good and fulfill it? <laughs> Well, you may have thought God was a liar, let them lie, didn't he? But he didn't. He had a plan. Amen. And so in Isaiah, Isaiah 14, verse 27, he said, once he plans something, he's not going to uh, know it. In other words, he said his ways are different. His thoughts are higher. So he knew that the enemy was going to come because the enemy came to Esau. I'm uh, not Esau, too. Isaac, didn't he? Isn't that Amen. right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And so Isaac tried to cover himself with his son, to keep good in with his son. You understand? Hello? But Amen. Then, then when he when he then he can't he couldn't go back. It's just like Isaac. Isaac couldn't go back when he blessed uh uh uh, uh Jacob. Look what he says, verse twenty. Verse twenty. Look what he says. Yes, ma'am. Behold, I have received his command to bless Israel. He has blessed, and I cannot reverse it. And that's what he was saying. He could not go back in reverse. Once he blessed uh, Jacob, he couldn't go back on it, could he? Amen. Amen. Woo is this good, y'all? Amen. Yet you started it. Isaac started it, didn't he? So Isaac almost caused the it caused a division between him and the sons, didn't he? Two sons, didn't he? Hello. Amen. Amen. And yet God stepped in them because God's plan was going to work out. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is good. Go ahead, Precious. Let's go back to uh, Genesis. All right. Verse 34. When Esau heard the words of his father, mm -hmm. he cried out with a great and extremely bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. Isaac said, your brother came deceitfully and has fraudulently taken away your blood for himself. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Verse 36, Esau replied, is he not rightly named Jacob the supplanter? For he has supplanted me these two times. He took away my birthright and now he has taken away my blessing. Oh, 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 now, you see why God did not want to give it to Esau? Because Esau didn't care. Esau cared, well, I don't care if I get my birth. I, I, I mean, I'll sell my soul to the devil. That's what people are doing. They're compromising their soul and giving it to the devil. You see, God couldn't trust Esau. You see another plan? Hello, everybody. Amen. Amen. He sold himself willing to give up uh, his, 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 his certificate, his, his something valuable just for some food. Well, the same thing going on right now. Uh, Christians are compromising, selling their stuff up for just a, uh, not for food, but the, the love of money. I, don't, I, don't, I hope they catch on. Amen. The love Amen. of money can be like a food because the love of money can buy you food. Amen. Amen. And use that the wrong way. So God said, that's why, you think about what God did. Now the plan, he knew what was going to happen. You know, God way ahead of us. Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. And God knew if Esau sold his soul, <laughs> he was really selling his soul to the devil. Not, uh, J Jacob was not the devil. But God said, he stooped that low to sell his birthright 
Amen, which is important. Just for food, then I really can't trust him with, with the nation. I can't really trust him with, with the people. Amen, my people. You understand? He cannot be uh, 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 like Jacob to be the father of the 12 trials. You know what I'm talking about? Israel, you know what I'm saying? You know that? Hello? Amen. He can trust him. They prove it already. Amen. God. God, I'm telling you. And the other revelation is a lot of time some parents will cover themselves for what the mistake they made. Amen. And allow the devil use them to blame their child for what they did. To cover themselves and bring division in the family. Hello. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Isaac can't blame nobody but himself, did he? Amen. He started it, didn't he? And yet God forgave him. Why did God forgive him, Isaac? He lied again, didn't he? Huh? <laughs> Amen. Why did God forgive Isaac? Because he made a promise to who? Abraham. There you go. He was the seed of Abraham. So God made a promise that God, uh, Abraham's seed will be blessed because Isaac was the promise. He was the heir. He was the successor. Amen. Amen. And he forgave him because he was blind and, you know, all this other stuff. And yet he still forgave him. <laughs> tell you. He said, what God said in the word, he said, I will have mercy on who I want to have mercy on, didn't he? Amen. He did show mercy on Isaac. Isaac didn't go to hell. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of crazy. It, the word of God is, is awesome, ain't it? You didn't know it was that very interesting, isn't it? Hmm? Amen. Amen. When we allow those spirits to direct us to get revelation, I'm still learning. And when I open again, he may give me some more revelation. Amen. It's always new. He always do a new thing. Amen. Can you see it? In other words, every time I open up, he said in the book of Isaiah 43 chapter, verse 18 and 19, that God always do something new. Amen. He never do the same thing. He asks you, can you see it? I don't see it, but he's doing something new. I don't feel it, but he's doing something new. I don't see the change, but he's doing something new. And so mm -hmm. he does something new in your life when it don't seem like it's new, but he's doing something new. Amen. Hallelujah. Each and every time. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. Hallelujah, somebody. Go ahead and finish. She'll be right back on. Hold on. Okay, I missed it. Hit the button, y'all. <laughs> Go ahead. I thought your mic was on. Yeah, I, I, I missed it. Hit the wrong button. You know how you hit the wrong button. <laughs> Go ahead on. Amen. Um, have you not reserved a blessing for me? Verse 37. But Isaac replied to Esau, listen carefully. Mm -hmm. I have made Jacob and your Lord and master. I have given him all his brothers and relatives as servants. And I have sustained him with grain and new wine. What then can I do for you, my son? Verse 38. Esau said to his father, Have you only one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh my father. Then Esau, no longer able to restrain himself, raised his voice and wept loudly. Verse 39. Wait a minute. Why did God did not want to bless Esau the way he blessed Isaac? Esau was mad. His father was wrong. Because he was really building, building up Esau that he was going to be the one. Amen. He was mad, wasn't he? Yes, man. But when I first read this, uh, I, 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 the Holy Spirit told me to say, you know that Esau was, was uh, Isaac's favor, not Jacob. Mm. 
And the reason why he was Isaac's favor, because Esau reminded him of Ishmael. He loved his brother. But Ishmael couldn't get the same blessing as Isaac has. The same thing, Esau couldn't get the same blessing as uh, Jacob had. And you notice that the war is continuing along in, in the Middle East. And Ishmael had 12 tribes as well as Jacob did. And it's a continued fight. They fight each other, cousins. Fight that little small uh, continent of Israel, which is small. And you notice that, that the Middle East, they got a lot of money. A lot of, well, God had to promise them that because God made a promise to Abraham. Amen. And they say his seed will be blessed. Because even though they did wrong, God had to bless his seed. Just like he got to bless you because you're the seed of Abraham because of Christ Jesus. Do you understand that? Amen. And, uh, that means that we are blessed no matter what because of Abraham. Amen. Of what they did. And if they can destroy Israel and claim their inheritance, that's what they want to do. But it's never going to happen. Because God knows they weren't going to serve him. So they're actually cousins fighting each other. Ain't that right? Hmm? Amen. Amen. You think Amen. about it. We all are relatives, ain't we? Maybe long <laughs> distance, but we all related. <laughs> Amen. 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 So go ahead on. This is good. Go ahead on. Verse 39. Then Isaac, his father, answered and prophesied and said to him, your dwelling shall be away from the fertility of the earth and away from the dew of heaven above. Verse 40. But you shall live by your sword and serve your brother. Oh, uh, wait a minute. We just got to saying it, right? You know what the sword represents, y'all. Amen? Y'all know what the sword represents. What did Jesus told Peter and them say, put down your sword, man would die by the sword, fight and don't fight that, it's not the way. They always fight one another. Isn't that right? Huh? Amen. You said, what do you not say plays a part of it? There was birth from Israel uh, helping them. Now we're not gonna get in there because it's in the word of God. See, I like to get in the I like to get in the word. I like to get in there deep and i'm still learning i have not arrived but there's so much revelation what's going on now is in the word of god putin you, you know what putin is in the bible you know who putin is in the bible right was ain't putin or putin in the book it's putin. It's awesome. yeah what is his name in the bible you know he's part you know putin is related to the uh 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 Isaac, I mean, uh, Isaac's son, Esau. If you go down, if you do research, you find the relate the, re, the relatives relate to. Amen. And so it's the China, each, each, the Asian, with God took Asian, you know, from the side of the East Black and the side of the White and came Asian. And he took two, two uh, the darkness, two Black, and made White Caucasian. This is awesome, ain't it? Hello. Amen. So put name put name in the Bible, the book of Ezekiel thirty talks about it. He is um God. You heard it now, God G O G. And Esau is Enoch. E E D O M stands for red. And Ezekiel talks about it. You read the Bible. And Maga, I'm gonna get it right, is Russia. Amen. Hello? Amen. And when you look it up, get takes a lot of people need to look up stuff. Amen. You'll see that all this war started in the Old Testament right now with Esau <laughs> and with Abraham, what they did. They made they 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 messed up from their mistake, but yet God still blessed them. You understand? Hello? When when Amen. Sarah and and Abraham, so God had to bless Abraham, uh, Ishmael, because he was the seed of Abraham, and God keeps His promise. Amen. 
So all that started then. Amen. Then Isaac carried the same thing what his father did. <laughs> Amen. But yet Esau was blessed too. Amen. Not the same way. Uh, I I mean, uh, Jacob was blessed. There was blessed fertility means blessed money. They they got a lot of oh and money. You understand? Hello. Amen. Amen. And all the war is about. What you think the war is about? To claim their inheritance. They feel that Ishmael was the inheritance. That's what the war is about mostly. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 The Pakistan, the Philistine, the Philistine represent the Canyon. Uh, I'm not getting all that. Okay, that's I'm just getting a little bit because we got to go. It's so much history, so much going on. We need to look uh, look at it. Amen. What God did. Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. Where we came from? We all came from the same hole. I mean, you know, what I'm talking about not cursing at Eve. Amen. It started then. It started with the marriage, with two marriage. The two wives and started all back then. I'm telling you, history repeats itself, don't it? Huh? Amen. And the spirit Amen. of jealousy Amen. and a competitive spirit has been going on since Abe and Cain. Abe, if Abe would have lived, we wouldn't have to go through all this, what we're going through. But Cain, because of Adam's sin, the spirit of the Cain was not the uh uh Satan uh, son but he, he allowed Satan to come in and destroy his brother so his blood was crying for the ground means his voice was crying I think Michael was helping me out on that his blood the Holy Ghost helped Michael tell me his voice was crying how can God heal see his blood so it's now his blood was crying out his voice was crying out and so the same thing happened now all this you're gonna see restoration coming before Jesus coming back. So the uh they still trying to claim back what they, they lost. You remember in Baghdad? You know who cheering that was, don't you? Huh? Ishmael, Esau, all them. Hello, are y'all there? <laughs> Amen. Amen. And they're trying to claim it back. But we know the end that we're gonna we already won. Even at the end days, it's not the end day when Jesus comes. Because the great tribulation has to come. And the two witnesses has to come to restore back. It, it wasn't if, uh, if God, he made a promise to Israel. And so the Jews, he got to restore them. It's like he had to restore them. Think with uh, uh, Moses. He sent Moses to rest, uh, uh, get the children back, you know, restore the children. Because he was not let the, the children of Ishmael be the ones. Amen. The chosen one. So he allowed us, the Gentiles, was mixed up with the Jews. And you if you look back to Syria was there as well. It was mixed up. They was mixed up with the Jews and the uh and the uh and the Middle East, you know what I'm talking about. Amen. The children. And so that's why. So read this. History repeat itself to reclaim the inheritance. That's what it is. And the Jews is the one that's going to be the inheritance. Same thing with East uh, Isaac. And the same thing with Abraham. They're going to go down to Jacob. Amen. That's what the great tribulation restoration. To restore the Jews back to God. The true Christians. The, the, we all the Christians. But you know Gentile. We are Jews because of Jesus Christ. But restore the inheritance that he promised Israel. Amen, everybody. Amen. Amen. With the same promise that he promised Abraham, he got to restore that with the Jews. That's why the tribulation. Amen. The great tribulation. When they have the witness to claim back and they have the 144,000, the 144,000 uh, strictly men who never married. Amen. They, they never married. Their life was completely sold out to God, completely pray all the time. Amen. And they're the, they to be the evangelist, the one. Amen. But this, I'm just going to because I'm getting ready to get some more stuff. But amen. So we understand what's going on. Amen. Amen. And remember, amen. The, the two olive trees represent 
Israel and Gentiles. In other words, it's out the Gentiles, it's almost time is over with. Amen. For God could put back to Israel, the Jews, to give them a chance. Before, well, how you feel the rapture in there? The rapture is in there. It's, the rapture have to happen. Amen. All this, this revelation we'll be reading in Genesis. You know that, don't you? Hello? Amen. It's, an, it's, it's interesting. So you, you got to get in the Word. You got to let the Holy Spirit direct you. Amen. In the Word. And I was teaching, I said, yeah, the olive trees. Who's the two olive trees? You know, it's the Gentiles and the Israel. Israel. The two witnesses of the Gentiles, Christians, and the Israel, the Jews. And then we know we're talking about Enoch and uh uh, this all is in this what we're talking about right now. All this coming out of this. This is awesome. I'm going to stop right there because see, I'll go somewhere else and see some else. Pastor Lewis, what? Pastor Lewis, mm -hmm. can I say something? Go ahead. It's very nice that I wake up four in the morning and I don't know what you're teaching about. And God take me to Isaiah 55 <laughs> in Isaiah 55 you tell me verse already. 8 and 9 yes it's very very nice when we I went there nothing and all the spirit is wow well he gave you he gave you what our, he already gave me we're talking about wow. we in the book of genesis we're talking about the history the, the see genesis the old testament what it does it proclaimed what god really the word of god what actually what he really wanted to happen in the world but you know it didn't happen that way because we have to understand that he didn't make us perfect he know that man felt when he said that his spirit would not always be with us it's right amen he, yeah my meaning i mean i sleeping no I don't yeah he woke you up to learn sleep. yes he yeah. he woke you up wow. to understand what's going on in genesis wow. amen to let you know here we talking about the end time as well in genesis what's going to happen the outcome and see, mm -hmm. Isaac messed up, but he tried to, you know how people, when they mess up, they try to what? You know what they try to do, right? Yeah, but it's not the, the human being way, it's the God's way. Yeah, but uh, listen to what I'm saying, pay attention. When people mess up, what they try to do? Mm, I cannot answer. Okay, anybody can answer, I know what it is. When people mess up, what do they try to do? Cover up. Cover up. Cover up. That's right. And that's what Isaac tried to do. He know he messed up. If he didn't mess up, we wouldn't have all this war going on, y'all. Hello. Amen. 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 It was already messed up when Abraham and Sarah decided to get uh, Hagar. Who Hagar was the uh, the Pharaoh Amalek. She was the prince. She was a prince, you know. She was a princess. But mm -hmm. the, yes, she was a princess. She was the uh, the king pharaoh prince uh, princess daughter. And she gave her as a gift. <laughs> Even though Abraham yeah. didn't lie, she was the princess. Amen. I think y'all some of y'all know that. Don't y'all know that already? Huh? Amen. Amen. Do, do y'all know that? Amen. She was his. She was the princess. Amen. Let's get on there because they're not gonna. Uh, it's getting so good. We'll be here until five o'clock more. Let's go. We can hurry up. Get her. Okay. This getting good. Let's go to the next thing. Okay. Okay. All right. However, it shall come to pass when you break loose from your anger and hatred that you will tear his yoke off your neck and you will be free of him. Now Verse look at. 41. No, wait a minute. Is this the father telling the son what to do? Amen. Now you know it's a shame. Do you not know the same thing happened in families now? That's why a lot of families got division and discord. Amen. Amen. The same thing. History repeats itself. Just like the competitive spirit started with uh, Abe and really started with Cain. The competition in, 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 in families in the ministry is going on like that now. Who got the best ministry? 
instead of helping one another, they're jealous of one another. Amen. 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 But yet God still love them and forgive them. <laughs> Thank Amen. God for mercy Amen. and grace. Amen. Amen. Go ahead on. Verse 41. So Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are very near. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. Oh my word. And that's what's going on in the Middle East. They're killing one another. Oh, go ahead on. Verse 42. When these words of her elder son Esau were repeated to Rebekah, she sent for Jacob, her younger son, and said to him, Listen carefully. Your brother Esau is comforting himself concerning you by planning to kill you. Verse 43. So now, my son, listen and do what I say. Go, escape to my brother Laban in Haran. Verse 44. Stay with him for a while until your brother's anger subsides. Verse 45, when your brother's anger towards you subsides and he forgets what you did to him, then I will sin and bring you back from there. Why should I be deprived of you both in a single day? <laughs> verse, verse 46, then Rebecca said to Isaac, I am tired of living because of the daughters of hell these insolent wives of Esau. If Jacob takes a wife from the daughters of Heth, like these daughters of the land, what good will my life be to me? Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that something? Look what, look what the parents caused. You see that? But yet God let it be accomplished. If he didn't, he wouldn't have the blessings. Isn't that right? Hmm? Yeah. Amen. Amen. It just Amen. blow your mind how God uh, let that happen, and yet God still spared him. Amen. And yet, look at his father <laughs> caused caused made it worse in him. Amen. 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 Because Esau still was his favorite, but to keep that that love between them, he made a war between him and the brother, ain't it? Amen. 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 <clears throat> and that's what's going on now. The same thing happened now. But God did not allow Jacob to come back. You know that. Because if Jacob came back, he would have killed him. Because God has plans. Amen. He has plans. He wants his plan to work out. Still. Even though things didn't work the way that they want to work and with God, but his plan still was worked out. Amen. Jacob was, Esau still was blessed. But Jacob was blessed more because the hand of God was on him more. Amen. I could go into some more revelation, but I'm close there. I want you to stop thinking, uh, allowing the Holy Spirit to reveal to you. And like he revealed to me, he's no respected person. When you get in the Word, allow the Holy Spirit to bring revelation because there is so much revelation. The same thing is happening now. That's why we got all this mess going on with the all, the, the all, and everything going on right now. What happened in the Old Testament is happening now. And that's what bringing all this division and separation and, and fight one another. Amen. The whole purpose of the war is to is to destroy who? Anybody know? Us, us. I'm trying to destroy us. Yeah, but who's the main one? Us they want to destroy. Israel. Once again, they claim what? They feel they were cheated out their inheritance. Isn't that right? Amen. Hello? Amen. That's what it's all about. That's what the world's all about. Look at what's going on. When you been read the book Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel was a watchman, but he was a prophet and a seer. When you begin to read the book of Isaiah, Isaiah was a prophet. These are major prophets. 
Amen. Even the, 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 the small books are the minor prophets. That's what they call them, minor prophets, because they're small books. But the big book, the only one book that has the more revelation of what's going on, basically really talk about Jesus, how everything, how the world going to be sobbed, and how everything going to be sobbed when it comes. It's the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. And it has 66 chapter. And how many books is in the Bible? 66. Amen. And those two books are, are very powerful. All of them are powerful. But you will see the understanding of the revelation of what's going on now. Amen. So I'm going to let y'all get the rest. I'm not going to give y'all no more. Get in yourself. So have you learned something tonight out of the book of Genesis? It's telling you what's going on now. Why we having a problem in the East and we're here. And the other country they want to destroy too is it has become... Uh, 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 Israel like the mother, and we are like the uh, subtitle to Israel like the children. Who's that other country? The United States. And they're, they're supposed to be supporting Israel, have their back. Amen. In America, we're supposed to be stronger. Sad we don't have the president to stand up to be stronger, but God's came to do something new and change that around because. Um, they want to destroy if they can if they can destroy America before they get Israel, that's what we want to do. Because God's not gonna let that happen. And why it's not gonna be destroyed is because of the proclamation that was made by George Washington with the uh United States of America oh, with, uh, give it to God. You know what I'm saying? Hello, amen. 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 And we just need Apostle Lewis. Yes. I have very strong prophecy to you. God's talking to let me see something about you. Okay, go ahead. I I suddenly hear God is open my eyes in the spirit dream and I see that God will take you up now like elevation elevation elevation, you know? Mm -hmm. Elevation up. And and I saw that that you will go more higher than you when you are right now. And and I see God will take you up, and I see the angel, it's falling down, a comb over, over every one that it's under you, and I see the glory of God, it's falling down, and I hear elevation, elevation, Praise elevation. God. Amen. I receive this it. This is what God said. I receive it, son, because I know God talked to you. I receive Oof. it. Oh, oh, God, I'm not sure. It's strong in the line. You know why it's strong? Oof. You know what is going really, on? I really, I really bless you, Apostle Lewis, yes. your parchment, and uh, and I don't like when people hear. They never say Apostle Lewis three parchment. I don't understand. They say oh, yes, 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 yes. They say Apostle. That's, then, good. That's good enough. Then, 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 then need to learn to say Apostle. They do because they when then do this, then will um, conf give confirmation and the, and and the anointing will flow stronger over us. Ah, respect the anointing. I know what you're talking about. You know what you're talking about, Prophet Tina and Natalie, right? And Miss Gail. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Amen. See, when they respect the anointing in me, like he respect the anointing. Amen. That's just confirmation that it will come on them. Amen. And see how because, walk... uh, when I hear, yes, man, yes, man, yo, 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 yes, man. Uh -huh. It's like a baby, like baby, baby. You are not baby. You, you, you are, you are a king. You, you are, you know, you understand what I mean, not I know king, what is the name? Uh, you are highest, 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 and you are, you are like... For that uh, be the glory. Mm -hmm. you, you will take over in all Israel in the in spirit dream, you know. You are, you are not king, what is the name? In a, the woman cannot be king, the woman can be... Queen. Yeah, queen. Happy. You are queen. Happy. In Israel. Yeah. That's what. And you're, yeah, you're I not love yes Israel. Man, yes, yes man. Yes, yes. man. Yes, apostle. Yes. Jesus Christ. I know what you're talking about because I was told that Israel is my country and Israel is my love, and that's so true. Amen. And that God's gonna take me more. See, I get in the word for God be the glory, a revelation, and that when people teach the word to me, they gotta make sure they in the, by the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit let me know what's going on. I'm not. The, I'm not Jesus. But he let me know what I need to know. Amen. Because I, I, that was an angel. Oh my gosh. 
Ooh. Sometimes I can feel I'm, 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 I have proud uh, proudness in my heart, yeah. so I cannot say apostate. But when when I'm right in the spirit, I yeah. say, yes, Apostle Lewis G. Postman. Did you hear the angel, mommy? That was an angel. When you was talking about that, I have experience with angels in the house. Yeah, that was because that was, it's a confirmation. The noise. Huh? The noise. Yeah, that was the angels. He was confirming, the angels was confirming what you're saying. They made that move. Yeah, they, I, I felt that uh, in the spirit. You know, I have experienced a lot of angels around me. I have seen the angels. Amen. And uh, uh, I, that was the angel. <laughs> I can see the angel. I can yeah, they're see around the angel. me. That's angels to protect yeah. me. It's just like when I went in the bathroom one day to tell somebody a word to... Uh, well, God said the angel came in the bathroom. The light was. You remember that time I told y'all that prophet? Uh, tell y'all that. You remember that prophet Tina and that Amen. Angel, it was on the line. Amen. Mother God, that I I told y'all first, and I think I told uh, 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 prophet uh, Patrick. You know, and I went in the bathroom. And the light was dead. And the, the bright light came in the bathroom. So bright. For God be the glory. <laughs> it, it blew oh, my man. mind. And he wanted. Well, I went, came out my bathroom. Went in the other bathroom. And he took that light. In that bathroom that was dull. And brightened up made alive. And told me. said, Confirm. But he told me. said, Now go and tell this, this young man this. Oh, man. That's me speaking. Confirm it. He said, God said, go tell this young man that. I said, okay, God. And I would do that. Amen. So when you say that, I heard the movement, not the TV. That was a, that was angel. I felt that present right there. He's, he was saying, it's like the angel was confirming what you were saying. You know, that's God. Amen. Apostle, I, 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 can, I, I know what I speak because yeah. when I'm not right in my spirit, when I have something proudness or something problem, something, so I, I, I say yes, yes, uh, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I'm in right in the spirit, I say yes, Apostle, Apostle Louis J. Poshman. And this Lord is because God. you honor the anointing, you honor God, what God has placed. Yes, on I love myself, God. And it's yes. not you that you have called yourself apostle. It's God that have called you apostle. Ah, apostate. tell him that again. I did not ask to be apostle. Say that again. Church, amen. Yeah. amen. God, God have not, you have not called yourself uh -uh. something named to be apostle, apostle or something. That's right. To take the anointing. God mm -hmm. is give you the anointing. God give you everything. What you have, it's God, it's give you he all, gets the, all the glory. That's so, right. So when we say, yes, Apostle, we we receive the anointing and we, and we bless Father God and we honor God because God has placed these things. It's not, oh, oh uh, Louis, it's the biggest things. Louis is uh, this, this. No, it's, it's, it's the Apostle Louis is the anointing in you. Man that God have placed Amen. and take you in these things because God had decided this. Amen. Amen. I, I believe we see that's that's right. Amen. So so I don't like when people say yes mama, y yes, yes, no, yes, 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 yes. No. Yes apostle in Jesus. God be the glory, yes. You're right. Amen. God be the glory. Amen. Yep. I just give him the glory. It's right. Amen. God be the glory. Amen. I see angel dancing right now when I tell this. Yes. Because it's true, you know. Mm hmm When you like Tina, Prophet Tina, she see the angels. She said I was, uh, uh, they can't see, but she was saying, uh, I was on, she said, Apostle, what did you say, Prophet Tina? The angels were all behind you and the wings were fluttering. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're there to protect me because my name is mocked by a lot of people. Amen. Amen. But they're not mocking me. They're mocking God. That's what God told me. He said, when they mock you, Lord, it's because you speak boldly the truth and you're not ashamed to speak the truth. You tell them that they're coming against me as well as they're coming against you. 
Amen. Not that I'm so special, better than anyone, but I made a decision to speak the truth. I'm not here to win no, uh, what you call it? <laughs> Popularity. Popularity. I, Mama, I tell you that. And from Tina and, and, and uh, Prophet um, Patrick tell you that. And uh, those around me and Prophet uh, Natalie and Miss Mother Gill and, and Darren and them too. Those that's around me under... I'm here to I'm here to do God's will. I'm not here to please people. I'm here to Amen. please God. Amen. I answer to God. I don't answer people. I don't worry about what people think about me. Amen. I'm here to please God. And so that's why God gave me revelation. Not that He loves me more than anybody. That's not true. It's just that I made up my mind to do what He says. I may step on people's toes. I don't I make no difference. I still gotta love you, no matter what. But I, I, I decide to submit myself to God. Amen. He's still working on me. And I decide to uh, do what he says. I'm that way behind the scene with my mama. I'm that way with my relatives. I had to run with my relatives. And I let them know you ain't God. You can get mad if you want to. I submit to God first. Amen. I love myself. God, mama tell you that. Tina tell you that. So I'm going to prove myself. And my son will tell you that. I don't like fake and phony. I like to be real. Amen. God Amen. is God is Praise the Lord. That's why God gives me revelation. It's not that He loves me more than love you, but I made my mind to uh, uh, to be real because we got too many fakes and phonies around. Amen. And, and I'm not I'm not nothing without God. And so He gives me revelation when I get in that word. Shush. It be good. Amen. Well, I hear, I hear, I hear Apostle Lewis Chipotman that God say the things is not 100% right, but you say that God don't love more me and other. It's not true. I hear Holy Spirit say, yes, I love you more and other because you listen what I do and you do and you and you're humble. So I love you more, much thing. Because you do the right things with God. Yeah. Because so much people say, yes, I trust God and I believe God. Oh, very, very nice that you do. But God believe you? God trust you? No. He not trust about. everyone. I know. He's not trying to say I'm better than anybody. He just said that God trusts me. I know. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. He, he trusts me because he know I'm going to tell people whether I'm a loose friend because I don't care. <laughs> Don't, don't care really i i don't i don't care about getting a whole lot of friends as long as that god cares about me loves me amen and those i do it says i do care about people but i don't please people i please god yeah and, but when you listen and do what god say he loves you very very I'm much glad he does love take me. much time you 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 read the word of god and I you, love you him. pray so for god people you do what yeah. god say glory to god not everyone do what god wants <laughs> I thank God that I do for, for be the glory. Amen. Keep myself humble. So I, I bless you, Apostle Louis G. Poshman. I love you. I love thank you, you too. Jesus, for your mama. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. God. Amen. I praise God for that. Amen. I am his servant and uh, his apostle in this time of the last day when he's using me. At 70 years old, he said, my latter days can be greater than my former days. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And so Amen. I believe in it. And I believe in praying for people. Don't talk about them. I may don't like what people does. For, I believe what God said in his word. Amen. We pray for the people. We don't wish bad on nobody. Like a lot of people wish bad on me. I don't wish that way. Amen. And so more Amen. They, they wish bad on me. God just blessed me more of his revelation. Amen. Amen. And so, God be the glory again. Amen. He He, he has me keen in the spirit. Amen. He don't tell me everything. He tell me what I need to know. And, Amen. and that's what he does. Amen. But I love myself, the Lord. And he's still working on me. And, it's, you know, I just love him. Amen. 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 And, you know, the best friend you can have is, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Spirit. Holy and he Spirit. sent us the Holy Spirit. I would say my best friend. Amen. Make me your best friend. I'm going to talk about it uh, on Sunday, the next five weeks. And God got me talking about it because he said too many people vest the Spirit. Amen. 
and thank God for my assistant, Prophet Tina, and uh, Prophet Natalie, and Mother Gail, her mother, and thank God for uh, uh, Prophet uh, Patrick, amen, that we know that the Holy Spirit is important, and I, I hope that the Holy Spirit is important to you. You want a better relationship? Oh. Let the Holy Spirit build it. Please do not vex the Spirit. Amen. Amen. And these women, men of God, they love Jesus and they love the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. They have a relationship. Amen. It's, a, it's very important. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of times we be up, they, they're doing the same thing. You know, it's as a leader in the Lord, and the Holy Spirit is the head. I love what's on me, rub on them. And so we 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 team. We we on one accord. Amen. And sometimes we disagree, we don't get mad with each other, we make up. Just like Patrick. I've been known for long now, Prophet Patrick. I still love him. That's how it's supposed to be. Amen. 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 And I give God the glory. Daryl, Amen, is under the ministry. Same way. Amen. And uh so I believe what the word of God say. I believe being real, not a, a backstab, a two-faced it. I believe what I got to say. Some people can't take it. Amen. Uh, uh, say in their face. Amen. And you know, uh, the, on the mean there, uh, Prophet Tina and Prophet Natalie and Ms. Gail and uh, Prophet uh, Patrick, they'll, they'll tell me what I don't like and I tell them what I don't like. But we still love each other because you know that we... Amen. I'm looking out for them, and they're looking out for me as well. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that's how it's supposed to be. Amen. That's how Jesus is supposed to be. But everybody's not like that. Amen. So I've been misunderstood by people. Uh, they think of me as something else, but I don't care what they think about me. All I care is what Jesus thinks, because that's who I got to answer to. You know? And so... You got to take your, your what God's giving you. You take take it serious. You can't take it lightly. Your relationship with God through Jesus Christ is very important. Amen. You not here to gain uh, grounds with everybody be your friends because everybody ain't gonna be your friends. But you are here to stay focused and keep that relationship with Jesus. Amen. And you get that with Jesus by the Holy Spirit, God, the same thing, and God will do for you. He's no respected person. Amen. Apostle Lewis, I, 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 I can hear God say that uh, now, when you tell, uh, this elevation will come now, you will start in one other room. It's the warning room. The warning room because you will have so much dreams before and that you have because you are the dreamer an interpretation impression that you understand the dreams and everything but this warning that you will see it will be like that you are in this things it's happened it will be so seriously the warning that you will see so so you will wow jesus I he's talking about warning the people right yes yeah and he told me that be, last you night you will go so deep yes. in the warning yes and 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 uh, I was talking you will see morning. people die when you walk yes. in because of oh, yes. Jesus. He told me that. He told me that. I think I was telling I you that today. Yes. See yes. I receive it. I think I was telling you that earlier. Didn't I tell you that, uh, Prophet Tina? No. Me? No, I don't. Think no. Yes. Okay. I told that to Tina. Did I tell you, Prophet Tina? Yes, ma'am. I told you God yes, spoke Pastor, to me. Yes, Pastor, you did. Yes, you did. And I yes, think I did. told the Prophet that I said, God told me, Lois, I'm going to make you bolder. I said, what? I'm not bold enough, God. He said, I'm going to make you bolder because you're going to speak it whether they receive you or not. Yes. And then I'm going to have you to warn the people, blow the trumpet and sound the alarm. Amen. If they don't listen, it's going to be on them. That's what he yes. told Amen. me. Amen. He said, the reason I'm going to use it because you, you don't care whether they receive it or not, believe it. All you care is what I think. <laughs> That's what he told me. And I told you early, remember I told you early, and uh, he says to tell the people, be careful what they say with the words. Words can kill you. Words can and harm you. And a lot of people speaking words that they're just speaking out. That's what God told me. Amen. And uh, be careful. Tell them be careful what they say. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. Amen. Yeah, uh -huh. 
Yeah, that's that's confirmation. He told me that uh, he gave me Matthew 24 that talks about what's going to happen. Then he gave me Romans the uh, 13th chapter, verse 11, what is going to happen. Mm -hmm. Can you read that for me, Tina? Uh, Romans the 13th chapter, verse 11. Uh, um, you just bring in confirmation what he told me. You see, it's not that uh, he loves me more. It's that I made a decision to give up everything for him. Is it mm -hmm. easy? No. Amen. Yes, ma'am, I have it. Read it. Romans 13, chapter, verse 11. Uh-huh, you gave me that. Amplified oh. Bible. Right. Amen. Do this Ooh. knowing that this is a critical time. Mm -hmm. It is already the hour for you to awaken from your sleep of spiritual complacency mm. for our salvation is nearer to us now than when we first believed in Christ. Amen. Oh, he told to wake up the people because they're going to sleep. He said they're yeah. sleeping. The house of God is sleeping. The spirit mm. of mammon is taking over the house of God. Yeah. And he said it has become a nightclub. Amen. Amen. Celebrity yeah. stars going down the red carpet who am I? I'm apostle this year. I'm prophet this year. I'm all this year. And God said he's not pleased. They have Amen. they have leaving their first love. Because yeah. everybody's trying to impress who they are. Amen. And I'm not getting no glory and no credit for it. That's what God told me. I was just reading that. He, he told me that. Amen. The, the, Amen. The in, in the Revelation chapter 2. Uh-huh. Amen. You're absolutely right, son. Amen. And, you know, it talks about, Matthew 24 talks about the time. The signs of Christ's return. He said, warn the people. Tell them I'm coming. They they, they sit back, playing church, laid back, and trying to build their own repetition. They have allowed the wicked altar to come in their home house. The church has allowed it to come in. It's no longer the altar of me. It's the altar of the wickedness. Amen. And I said, oh God. He said, yes. Amen. People taking it granted, but Jesus is coming back. So what you need to do is make sure your life is lined up. That's how she loves you. Don't let the Amen. devil steal what God has. It's a price to pay, but it's worth it. People worry about the reward here on earth. You better be concerned about the reward in heaven. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And don't worry about your name is signed to this petition, signed to that place. I'm thankful that my name is in the Lamb Book of Life. Amen. Yeah. And that's what God is saying. People need to yeah. be thankful that their name is written in the Lamb of Life. They have got away from the things of God. They don't want to hear the truth. They get mad. They talk about. Amen. And uh, he just confirmed. Uh, what Prophet Natalie told me and Prophet Tina said, there's a lot of people talking. Amen. And they're talking about me, which I don't bother me because I keep on going. Amen. Amen. He said, they keep Amen. on talking, they're going to be choked off what they're talking about. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And uh, I'm not talking about nobody. I just talk about what God sees, what they know to pray for. So, uh, mm -hmm. it's a, you know, just keep your mouth up and get close to Jesus. Get around Amen. people gospel. Get around the tail bearers. Give around those people only think about this self. And see, a lot of time, uh, I was, uh, was I got on Prophet uh, Apostle Malcolm Page, and I was telling them and said that uh, he's married, and he need to get off and be his wife. And I said, God, I just bold to tell you, I'm gonna tell the truth. If you see people not there no more, because God moved them out. A lot of time, let those people go because God moved them out because they're a hindrance to what you're gonna be. Amen. Amen. A lot of people ain't going to go where you're going. They're not going to do what you're doing. So it's the Holy Spirit. If he separate Barnabas and Paul, he's going to start separating people from around you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because if they fail you, they're going to stand, uh, they're going to be around you and stick with you. Amen. Stop making people season and temporary permanently. That's what God is saying. Because everybody ain't going to be with you. Amen. You want the people that going to tell you the truth it's not going to walk away and stab you in the back. Amen. People don't want, they don't want, they don't want no kind of friends. They want people that's going to uh, 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 tell them what they want to hear. Amen. I'd rather have somebody going to tell me the truth that's going to help me.
Because the truth sets you free, not lies, not no snakes. But we got too many snakes out there and backstabbers. And what happened, we in the book of Genesis because it's telling you how it started with um, uh, Cain and A. That spirit of jealousy is still going. Everybody trying to do it. Come to me. I got more people than you have. God is not going to base his your reward on how many people follow you. The quantity is the quality of the Holy Ghost. Are you expecting the Holy Spirit that lives in you? He told me to tell me. That's why he said, talk about the Holy Spirit for five weeks on Sunday. Because they have vexed the Spirit. They have grieved the Spirit. And they said, the Spirit said that, and the Spirit didn't say anything. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's why if I say something, if I'm wrong, I ask the Holy Spirit, uh, let me know. Because I don't take it lightly. I take it serious. Amen. No, man. Because you, you can follow. Yes, I can follow too quick. That's why I want the Holy Spirit to direct my life. Amen. And make sure I don't mess up nobody. Amen. Amen. It's important that we don't mess everybody, mess up people. The golden rule is is one of my favorite, my all in favor. Whatever you, uh, 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 Matthew the seventh chapter, verse 12. Whatever you make happen for someone else, God will make happen for you. This fulfill the law of the prophet. We fulfill that the law will God want. We must help one another. Amen. Hallelujah. Look out Amen. for each other. Amen. And the body of Christ is not doing that. They got their cliques. They got the groups they want. If you ain't got a pot to pee in and willing to throw out, they don't want you around them. Amen. Instead of they praying for you to get there, they praying against you. So Amen. God's going to cover the sheep from the goats and the wheat from the tares. Because the judgment begins in the house of God. Amen. 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 And it's important that you live what you're talking about. I'm not ashamed where I live. I live in an apartment. And I'm supposed to be in a house. But I'm waiting on my husband. Amen. And Amen. I can't Amen. move until my husband come. And I can't. I got more peace than people got a five-bedroom mansion. Amen. Amen. And I got more of the Holy Ghost in my house than they have it. Amen. The presence Amen. of the Lord. So I don't care what people think about me. I ain't got to hide. I drive uh, a Chrysler uh, uh, Pacific, and it's beautiful. It was paid off. And uh, me and my mother, it's good for her. Amen. And I'm going to get what else God has for me. But, you know, I'm, I don't have nothing to hide. Amen. So if you if you live a secret life, you never God can never use you. You got to be real exactly. with God. Mm. You can't mess around. My son knows no. that. You know, many times we didn't agree with stuff, but I didn't turn my back on him. <laughs> and still didn't tell the truth because we love each other. You, you, you. If you love somebody, you got to tell the truth. You got to tell them to help them. Don't lie to people. Amen. Tell them the truth. Amen. 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 So when I ask for money, I don't have to hide what I do with money come in this ministry we give out back more amen so people amen. say hey, ask money i got nothing to hide with the money if i was hiding from money then god wouldn't bless me he wouldn't use me like this amen. and amen. most people uh, are, are using money and uh, I, uh recently by a, a ministry that uh, a leader that sold the church and took everything the church was paid off and this is what's going in the church. Money changing is going in the church. The, the spirit of mammon is hitting the church like crazy. Amen. Amen. And, the, and the prophets are prostituting the anointing. Amen. And the true men and women of God, they don't want to give to them. They want to give to others. They feel they give to some, But uh, God's still going to take care of me. Amen. So I'm, Amen. Getting, I'm getting ready to ask for an offering. That's what God told me. By the anointing like this grown. Praise God for my son. So we ask you, can you plant a seed for a hundred dollars? Amen. If you want to know where it's going, we don't have nothing to hide. Amen. Amen. I never forget. Uh, we had a member in the uh, disciple in the ministry. She gave a lot, and uh, she said she gave more than that. And uh, I wasn't gonna lie for her. Amen. Because she was trying to get money for herself on a tax. So I told the truth. And, Amen. And God honored that. And God's given to deal with these leaders. They've been lying and taking money, using it for their own, prostituting the anointing, giving a word, uh, and then 
give uh, want money for it. Amen. And people like uh, my spiritual son, they using it right way. Amen. Because they, uh, mm -hmm. they, the leader in the Lord, for God be the glory, uh, I'm using it the right way. Now, he wouldn't be giving all this revelation if I didn't. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We don't have nothing to hide. Amen. So when we ask for the seed, we mean it. I mean, Prophet Tina could tell you and Prophet Natalie, I'm going to give them the seed. Go ahead and talk, y'all. Amen. And Prophet, I mean, Dara going to be a prophet, too. He'll tell you. I met him at the uh, at the hotel. <laughs> He'll tell you. Go ahead, you three, y'all testify. Pro uh, uh, prophet, uh, Patrick just put icing on it. Go ahead and tell it, Prophet Tina. Amen. Um, I can truly say that uh, all funds and all monies are accounted for. Um, she takes care of the ministry first, of course, and then she gives out to other ministries. Amen. We help the mm -hmm. homeless. We help the elderly feed people. Um, we help with clothing. We help with a lot of different things. People who have a need, she have met that need through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I've been a witness over the years of many, 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 many people that have needed help, assistance, or whatever. And Apostle never said no. She always extended her hand. Amen. Through mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. And so not only do she plant, you all may plant the seed, but she plants that seed back. Amen. Into other ministries. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I give God praise for that, and that is why the ministry is blessed, and that is why the covering over the ministry is blessed. Amen. 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 She's right, and that's how I walk in this anointing like this, of accuracy and prophetic and revelation. Amen. It's how you live. Anybody can say one thing, but how you live behind the scene makes a difference. When nobody Amen. see you, are you really living what you say behind the scene? Amen. Amen. Bless Amen. I, can I say one more thing, Apostle? Yes. Yes, ma'am. My sons, um, who are, I'm claiming their salvation, but they're not saved. But all of them know that Apostle lived what she say she lived, and they constantly say it. They know that she walk in the anointing, that she proclaims the walk in, and she lives the life that she's supposed to live in God, through God, with his That's help. God. Amen. 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 Yeah, and I, I can say that by, by my sister. Uh, Prophet Tina and Prophet Natalie and uh, Daryl and uh, Mother Gail and, and Prophet Patrick as well. Amen. You know, we may fall, but they, they, they don't they don't lie what they're doing. Be behind it. They don't hide what they're doing. Amen. Amen. So I thank God for them being with me a long time. You understand? They live what they talk about too. Amen. Amen. By, by the grace of God. Yeah, by the grace of God. That's how we live. <laughs> That's how we get by. I tell you, we, we couldn't make it. We've been lost our mind a long time ago. Ain't that right, y'all? Amen. <laughs> Amen. And, and who knows more than the behind the scene? It's my mama. And she's straight up. Ain't that right? <laughs> Amen. So, uh, these women of God, Prophets Tina and Prophets Natalie, they live what they talk about too. Amen. Praise the Lord. So it, with his help. Amen. Amen. And so Amen. you want to talk about them, you talk all you want, but they are truly women of God. Amen. Amen. They're truly women of God. And uh, I, I have to say this because this been things been said shouldn't have been said. Amen. And uh, Mother Gail, their mother been with long time, and she's a prayer warrior. She lives it too. Daryl, uh, 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 son, brother Daryl and his wife, they just got started and they're living it, what they're talking about, too. Amen. Amen. So we can't just play Amen. church. We have to do what God says to do. Amen. It's right important. Amen. Anybody could talk about it. Are we really living in what we're talking about? Amen. Hallelujah. It's important. We're not trying to prove ourselves, but to be an example. Amen. That I'm not going to beg for no money. But, you know, we ask you to plant a seed. So if I've been a blessing to you from God, I don't have to force you to plant a seed. You will want to plant a seed. Amen. Amen. And this is a blessed ministry, and God's hand is on it, and the favor of God is on here. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to give you time to plant your seed. Uh, uh, Prophet Daddy, you want to say something too, and Mother Gail? Amen. 
definitely bless the ministry. And I love the fact that um, an apostle is blessing someone. I mean, she's doing something uh, she's not recorded for the world to see. Like she's need, not needing any accolades from anyone else for what she's doing because what she's doing in secret is going to be rewarded openly. Amen. 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 Yeah, you know that God was telling me that the man of God told me that he says you're going to be rewarded for what you do secretly because you don't really broadcast when you go out there we do this and also my daughters do that too. They feed the hungry. They got a ministry on uh, uh, besides under this ministry they do it too so uh, all of us do something they all do something amen amen and i believe in being real and they real too amen they are anointed too hallelujah and so they're doing something as well amen look at daryl and his wife they just got started they they hungry for the holy spirit more amen 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 kanaja amen, amen. And they help. They they are blessing as well. So we want to be the example to the world because so many people are living a lie. Amen. So what you do for God, you don't have to broadcast it. You ain't got to go out and have these the pictures. When we go over to Africa, we go over there and feed them. We go over there. We may not go over there, but we send the money to feed them. Amen. Amen. We may not go to Israel, but we send the money in Israel. We have Israel a whole lot for God be the glory. So it's Amen. not. To show what, what you're doing. Because what you're doing, God, he's going to show you what you're doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Also, can I, can I uh, add the testimony, please? Go ahead, I'm precious. He's part of the ministry, too. He's in the ministry. Tell him where I met you at. <laughs> I was uh, two years ago, I believe. Yeah, he worked at the hotel, and uh, it's minister, and he came part of the ministry. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, son. So, earlier this year... Um, me and my wife was struggling for a little bit and we didn't have gas to mm -hmm. get to the service. Right. And, you know, it's funny how God, how God works because Apostle came in that same morning and that's what we told her and she, without any hesitation, she said, okay, I'll, be, I'll take care of your gas. And then afterwards, she gracefully uh, blessed us with another um, money again. That's for extra. So we were grateful for that. Not like not every congregation care for a person, you know. I mean, I'm not bashing other congregations, but you go to a church, they don't even know you. They're there, see by their numbers. They don't care about your soul, you know. But to be part of this ministry is a blessing. And sometimes we overlook and we um we underestimate we underestimate stuff, but I see the true value of it. And you know, I'm really grateful. <laughs> so God bless your boss. God bless you, son. Amen. Kanaja want, want to say something. Go ahead on. His wife. Go ahead, Kanaja. Hello, Apostle. Hi, Precious. I, I'm just grateful to be under the ministry and grateful that Daryl has met, met you and Miss Tina um, and has brought me under the ministry. And mm -hmm. I've learned so much and just so blessed. I see. He's telling me you're getting stronger. <laughs> you still know? Yes. Isn't that something? Amen. Yes, that's God. awesome. Amen. God bless you. You're so Amen. precious. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We just thank God for that. Praise God. Amen. We're not trying to prove ourselves who we are. You don't have to prove. My, I didn't know my son was going to be on here tonight. But he, he, he came on the right time to let you know. Amen. And this brought confirmation that what God was telling all of us, telling Prophet Tina and Prophet Amen. Nell, what's going on. He just brought the confirmation. Amen. 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 He just brought the confirmation. All glory to God. Yeah, we give him the glory. He always going to get the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you plant a seed in this ministry, God will bless you. Amen. Because this ministry belongs to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I always said this ministry, this ministry is the Lord Jesus Christ. Even though say, he gave me the ministry, but it's really his ministry. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Miss Gail, you want to say something, Mother Gail? Yes, Apostle. Mm -hmm. I'm being blessed by being under this ministry. You've been a blessing to me. 
and my family. And uh, it's a wonderful ministry. And I have something to say about uh, one time I was praying to God and I asked him for a certain amount of money that I needed. Now, I didn't talk to anybody and I went to church that day and apostle just said, here, Mother Gail, I'm gonna give you this. It was the exact amount that I'd asked God for. I know that she's a true woman of God. It doesn't have anything to do with money. I've seen it many, many, many times in her actions and the things that she's done. And I thank her for that and I bless the whole ministry because we are blessed. Amen. Show no feels. Amen. 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 We just give God the glory. The favor of God is on us. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. You got favor with the hotel. Where you get uh, uh, the the owner, not the uh, 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 the manager, but the owner coming in, and we witness, I witness, and then uh, Prophet Tina and Mother Gail and Mom witness to him too. He's in there. That used to be Daryl, uh, uh, brother Daryl, Minister Daryl, uh, uh, super uh, boss. Amen. And he in there telling us everything. Amen. And so, Amen. And yes, ma'am. He called me. Yes, ma'am. He said, I thought you was 45 years old. I said, no, I'm, I'm 70. He said, wow. And I told him, that's Jesus. Amen. So we have got favor with him. He come in there and say, everything okay? Yes. He said, yes, ma'am, I'll do it. Now, you know, they don't say no yes, ma'am, to you. Isn't that right? <laughs> Amen. 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 So we just thank God for that. Amen. How you live for God, if you live an honest life and be real with God, he will give you favor. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mommy, you want to say something? <laughs> she want to say that she don't, I'm her daughter, she don't real. Amen. So we thank God for that. And I, I guess, can say I love you, my daughter. I love you too, Mommy. Amen. And I, Amen. Love, Amen. I love all my members too. Amen. She does. Amen. Amen. They love her too. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we thank God for all of you. And we do it not to be seen, but to do it for the glory of God because He wants you to learn. God wants the best. And we pray for everybody. We even pray for those that don't love us. <laughs> in the right. Amen. 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 We sure Amen. do. I hear the people talking about me. I pray for them. I don't pray they kill them, God. <laughs> we don't pray that kind of prayer. We pray that God, we understand people mess up, say like we did. And we pray for the best for people. Amen. Amen. We don't pray no wickedness. That's not God. The Bible say in Romans, uh, oh, no man, nothing but love. Amen. And that's what we do. We pray because everybody is have fall short, and we pray for them that God would have mercy on them. Amen. That's how it's supposed to be. But everybody's not like that. Amen. So we brag it on the Jesus in this ministry. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. Praise God, everybody. <coughs> Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We really appreciate you. So never think that apostle going behind your back and talk about you. I don't believe in that. I believe in what I got to tell you, I tell you in front. Many people got mad with me, but that's okay. I still got to pray for them and love them. Amen. Amen. And God be the glory. All right. Now, we are running a little late because I don't want to be on long. And so we want to do communion real quick. Amen. So I want you to get your... Um, all those that planted seed, do your best, plant your best. Amen. I hear the Lord says, those that plant seeds, if you don't have a hundred, plant the closest to it. You know, if you only got a dollar, plant that dollar. Now, you see, I'm not for your money. You see that, don't you? Hello. Amen. 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 Not them begging, because I know some people don't have it. So, be part. I always say that. God, I to say that. Be part of the... Get that seed in the ground. Then God would uh, uh, water and, and increase it. Amen. And he can work with it. Amen. And then you can add more on it later. I think for uh, some of the people that, that ask for it, they plant on it until they pay it off. That's what you do. Amen. So be part of what God's going to do. He's going to do some great things and turn lives around in your family. And it's going to release, God's going to release a big financial blessing to people. For they can get out of debt. Amen. And God also told me he wants to store property. There's a lot of you got property. Amen. 
from families you don't even know. And God's getting ready to open the door for you to get that. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Some of y'all got money left over from family members you don't even know. Mm -hmm. I was talking to them. He says he's going to restore that. Amen. You'll see that. He's getting ready to get you out your debt. He's giving to make it debt free. Church, amen. I receive that. Amen. Amen. I believe it and receive it in Jesus' name. Yeah, let's get ready to get the people out of debt. You know, take that that burden off your shoulder that you will have more than enough. Amen. Hallelujah. So we just praise God that He's gonna get you out of debt. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So everybody have their cup, their water. We're gonna take the uh the communion. Amen. Hallelujah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Uh, pray for that uh, communion, uh, Prophet Tina. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Father God. We come before you humbly, Lord God. We ask that all hearts are clear, Father God. Oh, yes. We ask, Father God, that we're taking this in remembrance of you, Father God, for what you've done for us, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you that you paid the price, the everlasting price, Father God, for our salvation, for our sins, Father God, in the name Amen. of Jesus. And we thank you that your body was broken so that we may be healed and restored, Father God, Amen. in the name of Jesus. His blood was shed that we might be forgiven, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So forgive us for all unrighteousness, Father God. God, in the name of Jesus, fill us with your spirit so that we may be pleasing unto you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we ask all this in your son's precious name. Amen. 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 So that all those that want to take the communion, just hold your hand up and we'll bring it up. All you need is bread and water. Because remember, he turned the water into wine. That's what God told me to say. They got water, Lord, it's fine. You got bread, it's fine. Amen. You got crackers, it's fine. So we don't realize that when you take communion, you're giving thanks to God and thank Him for what Jesus did for us. Not only that, the communion also brings in prosperity, blessings. We don't realize it brings healing. You heard a people testimony, and I tell Tina, keep saying the testimony over and over again. And I know others have testimony when they took communion that her, her son was in Canada, and God released him the, uh, the very next day. Amen. Remember that? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. Amen. Apostle, um, we were taking communion on a Thursday, a Friday night, and Apostle said, um, uh, Prophetess Tina, I see your son walking across the border from Canada. He's going to be released from prison. And the very next day, he was walking across that Canadian border and was released from prison. I gave all thanks and glory unto God. Amen. But Apostle saw it, and it was because we took communion. I believed it and received it immediately and did not question. Amen. Amen. And the very next day, he walked across that border. Sure Amen. And that's been over 10 years. Amen. Mm -hmm. Canada, the play. Amen. So we just praise God for the victory. Amen. Hallelujah. Do we have everybody up who's going to take communion? Amen. Blessings always come out of this communion. Breakthroughs come out of the communion as well. Amen. Did everybody lift up their hand and take communion? Amen. Let's give God the glory. Amen. We just praise Him for the victory. Amen. Wasn't that powerful, the word tonight, everybody? Amen. 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 And I thank God for the readers. Amen. And God's going to bless Amen. you. Amen. You know, God bless more on the little things than the big things. Amen. And you may not think, just reading, when God asked me to ask someone to read a word, do you not know God will bless you on that? We focus on the big things. But the little things is being obedient and read his word. He will bless you as well. Amen. Hallelujah. God. So, uh, uh, Prophet Teresa, how that young lady doing that was on the other night? Amen. She's doing okay. Yeah, she said she was feeling much better the next day, and she felt like she was ready to walk in what God's called her to do. Praise God. 
Amen. Glory to God. He blew my mind when he called Hannah. I just told you to call her. <laughs> and then he touched our uh, uh, prophet and Natalie both sang down her. That was awesome, wasn't it? Ain't God good. Amen. Amen. You always blew my mind. We're going to take this, and then after that, we're going to take uh, the dreams and vision. And if God give me a prophetic word, I'll give you a prophetic word, if you give me. Yes. Apostle Lewis, Chief Oshman. Yes, sir. Yes. I, I have something to, to Tina. Okay. I, I, can I prophesy for you, Tina? Uh, yes. Uh, I, 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 see, I see suddenly God is open my eyes and see that God will give you the new mantle, a new authority, a new freshness over your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Wow, that's good. Beautiful. Amen. I receive it and believe it in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. All right. Uh, uh, you want to minister to someone else before we take communion, but I want to take communion, then we minister. All right? Okay. Let's take the bread. Represent the body of Christ. Think about what he did for you, and you will always give him the glory and thanks instead of complaining. Amen. So as we take this bread, let's think about what he took. 39 lashes. Nobody can never take no 39 lashes but Jesus. Amen. And nobody can ever pay the price like Jesus. Amen. Amen. So as we give thanks to him, what he did, we know that God's going to move for us in places, in areas that we never thought. So let's give God the glory and thank Jesus for what he did with his body. Amen. Take that. And let's take the, the wine. Represent the blood covenant. And without the shedding of blood, there's no redemption of sin. Thank God for the blood. If the devil knew what, when he went on the cross what was going to happen, he would have stopped him. See, that's another thing. That was God's plan. Amen. So we are grateful for what Jesus did. So let's drink the blood of water and thank him for... Uh, what he did for us in Jesus' name. Amen. I hear God say, somebody's life is parallel. You know what I'm talking about, parallel? P-A-R-A-E-L-L. -L. Did I spell it right? Yes, ma'am. Parallel, apostle. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. Awesome. And God's getting ready to put it in order. The enemy has been fighting you now, uh, left and right. And God say, what the devil meant to do against you, it will not work. Amen. Amen. You know who you are? You just say parallel. You know, the enemy trying to make it worse. But God's breaking that. That, that money force of witchcraft came against you to destroy you and kill you. And God's reversing the curse where they sin against you. And your life is going to start being better than it was. It was meant to kill and in your body to have a heart attack or whatever. And God said, it's uprooted right now. From this day on, you will start feeling much better, said the Lord. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Who am I talking to? It's a female. Who am I talking to? Well, possibly it could be me. Amen. It could be me, Apostle. Could be me, could be me, could be me, me, me. <laughs> it's parallel. I mean, but God is turning around. You know, do y'all know what I'm saying? Your life is like a parallel. Yes, ma'am. What I'm talking Amen. about. What I'm talking about. Apostle, you mean that uh, it, it's it's sideways, parallel or sideways, and so you don't really know which way it's going. Mm -hmm. But God is making sure that you go. But God be... is making it straight. Yes, yes ma'am. And it was witchcraft to kill you and to destroy, to stop the plans of God. But God said, it will not be stopped, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I receive it and believe it in Jesus' name. Yes. So he's, he's um, when the enemy tried to suck everything away from you, God said he's going to bless you right in front of those same ones that try to come against you. Amen. To destroy the plans Amen. of God. Amen. And the Amen. word of God say in First Corinthians two nine, He said, "Eyes are not seen, even ears not heard, what well, God has prepared for you." Amen. Because He loves you. Amen. If that Amen. To anybody else, you can receive that for yourself. Amen. 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 And, Amen. Uh, prophet uh, 
Patrick. God said he's getting ready to raise you yes, up. Sir. He's getting ready to raise you up. Those people that laugh at you and talk about you and try mm -hmm. to put you down and jealous of the anointing. He's going to mm -hmm. raise you up right in front of them. Say the Lord. Amen. And you're going to be able to flow even greater and see even more, said the Lord. Amen. Amen. And, this, and uh, you're going to be on the front line along with your wife to be coming. And the, uh, the fear that trying to attack you it won't be able to attack you because God's going to make you much stronger. Amen. And Amen. you'll stand up against the wilds when the enemy try to come and tear you down. The power of God is going to come on you strong and stop the hands of the devil what he's trying to do. So what God said, his plans will not work. Amen. And God said, no weapon formed against you shall prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. I receive it in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you, Yeshua. I Thank you. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Every tongue that has risen against you, I see a lot of tongues Amen. against you. I see a lot Amen. of jealousy. Men jealous of you. So God said, he's going to make that discerning strong that you don't receive because they're jealous what you what God got in you. But they're not going where you're going. They're not going to do what you're doing. Oh, and so God said they would not be able to hinder your gift, but they would not hinder your life. So it's uprooted. So that person that trying to send something against you, attacking your body, you know, uh, uh, get these headaches, uh, uh, cause pain in your body, you know, once you lose your mind, it's going back on them, said the Lord. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. So you're going to walk in faith more and you're going to walk in authority more, said the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. I receive. Praise God. So what I'm getting ready to do is release a financial breakthrough for everybody on here. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to release a financial miracle. So a lot of you need bills paid off. You need uh, debt and you need whatever you need, transportation, whatever you need. And God's going to give you a financial breakthrough. Amen. He told me to release that on everybody that's on, that stayed on, those left. They miss it. So I'm releasing a financial breakthrough to everybody on here. That's what he told me. Amen. 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 Believe it and receive it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I received that for myself. I hope you all received it. That's God talking. Amen. Amen. So uh, even I, I hear God homes going to get homes. People that looking for a house going to get a house. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Transportation. Amen. Hallelujah. Going to give you new transportation. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Believe it and receive it. Amen. Hey, I believe it receive it myself. Y'all ain't got to believe it. I told y'all when God say something. Amen. And uh, all those things was held back. Somebody had five years, 13 years ago. Somebody had 30 years and 25 years and seven years and eight. God's releasing that to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I receive it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So the spirit of poverty, I have to speak this for God gave me the book, amen, to speak on your life. He's going to activate the blessings on your life. Say, God's giving me to activate the blessings on my life, in Jesus' name. God's giving me to activate the blessings on my life, in Jesus' name. And God's going to break the spirit of just enough to get by, brokenness, uh, poverty, amen, and he's breaking that off of y'all, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And he's going to uh, build the count up because he's taking it off because he want to make sure that you're able to get back into the kingdom. Not just me. Pay your tithes. And, uh, amen. So God is doing a financial breakthrough and money is coming from the east and west and north. So all that money that was tied up, some of you have been tied up of uh, uh, pension plans and some have been tied up from family and some entitled of uh, wills that y'all got your name on. And God's releasing that. And tie, money tied up on your jobs. Amen. Hello, everybody. Amen. And God's Amen. releasing Amen. that money Amen. on your job. Hallelujah. And God's releasing that. Amen. People got off too early. See? He told me to do that. <laughs> and God's going to take y'all into the land for with milk and honey. Amen. Hallelujah. I receive that for myself. Amen. Amen. In Jesus name. Yes. Debt no more on your life. No, the spirit of local bar is broken. Every curse, every spell, every hence that was spoken against all of you is uprooted right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. You will not Amen. live up under your knees no more, said the Lord. From this day on, you believe it. Amen. God's getting ready to bring things in order for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And God is doing that because Amen. He's giving His people a chance to be restored. And, and as He restores you, don't forget to give your tithes to what ministry you're under and pay your uh, uh, offering to as well. And so He's breaking that yoke. He says, He's, he's breaking that yoke. Of, uh, just enough to get by. Amen. And those that have business, it's getting ready to flourish like number four. And those that are on the job, you get ready to get promotion. Amen. Hallelujah. And those that have ministries, amen. God's getting ready to bring the, the money in that you need for the ministry, go the vision and dreams that has God given you. So all the things negative, all the evil, this what God said, all the evil witchcraft, uh, um, What they call altar that's been spoken over against y'all is uprooted through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Every evil Amen. altar that's been spoken against all of you is uprooted right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let me say this again. Every evil altar that was spoken against any one of you is broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Your Amen. children, Amen. your children will be blessed. Amen. Your children, children be blessed. Your seed of seed will be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy will not be able to destroy your kids or touch them in Jesus' name. The Holy Amen. Spirit will have them protected as well. In the name of Jesus Christ, from baby on up, in the name of Jesus Christ. And God will release angels around y'all to protect y'all. In the I see the angels waiting. They're waiting. They've been released to y'all. Amen. Now they're released to your family as well, your children as well. And those that are married, your marriage is going to be the best ever. Amen. Hallelujah. We give God the glory. And those that are waiting on marriage, you get ready to get the best husband and the best wife. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And those that are looking for a place to stay, he's going to give you a better home than you ever had before. House. Hallelujah. I see big houses. Four, three and a half baths. I see five bedrooms. Amen. Hallelujah. There's some, there's one three bedroom, but that's up to you. But God's going to release. I see mansions. Amen. Those things that was hold down will not be able to hold down no more in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I speak Amen. the blessing on everybody's life. Amen. Some of you own several lands. Amen. Homeowners. Amen. God's getting people out the rut that they become businessmen and be an example to God and He get the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Write the vision down. Though it tarry. It shall come to pass, said the Lord. Amen. And those, once again, those wicked, evil altars that was prayer against you is broken in Jesus' name. Witchcraft Amen. is uprooted. Family curse, generation curse is uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. And so God is activating those blessings, and you're going to hear some testimonies that what God did. Amen. In Jesus' name. Nobody going under, nobody going down in the name of Jesus. So I speak Amen. that. Amen. Receive the blessings. Amen. Receive the blessings upon your life. Amen. Receive the overflow in your life. It is done. Sealed by the Holy Ghost and covered with the blood. Amen. Amen. You get ready to go to the land Amen. of the living. I speak the blessings. Amen. And God said he's going to honor the words that come in my mouth. Amen. So whatever you've been going through, God is turning it around for you. So be encouraged in Jesus' name. Nobody get ready to die before time. There will not be no premature death. That you will live and not die and declare the words of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And those that have family in prison is getting ready to release. I do. I thank God releasing my, my relatives. Amen. And they're going to release Amen. your relatives as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody get. Amen. And God's getting ready to save your family, your children, your uh your siblings too. God cases. Amen. 
And we give God the praise for that. Amen. You see that for mine, and you receive it for yours. Hallelujah. Even in hard cases. Amen. God's getting ready to turn that round. Somebody give God the praise and honor and glory for that word. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 So be encouraged that all these things are going to happen. Amen. Watch it come to pass. Don't take it lightly. God tell them don't take it lightly. He said, I'm going to honor the words that come at your mouth, Lord. It's for blessing the people. Amen. Amen. And uh, be encouraged and be blessed. Amen. Apostle. Yes. I have something yes, to Natalie, Natalie, and, uh, to you, Apostle and Natalie. Uh -huh. um, God, God, let me see that she's, uh, it's the first, uh, she, she's very faithful to you, Natalie. Mm -hmm. She pray very much for you, mm -hmm. Natalie. Yeah. yeah. And God say that we need to pray for Natalie. You tell me, Natalie. You talking about Natalie? Uh, not that, yeah, I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm talking about Natalie. Yes, yes. Yes, she prayed for me. Yeah. Both of my daughters. Because she, she, she prayed for you more and other. No, she don't. This woman. No, she don't. Prophet Tina prayed for me more than she does. Yeah, but she, this woman is very faithful. Yeah, this she's is what faithful. Said. Yeah, she's faithful. But Prophet Tina prayed more. Amen. she been with Amen. me longer. Now they pray a lot too. But prophets, Tina, we don't bring no stuff in there, the wrong thing. Get it out of mm. portion. Okay. All right. Amen. 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 Uh, yes, because she's been with me longer. Amen. Mm. Amen. And so now they pray for me because she's part of it. We want to keep it like that. We don't. We want to do like Esau did. I mean, like mm. uh, what's his name? Uh, Isaac. We don't want that spirit in here. Mm. So uh, 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 we don't want no discord of division and i know you you minister and you want to minister but uh uh prophet tina been with me for a long time almost 19 years amen mm. yeah but i don't i don't say prophet tina because tina it's one with you you know so i don't <laughs> so i don't see that like this you know okay. tina it's with you all the time yeah. so I, my i speak the the person outside, you know, oh. on the ministry. Oh, he's on the outside. Up. She's not outside yeah. the ministry. The ministry. She's with the ministry. She's with Amen. the ministry. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're a unit. We Amen. are one accord, like I'm with you. There's yes. no, I don't treat none of them different than anyone. Yeah, yeah but I, I don't find the right word. You, okay, you, that what you say, you're not saying it right. What you saying that she's been faithful since she's been with us. That's what you're saying. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. let me correct you. Okay, that sound better. That's okay, we forgive you. Amen, amen. Yeah, we have to correct it because we don't want that to go in the wrong way because that's what the enemy yeah. wants. No, no, See, no, you no. correct you. You're doing good. <laughs> doing better. That's it. Yeah, she's been faithful since she's been on the ministry. He's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God's going to honor that. Amen. 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 So we all, we all want to call this. This is a family. Like a, I treat you, I treat you the same I treat them. Amen. 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 So we're like a family. That's why God bless us. Amen. Absolutely. They're like uh, Kanaja, Kanaja and her husband. We're a family. There's no jealousy there. Amen. You know, Amen. That's the Amen. that's the good news about it. Natalie and uh, Prophet Nat and Tina are not jealous of each other. We're family. They're sisters. Amen. And Amen. Uh, same thing Amen. with Daryl and his wife. They're family. They come help out. And Mother Gail's like a mother to me. She's family. Amen. Amen. And Mama and her best friends. Amen. Amen. And you family. So the one Amen. thing about this ministry why we bless, we are a family. And the enemy no, no. can't stand that. We are family. Amen. I received. Amen. And like, I don't treat nobody no different. And they'll tell you that. Amen. I don't go behind that in the back and talk about her. And I don't go behind your back and talk about her. What I got to tell you, I tell you. And that should be a, that should be in a lot of ministry, but it's not like that. Amen. That's why we bless. Amen. 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 Yeah. Yeah. My mom is my witness. I don't go behind your back. If I got something to tell you, I tell you. Amen. And I tell her, I said, well, I just thought that Papa Tina, you know, your sister. And that's why the devil hate us, because we are unity. Amen. Come on, Papa. They don't talk about you neither. Amen. I would tell them what, what to pray for, what you're doing. I don't like, but that's about it. 
we one family. That's why God hears my prayer. Because the leader is not supposed to be a gospel in temporary. They are supposed to be, uh, their responsibility is to care about the souls under them and supervise them towards Jesus and keep okay. that love there. And it said a lot of ministry is not like that. And so some people can't stand the ministry because I believe they can't come in there and bring no division. Just like somebody come to Robertina, she let them know, so you need to go to Apostle. Amen. And, amen. Amen. And we had people like that, and they left. And God said, they can't be on the ministry. They're going to talk about you and go to teaching them because they didn't like what I did. You know what I'm saying? Mama, mama, mama. And so I've been like that, and that's why we have unity. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God hears the prayer. Amen. I know you're trying to say this, but I correct you. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. You guys said, I, I, I don't want to bring no division between Tina. I, I pick you in the spirit. No. <laughs> you was, what I, you? I, have, I, have never, I have never seen people here uh, in, in this family, the outside. I don't mean like this, you know. It's, uh, no, I mean. I know. The, okay. That's yeah. okay. I correct it. Yeah. You, I know what you're saying. That, um, mm -hmm. that since she's been in the ministry, she's been faithful. Amen. Yeah. 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 And she wasn't faithful, I tell her. <laughs> it's only it's only me Amen. and I have not been Amen. faithful all the time. I don't bite my tongue. I tell him in a okay. minute. Huh? It's only me I have not been faithful all the time. Oh, you've all been all right. Me. You just you go into those changes and amen and, <laughs> and I don't pay you no attention. You don't got married plenty of time and I don't pay you no attention, you know that. Yeah. But your soul is important. You've been with me how long? In the Lord? Ten years now, nine or ten years. Yeah, I know you came and go, but I don't pay you no attention. I, I told that um, Apostle Malcolm, he came and go. I've been knowing him how long? Twenty years. Mm. He came and go, and he came and go, and he's back for good. So I tell him when I tell him the face, and that's what he like about me. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't gonna bite my tongue. Amen. And so they left and said, "Well, I'm coming back to you, Mama, because I know you tell me just the truth." <laughs> Amen. For God be the glory. That's how it's supposed to be. Amen. Mm -hmm. And we, I'm responsible if I don't care about your soul the way God tell me to do. Because he gets the glory. And mm -hmm. I'm responsible to point you to Jesus. I'm not Jesus. And I always tell you, go to Jesus first. What the Jesus says. Then he have you to come to me. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But don't, don't worry about that. I love you. Amen. And I know you went to some things, and you got mad, but you you never left. Ain't that right, y'all? No. Yeah. Ain't that right, uh, uh, Tina? And uh, who knows? Him? Tina knows you. Amen. What? No. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we love you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Everybody has to grow in point to do, and we're not here to judge you. Amen. We know you ain't going nowhere. Ain't that right, Prophet Tina and Mommy? Amen. <laughs> <laughs> We know you're going away because you say, Amen. you say, Apostle, you get mad with me because I tell you the truth. I don't know. I said, okay, then I'll talk to you later. I said, talk to me when you uh, uh, don't calm down because I ain't thinking about you, man. I can care less, you're mad. I have to tell you the truth. And leader is supposed to tell the truth because it's supposed to concern you about their soul because they are accountable if they're not concerned about the people's soul. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what you were saying earlier. You remember you said it earlier, y'all? Amen. Yeah, you said it earlier, that people appreciate that because you care about So I said, yes. So you's important. You family. You their brother, okay? You're prophet. I have been, I have been so severely disciplined. You been what? You are Apostle Lewis, to uh, his boss man. You been what? Disciplined, disciplined, severely disciplined. What do you mean? <laughs> he said he's been severely disappointed. Disciplined. Oh, yes. We just have that. been hard, very hard with me, very disciplined. Oh, very yes. You've been disciplining him. Yeah, disciplining him. Yeah, I've been disciplining him. Yeah, but thank God because I care about you. Keep you from going to hell. Isn't that right? Yeah, amen. amen, amen. He didn't like it. He got mad with me many times, but I didn't care. Yes, yes. yes. But I kept him. I, I, I love you more than before now. Yeah, because you understand. God, in Jesus yeah. name, you know, because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I see the, the fruit. Yeah, you understand now. That's what, a, yes. that, for God be the glory, that's what a leader is supposed to do, care about the soul. But it's sad that a lot of them don't care about the soul. 
Amen. Mm -hmm. So uh, many people got mad with me enough, and now they're trying to come back. Amen. But they can't come back unless they come back with the right reason. That's what God says. Amen. They're not, they're not going to come and bring division, discord. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we, we, we don't want to court. We don't talk about one another. And what I got to say, I say. Amen. And we pray about it. Amen. We even pray together by the people that's mad with us. Amen. Amen. And that's why we bless. That's how it's supposed to be. So I'm praying that other ministry can be like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, I thank God for all of you for uh, planting your seed in. And uh, we want to earn it off. Do you have a dream and vision? Remember, dreams and vision come to pass. Amen. Or do you have any special prayer requests that you want to be praying for? What you say? Uh, what you say? I will have right wife in my life. Oh, you gonna have that? You have the right one. Cause you you get very sensitive. Yeah, you gonna have the right one. Amen. Amen. You definitely gonna have the right one. You don't have to worry about that, cause you're getting sensitive to that. You ain't gotta go through that no more. Amen. You making the right decision, so you gonna get the right Amen. one. Who God picked for you? Amen. Amen. Yeah, and she's coming soon. She's coming soon. She's right there. It's got all of your steps, okay? Come on, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Toronto, what do you want to say? You want to say something? Hello, Apostle. This is Um, about a dream. Mm -hmm. Um, I just had a dream, like um, like a tree that grows. And grows up big or whatever. The trees that grow. They have little like, yeah, for the tree that grow from the ground and grow up big or whatever, like a shining light or whatever glitter. That's good. You must be outside. All that noise. You must be outside. No, I have my fan on. Excuse. Okay, turn the fan the other way. So you had a dream that you were surrounded with a lot of trees. Like the one tree, one big tree that grew up big and then I kept like the leaves and everything and it was like a shine to it like a glitter. Well, that, okay well that tree represents you. Mm -hmm. So God is saying that you you changing now because you letting things go. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yeah I'm trying to let things go let things be or whatever. And then at the same time he's telling you if you let things go you're gonna this is how you're gonna become the tree represents you your life amen mm -hmm. and as you release things and don't worry about you're not getting ready to die stop worrying about that that those sent to your body to deceive you that's a, a spirit of deception okay mm -hmm. it's a manipulating spirit which is the spirit of witchcraft amen and it's also a Jezebel spirit work together trying to control your mind and I bind it up in Jesus' name. And don't receive it in Jesus' name. Okay? Amen. Amen. That's how God wants you to become. He wants your tree to have fruit on it. He wants your tree, your life to be blessed. The tree represents your life. Amen. So he wants your life to be fruitful. And be multiplied and blessed. So I break all soul touch. And all forms of witchcraft is already uprooted and broken. In the name of Jesus. And stop looking back and stop allowing the enemy to see you. Because see, Satan likes to play games on your mind. Don't receive it because God already has taken care of things that you need to ask for. It, okay? Amen. Okay, it's done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. He's already telling you how your outcome your life going to be. And so don't receive that in Jesus' name. Okay? Amen. Okay. All right. Tarana. And um, God bless you so much, and just thank you. I just um, I heard when you was asking about um, prayer requests. I have a prayer request. It is urgent too. Um, so basically, 
I just needed prayer for my marriage. I'm married, and like it's like now my husband wants to um, just take my my uh, my baby, uh, my three year old. Like just take him out. Um, like right now, he's at the movies, and it's just coming over me um, because we've been going through a lot in our marriage, but. Um, and we haven't really, like, you know, been together, like, even on dates or anything like that. But it's now just coming over me that um, I, before, like, him starting to just take Emmanuel, which is my three-year-old, take him out places, I feel as though we need to be on one accord. And um, okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, there's a lot of confusion yeah. around you. I'm buying that right now in Jesus' name. Uh, your husband stand with you now. No. So he, he has, uh, he's the father. So he comes when the time weekend to uh, see him. Visit re visitation. It is visitation. Yeah. No, we haven't went through the course or anything like that. We just haven't been around each other in a while. So he 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 got the child now, right? Yes. Okay. And you, he got the child with your approval. Is that right? Yes, we literally just met up not too long ago, and he bought us a few things, like food and something to drink. And then he asked if he can take him to the movies. But I didn't think it all through until like recently. It just started hitting me. I, I listened to the whole sermon um, when I first came in the room. I was listening to you, and it just was hitting me out. You know, being on one accord and at least, you know, starting off with us as a family going out together versus mm -hmm. him and my baby going out together because we're still legally married. We just was going through a lot in our marriage. And it's just, I'm I'm, I'm not 100% comfortable with just, you know, giving this, the whole situation is just new and him just wanting to take my baby out. Well, wait you a know, minute. I, He's not I, taking I, the baby away from you. He just, he just, uh, uh, visitation. That's it. He gonna bring the baby right, you know. Yeah, he said he'll bring it right back. But you know, it just, I just, I don't know. I just feel like me being though we're still married and stuff, and we haven't. Um, okay, okay. Really let, spoken. To let, let, let me bind the spirit right now. It's a manipulating witchcraft spirit in Jesus' name, and confusion in Jesus' name. Amen. Is your husband stand with you? He's separated from you, right? He's separated from yeah, you, no, right? How long have he been separated was, from you? It's been like two. It's been like two weeks now since the last situation occurred, and he hasn't been here. He left. Amen. Yeah. And he didn't tell why he left. He just got up and packed up and left, huh? Um, no, not, not really. It's, it was, okay, so he got into a physical altercation with my oldest son. And I, I, I'm asking a question. I, I, I know he can see his son. He just got up and left. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't want to be married no more? <laughs> um, that wasn't the last thing he said. He actually said a lot. Um, and then he would like turn around and apologize. But he's confused. Wait a minute. Let me buy this confused. He's confused and they're making you confused. This is confusion. I'm going to bind this up in Jesus' name. He don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> then he's confusing you. This is a life on the pits of hell. Let me bind this up. My name is Apostle Parchment. Amen, by the way. <laughs> Let me bind this up in Jesus. You both sound confused. So I plead I the can blood. See people speaking against. Uh, yeah, they don't. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Don't believe when I'm speaking. Hold on. This is confusion. They both confusion. He he confused and she confused. Amen. The connection is is, 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 is by the people, but it's bringing confusion. Amen. And this it has to do with family. This is the problem. Is family. That's the people you see. That's family problem. Amen. 
Yes, amen. And what is big? Yeah, that's big, uh, is, uh, bad thing. Yes, about yeah. Well. Let me let me let me finish, son. Okay, now is the mother living? Yes, ma'am. Your mother living? No, ma'am. The problem is the mother. Yes. That's the biggest problem. That's what God is telling me. Mm -hmm. And he's yes. trying to control. She's trying to control him. She never did want him to marry you in the first place. Mm -hmm. But he married you because he loves you. And so what yes. we're going to do is bind this witchcraft because the Bible says husband cleaves to, to wife, not to mama. Amen. Yeah. He's a mama's Amen. boy. So we're going to bind it up in Jesus' name. Break every soul tie. That's his mama, but break soul ties of his marriage. that trying to come between the marriage because he does love you. I bind it up right now. Y'all begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, what God put together, let no man asunder. Not even the mama. I bind that witchcraft that she's using against his mind. I bind that witchcraft she's using against his marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. I root it right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. What you say? I can see the friend back on this mantle speaking against this woman. What well, is the mama with the uh, with the witchcraft to speak against? It's not gonna work. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. God's dealing with your husband. Get his mind right, because they're working on his mind. That's witchcraft. It's confusion. Witchcraft. So it's uprooted right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. God's been in this marriage. He's coming back home for good. The yoke is broken. The soul tie is broken. Everything was spoken is uprooted right now through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So he's been in the marriage. Amen. Amen. And it's done. And it's done. It's done, daughter. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. It's done. You turn your life over completely to the Lord, okay? Mm. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Because you're not really serving God. You turn your life over completely to Jesus right now. Say, Lord God. Mm. Come on. Lord God. I ask you to forgive Lord me. Of, God. Forgive me of my sin. I ask you to forgive me of my sins, Father. I ask you to come in my life right now. I ask you to come into my life right now. And make me whole. And make me whole, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God, I thank you for, you You shall save my husband. Thank you, God, that you shall save my husband. And you will save my marriage. And you will save my marriage. I thank you right now in Jesus' name. I thank you right now in Jesus' name. It's done. The freedom of blood is on your husband. Mind is back. And this connection is broken. No friends, no mama, nobody can come between it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Jesus. He won't rest. And, let me finish. Amen. Let me Amen. finish. He will not rest until he, he do what he's supposed to do. He's coming back home. A friends, a, a mama ain't got, can't stop it. It's already done. It's over. Amen. It's over. When y'all was helping praying in the Holy Ghost, it's over. The yoke, I just saw the axe broken. It's over in Jesus' name. Amen. Because he's not really a bad person. It just was witchcraft was broken, uh, was spoken on him. To confusion. And the first thing I thought, she thought it was confusion. That's witchcraft. It went to the to the woman. Amen. The witch, you know, the, uh, uh, the psychic to break it. I mean, to break this marriage. But God has put it together. He'd be back home today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mama, hands are tied. Our time's up. Can't do nothing. Even the friends can't do nothing. Amen. Amen. With the right Amen. mind. In Amen. Jesus' name. And let's give God the friend. Huh? I can hear I can hear this woman. The God say that it's time for this woman to smile and dancing. Yeah, well, she yeah, she's gonna dance and smile. 
That's what she needs to do. Smile and dance, Precious. You got the victory. Amen. Yes, amen. You got the victory, Preach. You got the victory. When she gave her life over to God completely, that's when God did something. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. It's already done. Amen. And your marriage is covered with the blood of Jesus Christ. He's coming home. He's coming home. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. It's already done. You just stop thanking the Lord Jesus, okay? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. That's Thank it. you, God. That's oh, it. God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. It's already done. Mm. Faith. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. That's it, Jesus Christ. Mm, uh, do you have a thank covering? You, uh, do you have a covering over you? No, I don't. Okay, you need that. Amen. A covering over you. Amen. Uh, uh, pray a uh, uh, covering. Amen. Amen. You need that. Amen. I don't like the bunch of but you know, just need to tell you because you need that covering. Uh, 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 Prophet Tina, of my assistant, you can call her and we'll talk with you, okay? About covering. Okay. Okay. Uh, the, okay. Uh, our Prophet Nelly, write the number down in the chat thing. Uh, Prophet Tina, Prophet Tina ne uh, number, okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, write it in the yes. chat for Tarana. Hey, Amen. She really needs some more. Okay. Thank you. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Thank right. you so much. Oh, praise God, precious. Oh, That's just a li Thank weight you, lift us off for of you, didn't it? Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that spirit was broken. Yes. Thank you, oh, thank you. It was trying God. to. Thank it's you. trying to make you accuse, lose your mind. The devil is a liar. Yes. That's what it was doing. Oh my God. It was trying to make you lose it your was mind. Almost like you were losing yeah, your mind. It was almost like making me feel, yeah. Yes, it was but the making devil's me feel like, like yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't even have to. I don't even have to say what it was making me I know feel like because I think you already know. I oh my God. God. <laughs> Amen. You feel better. Praise the Lord. It is uprooted. Thank so you, you call Prophet Tina. Amen. And uh, okay. she would talk to you, and you welcome to be a uh, be under the ministry, and you already heard the testimony. Amen. Yes, uh, amen. yes. I am. I want to be. I want to be. Oh okay. my God! I want to. Be. <laughs> Praise God, brother. She just is happy. Jesus Praise knows. God. Amen. Oh my God. Jesus She's knows. happy. <laughs> well, we happen to have you, precious. Amen. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You, you call her. I understand. I understand, bro. Well. I understand the Holy Spirit, and it just. I feel. I feel it. I, I, that's all I. That's all I want is real, and yeah. it's here. Yes, His yeah. spirit is it's here. Yeah, I can't be up under nothing that's not real. Praise you God. You know, nothing that's good. Praise it's God. It's real. It's here. The spirit is God. here. Oh, I thank God. Thank you so She's much. She's so happy, y'all. Someone <laughs> just thank you. Welcome. Amen. Oh, amen. 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 Yeah, we, amen. Welcome. Amen. You, you wanted somebody real, so thank I'm definitely you. real. I'm definitely real. Oh, for God be glory. Straight up for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. She's so happy. <laughs> She's so excited. Yeah, so happy. Huh? Yeah. so excited yeah. like that. Praise oh, Jesus. God. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. She's so happy. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Amen. It's going to be on the real, uh, 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 real leader for God be glory that cares yeah, about you. Sure. Yeah, she got you. Amen. That's for God be the glory. He brought her here. Amen. She's so happy. Because I understand you be on these, on these ministries. Lord have mercy. They don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't care. They don't be telling the truth to help help out help out the members which have come to the disciples. So we so everybody on the ministry, we welcome her. Amen. 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 Welcome. Amen. Welcome. Amen. Welcome. Amen. Welcome. 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 Yes. Yes. I, I will go now, Apostle Lewis. Okay. I, I will go and evangelize in the town now. Okay, it's go and God today. cover you with the blood of Jesus, and you shoot and and you shoot uh, for His glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bye bye. Amen. Thank you much. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Bye bye. Uh, okay, so uh, you looked on the uh, comment and there's a number and call her and she'll go with the information with you. Okay. Okay. All right, you happy now, ain't you? <laughs> I am. Yes, 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 I
Oh my God! Yes. Oh my God! Yes. I'm so happy even to be Yes, um, like, we're, so we're family. So I'm a family. God. We're family. Yes, we believe oh, in real. Jesus. You want some realness because everybody mm. be lying and stealing and taking. Yes. You didn't have enough of that <laughs> mess. I had enough. I had enough. <laughs> I had so enough. Happy. <laughs> so oh happy. my God. Thank you, Thank Lord. You, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I didn't even have to say anything. The door was just open. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, for you, precious. Amen. So my name is Apostle Parchment. I'm the uh the spiritual I'm the leader of me always oversee this ministry amen in jesus name so uh my assistant she gonna talk to you and tell you amen and then we have prayer on uh monday tuesday and thursday prophet natalie we're praying you can join her be a clubhouse and sunday i'll be alive at uh this is at the uh place hotel a live teaching so she'll give you all the information okay Okay, yes, ma'am. Thank you so much, Apostle. Thank oh, you so much. Oh, good to have oh, you, precious. I never thought about that side. Of, have y'all before? Yeah, amen. 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 <laughs> she said she been oh, she been looking for a real, real ministry. Oh, <laughs> glory, we, glory. Yeah, we get oh, God to glory. glory. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy. Thank you, Lord. Yes, she's so God. Glad. I'm so happy for you. We're so glad you part of the ministry. Amen and. uh you call her and she'll give you all the information. Welcome to Awakening True Vine International Outreach Ministry, precious. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We can get some more people saying it like that. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Well, it's good to, uh, that you welcome a uh, welcome you. Amen. Real ministry. I'm just real, straight up. Amen. I don't believe in stabbing them. What I got to tell you, I tell you. Amen. That's the love of God in me. For God be the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, I don't think anybody else want prayer. We're going to close out. Amen. Because we we focus on the word. That word was powerful tonight, wasn't it? Huh? Amen. 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 And I know y'all learned something. Did you learn something? Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It was good. I tell you, I learned a lot tonight. Amen. Hallelujah for Genesis 27 and next week we'll be on Genesis 28. Amen. This is getting better and better, ain't it? Amen. Amen. It help you learn something why why things happen. Just looking at what they did. Look at Isaac. <laughs> he brought the vision between him and the, kept, he, he, he covered himself, didn't he? Now you know it's a shame what Isaac did, didn't he? <laughs> but God forgave him. Amen. So thank God for all of you being on here. Uh, thank you. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. So, uh, uh, Jessica, how you feel? It's Jessica, how you feel? Much better? Um, yes, I'm doing fine. I'm okay. Um, I'm going to fight this through. I'm not going to let it take over me or defeat me. Um, God's got me, and I feel better than that. I was in here. Um, part of me didn't want to come in because I felt weak, but... God says, no, go, go in, go in, you'll get some of your strength back. And I'm glad that I did because um, I feel a lot better. I don't feel as weak, and my voice is starting to slowly come back. So praise, praise the Lord. And I do have a quick testimony because you was talking about um, uh, the power of your tongue. And God was teaching me that all this week. Watch mm. your mouth. Be careful what you say because mm -hmm. there's life and death in, the, in your tongue. Amen. And so, um, my kids and I was joking around about the COVID. It was mm -hmm. just a joke in between us, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 it taught me a very valuable lesson. Even though you are a believer in Christ, you're not always resilient to this. To the things of this fallen world. Mm -hmm. So when I felt sick a couple of days ago with uh, fevers of 103 and 104.5 mm -hmm. fevers, I eventually went to the um, hospital and tested positive for COVID. And as soon as I was um, 
tested that I was sad, that I also heard the Lord says, that's exactly why I tell you to watch your mouth mm -hmm. because there's power in your tongue and right. you have to be careful what you say even though you might have thought it was a small little joke between you and your boys but you still have to be careful and once um i told asked the lord to forgive me for that mm -hmm. he let me know that I will not be sick for the full 10 days that the doctors told me to. Mm -hmm. So I know I'll be fine. I'll be okay. It was a lesson that I had to learn. And I know now to be careful to what I say. So mm -hmm. glory to God. But well, are you taking, uh, besides what, the, are you, what are you taking? Are you taking your multiple vitamins? They didn't give me anything at the... Well, I'm telling uh, you, uh, listen. I know about it. Uh, I don't have it. Never going to have it. But you need to take multiple vitamins and then drink a lot of tea with ginger, cinnamon, and what else I put in there, Prophet Tina? Uh, Y'all know. A little turmeric? Yeah, turmeric. All that. You got to build up your system. Amen. Amen. And that will kick, kick it out. But you need a multiple vitamins. With, uh, uh, with the zinc in there and the vitamin C, then you need a good one. Amen. To knock it out. You got to build your, your body up, strength up. You also give us how to use wisdom in the natural as well as the spirit. Amen. So you need that to build your system up. Okay? Amen. Okay. You take that and you get it to your children too. And that's going to build y'all back up. And it's going to go away in no time. Amen. In Jesus' name. We'll be blessed. Amen. Today. Okay, precious. And get a lot of rest, okay? Amen. Okay. Oh, soup. All right, chicken noodle. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Chicken noodle soup. Yeah, that helps it out. Okay. All right. Let's do that and you'll get better. You're already getting better. Yeah, elderberry. Amen. That's the elderberry. Yeah, the elderberry. That's good. And it'll knock it out. Amen. When we praise God, amen, that she be better. For God be the glory. Amen. 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 I thank amen. God all, for all of you. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm going to get off this line because it's been on long enough. I've used wisdom, get rest. And I'll be back on Sunday. Oh, excuse me. At uh, 1230. Amen. Talking about the Holy Spirit. It's important. Amen. Because so many people bless and grieve the Holy Spirit. So I thank God for all of you for being on here. And thank God for, what's this love name? Taronda. She excited. I love that. <laughs> and we're excited that she'll be part of the ministry. Church, amen. 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 She's so excited. Praise God. We're excited to have her. Amen. Hallelujah. And things are working out. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, we're going to close out. Everybody be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. I will not, uh, I will not, uh, what the word is? Apologize for the word. Because more people need to get in the word. Amen. Amen. So it took a long the word of God. I will never pro uh, apologize for the word of God. It need to be more people need to get in the word of God. That's the problem. Christians don't get in the word of God. They're looking for prophets. And I'm not knocking on them, but the word of God is prophetic. You can't grow without the word. Ain't that right? Amen. 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 That word of God for revelation by the Holy Spirit. So get in that word. It is a it's a medicine, healing, everything you need. Amen. So we thank God for that. Amen. So we'll see you on Sunday with the Holy Spirit. Thank God for everybody. Amen. Love you. And uh Prophet Daddy uh closes out. Amen. 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 If you would like to become a disciple or if you would like to become a covenant partner under this ministry, then you would reach out to Apostles Assistant, Prophetess Tina. Her number is in the chat. It is 954-549-7441. Uh, Again, her telephone number is 954 954- Five four nine seven four four one. Amen. 
we have the annual apostolic prophetic explosion conference coming up in this november um november 5th through 6th amen in stewart florida where apostle is the host and pastor arlene Presley will be speaking um, in the link above. You can go ahead and get your registration in early. Amen. And, and then you can do your lodging and everything else and get that out of the way. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless your name, Father. Hallelujah for your word that went forth on tonight, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah for the revelation through Apostle, Lord. We thank you for the blessing that was spoken over our lives, Father. Lord, we ask that you pour back into Apostle what she has poured out unto us on tonight, Father. In your precious name, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you give us each sweet sleep, Lord, that each hour sleep like two and three, Lord, that we wake up on tomorrow refreshed and ready to proclaim your goodness. Mm -hmm. Lord, we speak Psalm 91.10, that there shall no evil befall us, neither shall disaster come to our dwelling. For you, Father, shall command your angels concerning us, and they shall bear us up with their hands, lest we dash our foot against the stone. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Amen. God bless everyone. Okay, God bless y'all, and God Amen. bless those God bless. on Facebook. God bless you. Amen. We'll see you on Sunday at 12.30. Amen. On, uh, uh, live on Facebook only, not Clubhouse. Facebook only this time, okay? I'll be on Facebook alive. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless everybody. The love kisses. Bye-bye, everybody. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye, precious. God bless everyone. God bless you, precious. Thank you. God bless you, Facebook. Good to have you on.